Uh, try this. It. Uh, now we're gonna read Levi's fucking statement. And hopefully the stream status won't go to fucking nothing again. Hopefully. Hopefully. I can get this to work. If not, I'm going to bug someone to this fucking stream for me. Because turns out if I give them the stream key, they can fucking stream and I will just bug the fuck out of them. Oh, don't you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare go to zero kilobytes, you little shit. Fuck you. You will work for me. I installed you technology. You will work for me. Ah, God damn it. I got off work and I come back to this. It works when I, before I start. Perfectly. No issues. As soon as I start public. Well, Lockett, you should have thought of that before you streamed. No, you fucking <laughs> did it again. Why does it keep giving me the errors? I'm at normal bitrate. What the fuck? Ah, uh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to wait harsh up. I'm gonna wake her ass up. Stream for me, bitch. Stream. <laughs> Underlay. And <laughs> I can't. She's asleep. <laughs> Fuck. Now we're gonna read Levi's fucking statement. Uh, I've just been rambling for like a good solid three minutes. Everyone's fucking behind. Doesn't matter. We're gonna read until it fucking crashes. <laughs> Ah, yes, YouTube. I love the fact that you just fucking fuck me over. It is three minutes behind. Fuck it. Time to read. The thing I can't do. <laughs> uh, reading English is a problem of mine, so bear with me. Because just like this stream, it's going to be clunky as fuck. Because <laughs> I'm translating from the, my broken understanding of English to Italian back to English. But it's not going to go well. But <laughs> yes, everything's on fire already. 10 out of 10. So let's try this. We're going to... We're gonna just be positive. We're gonna we're gonna think positive thoughts. We're gonna do what the hippies do. We're just like yes, positive affirmations, manifestation. We're gonna hope that this doesn't catch on fire, and then it will work. If not, I'll cry myself to sleep. It's fine. <laughs> just a, it's just an average day on this channel where nothing fucking works, so it's all good. <laughs> I laugh, but I'm sad. <laughs> So, um, the plan is to talk about this as pretty much as honestly with as much evidence as, you know, is relevant to the situation because I didn't know about this until, oddly enough, Harsh Opinion sent me it one day and they're like, oh, hey, I stumbled upon this and they sent me it in Discord. I'm like, what the fuck is this? And they're like, oh, yeah, uh, Levi made a statement. The fuck you mean Levi made a statement? They made a statement back in March. What the fuck you- they Why wasn't I informed? I didn't know. In fact, they didn't tag anyone. How the fuck did you find it? Someone put it in a thread. How the fuck did they find it? I don't fucking know. And now we're here. This is a bad decision. So, the plan is, basically, I'm going to try to take this as seriously as possible. Don't fucking laugh. But I'm going to try. I know I'm a clown and I can't help but spurg out every time I live stream because the idea of people looking at me just makes me tism. The tism goes off. Tism, but I'm going to calm the tism as much as possible. So quite literally, real life. Please be patient. I have autism. Please, I am too stupid for my own good. I start panicking. Please, be merciful. I am too dumb to live. So, I should probably link this on Twitter. I should probably do that, but. You know, I'm going to keep this public, most likely. So, you know, I make a mess of myself enough. Th they'll find it. I'll just link it after. It's fine. Hey, it's not... When, what made them run away? Um, I was really younger when this happened. When he did all the other stuff. What made them run away? Um, a lot of things made them run away. Um, before my video, the reason why they kind of fell off a bit was actually because of an incident with the name... Uh, with a user named... The name's Junkie. 
Now, what had happened was there's a big drama that happened around March of 2018 of that year where Lulabelle um, pretty much freaked out over the fact that Junkie asked them out. And why this happened was mainly because Junkie kind of came back after he broke up with Mickey and Mickey told him to move on. And he confessed his love for Lulabelle, which was a crush he had for a long time. And and Yuki kind of just flipped the fuck out and started freaking out a lot. I, I do have evidence showing that there was more about the junkie situation. Because I found like more of my screenshots that were kind of buried away in my evidence folder. That I forgot to send to the editor for the video. But... Yeah, the reason why they initially ran away was related to that situation because eventually Yuki made a live stream with a bunch of them and what had happened was the commentary community actually got wind of it. It was actually the first time they were actually ever held accountable. And the live stream, which is in the evidence folder, which is linked on that six hour long video, which is the live stream where Yuki and all of them are calling Junkie this evil person and then people like um, other commentators at the time that were respected you know, before the stuff about them came out. Like, people like Spockter, even fucking Pentagon. This was before the Spockter issue with her and um, Spock Spockter happened. Actually called them out for this disingenuous bullshit and it made them run. Because that was the first time the community had ever actually s talked back to them. So, that's why they ran initially. But they were still wi lying in wait to eventually when they would come back. And sure enough, that's what they were trying to do. They were actually originally going to try to s fuck with Junkie to come back. It didn't work out, though, because, you know, I started asking Yuki about the past, and then I kind of found out about all the shit they were doing. Which was fun. So that, that led to a lot of stuff. There's So we're going to talk about the apology stuff, and we're going to talk about the information that's relevant. And if I have to pull up some information, um, bear with the stream, it's probably going to... A bit. So we're going to talk about it as as um, hopefully painlessly as we can without um, the stream dying. So hopefully this will work, but we'll try to discuss it. So let's get started. You guys are at least three minutes behind, so I'm already probably still, yeah, from what I hear, I'm still explaining the junkie stuff. So we're going to move on to, I'm going to start reading this. And bear with me, since I have troubles reading English, so I'm going to possibly mistranslate something, so I'm going to have someone on my phone kind of annoying me if I fuck, a, fuck it up. Because I have to translate what I kind of understand in English to Italian in my head, and back to English, and I'm going to try to read it. And if I fuck up, which does happen, because words that have like ED, I keep fucking up at the end of it for some reason, are the ones I tend to trip on. Like... Even for the video I've been recording, I kept saying wrong instead of wronged because I my brain doesn't see a difference. <laughs> it's I, I view it as the same thing, even though it's it's not. And I'm dumb, and I'm sorry. <laughs> my little foreign ass can't speak. So we're gonna read it. So we're gonna read the disclaimer. This is from Levi in an alternate account they used of underscore, aka underscore, username, underscore, aka this is not their real account. This is an alt they made on Twitter to basically release this statement with no accountability. Just like a lot of these people, they used um, alts in the past to basically get, you know, say and do shit without any real consequence. This is not abnormal behavior for Levi. Levi and all of them have done this for years. It's why they've managed to harass Vivian on um, Tumblr for years. Claiming that they were a pedo because they used the anonymous feature or alt accounts to harass her. They even admitted this in the video. So it's not surprising to me that they fall right back into the behavior of they don't want to be held accountable, so they go to an alt. It's already starting off pretty bad for me. You're not being held accountable, so you're already starting off with using alts. Already pissed me off. <laughs> so, you know, if you want to be held accountable, fucking admit to what you did on your fucking account that you did it with. That, like, at least I'll have a little respect for you because at least Yuki did that to an extent. They didn't fully apologize. They kind of did to some people, but a lot of people they didn't. Like, uh, for me and Nummy and a lot of other people, they denied about the ED stuff, even though they we have their mission. they did. 
And even in this, like, you, even Levi says, like, yeah, they did do it. So, let's talk about it a bit. So, disclaimer. Talks of transphobia, slander, sexual assault, physical online abuse, etc. No, b- no, oh, sorry, not physical. Physical? Oh, yes. What a great apology. It already starts off with it not being fucking spell-checked. Ow! Fuck! I hit the hand that was broken. Ah! Motherfuck! That was the bad decision. (laughs) I know it's misspelled because I see the word physical a lot since I'm in the medical field. So it's the one, one of the few words in English I know how to spell correctly every time. And already misspelled. Can't wait to see the rest. Oh boy. I do not have the time nor the energy to put this via voice and video format. Which, because you're lazy and you don't want to be held accountable, it's okay to admit it. You don't have to fucking hide behind the flower language, brother. You really don't. My schedule isn't what it used to be. I do my best to cover what I specifically did to the victims and may recount other memories that happened. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, spoiler alert. They don't actually address all the victims they've ever done. They just address the ones I said in the video. So already, just keep that in mind. They're not being a genuine right off the bat. Because they're just addressing the ones that people publicly know now. They're not actually addressing, and they're not going to address the ones that they did behind the scenes that I didn't even talk about. Like, we'll talk about this when we get to it. Like, there's a few names, like Jaltoy, Doopy Doover, just as examples of some of the people they have fucked with. And there's a few others as well. But I'll explain that story when we get to that part. But let's resume. Just call me Lynn. Like Evil Lynn? Or Evelyn? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just thinking of that meme from fucking Robot Chicken. It's like, my name's Lynn. Oh, I always thought your name was Evelyn. <laughs> so Evil Lynn, you can use any pronouns. That's great. That means I'm going to call you Is Cunt. 10 out of 10. So Is Cunt here. That's all you need to know. Thanks. Sorry, I'm very immature when it comes to stuff like this. It's not me being petty. It's just me trying to be funny. Um. Reading. <laughs> so, here we go. Um, Thread starts here. Respect my privacy. Do not come looking for me. Already good sign of taking accountability. Don't come looking for me. And do not contact this account. Yeah, I know. It's an alt. I already know your new account, Levi. I know all your new accounts. You're not fucking slick. You guys are very fucking obvious with your new accounts. Fucking Hannah alone. Instead of, you know, IDKY Hannah food, they just became IDKY. Fucking very... You're not creative people. And it shows. I already know your new accounts. Fuck. If I want to contact you, I will. I just don't have the fuck to give. Most importantly, I apologize how I acted all those years ago. No, you don't. Because if you did, you would have sent this directly to me, Jar, Vivian, Kiana, Kai. I, I can. I have a list. If you're blocked, abide by that. I want to know who you blocked on this account specifically. Now, let me guess, it was Yuki, right? Because you're gonna. Because I'm. I'm a fair warning. They're gonna throw Yuki under the bus in this. Don't even try to start shit. I'm moving on. Is this not you starting shit by making this though? Like. F- fucking hell. So, let's read this. I formerly went by Levi Matters on a YouTube a long time ago. A small DeviantArt ranter at the time was a small following. To give you a short synopsis about myself, oh my god, bitch, we don't need your life story, we know! I already did a six hour long video explaining you, you don't need to do this! We, d- we don't need a biography! I already gave the biography, you're cunts! We're done. We don't need it. F- Shut up. I was far from the kindest person on the platform. Oh, shit. Really? No. I, I saw you constantly playing with puppies. No. tell. Me. Sorry. Professional. The tism's going off. Sorry. Let me start. My videos consisted of me collaborating with myself or other people at the time about DeviantArt dramas and spats. For example, um, the crazy cat critic, which we'll address when we get to the Kai section, because you people do not understand the extent of how bad these people hurt Akai, or fucked with her for that matter. They just think they talked about her OC. Oh no, 
You want to see how bad they treated her? I will show you how bad they treated her. Because it was worse than the stuff even in the fucking Sonic 93 videos. And I'm telling you that straight up right now. From shaming other people's OCs to disregarding other small artists' artwork and even getting to some really ridiculous arguments one could imagine. Okay, we already have a problem here. They're already downplaying the severity of what they've done. The issue wasn't the OCs thing. Like, yes, there, it's a little bit fucky that you did that. But the issue was that you guys took these disagreements and caused life ruination. Like, a good example of this. Just a good example. Princess Elizabeth with a 13-year-old girl recoloring Sonic characters. Which is normal because kids are stupid and they don't understand copyright. They don't understand copyright law. Straight up, they don't understand the law. You tell a kid, okay, what's tax evasion? They're going to stare at you like, I don't fucking know. Don't pay your taxes? Kids don't understand the law. You guys then went and pretty much harassed this girl and even many times told her to kill herself. Like, and you harassed her to the point that she actually has trauma as a result of that. And that, keep in mind, that's the more mild thing you've done in that situation. The worst you've done is you forcibly hospitalize somebody against their will be, by abusing the Baker Act because you didn't want to be held accountable. So already we're seeing downplaying and already I'm not too happy. Are Levi and Sparrow secretly the same person? No. Levi and Sparrow are two entirely different people. Trust me. I, I've looked into all of this. Sparrow used to go by Luna. And trust me, I, I know the history of all these people at this stage. Uh, Luna was friends with the group as well a long time ago as well. But they weren't involved in all those shenanigans, which is why I don't really have a problem with Sparrow on that regard. I do have a problem with what they did to Skittles recently and just how they've acted. Yeah, yeah, Puppy Howler's right. ITKY Hanafu didn't even move to another account. They just renamed the old one. Yeah, that's true. They just renamed it to IDKY. It's hilarious. So, already, we're seeing downplaying. We're seeing but me, but me-isms in this already. So, but, let's give this a chance. Like, we've never read this before because most of you probably haven't seen this. So, I'm going to be as fair as possible, Okay. Even though I'm biased, I'm going to read this as if it was the first time seeing it, like a newborn, like a, like a fucking kid on Christmas Eve opening a present. Let's see the gift that's going to keep on giving, unfortunately. Alright, so. I won't give any excuses for what, when, and why, because there is no reason. I was a perpetual and ignorant child who did not have a filter and wanted to make people laugh. But that doesn't explain why you guys called the cops on Jar then. If you wanted to make people laugh, why would you do that? Like, sorry, that's just a thought that popped in my mind because, like, the problem with that statement, because you're going to see when we talk about Jar, they do admit they did it for malicious intent. So, already you're lying right there. Because if your point was to laugh, why the fuck was that even a concept in your head to do to Jar, let alone anyone? How is that funny? Oh, yes. it uh, t Totally. It's just a prank, bro. We got you shot by police and we wanted you to die from a... But it was just a prank, bro. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure Jar really appreciates that. I I'm sure he does. Just like I appreciate being horrifically mangled and the other person being forcefully hospitalized. Ah, yeah. It's just a prank, man. It's just a joke. It's just a joke, bro. Stop being serious. Just stop. Just laugh. Just laugh. We, hor we horrifically crippled you, gave you a lifelong trauma, and made you not trust anybody. But just laugh, bro. It's just a joke. Just a meme, bro. So, let's see. What else? But it was for all the wrong reasons. I should and will be held accountable for the contact I did make. That's why you fucking deleted everything and made an alt to say this. Yeah, that's really taking accountability. Next. I would be lying that looking back on all this has been incredibly debilitating. Yeah, because you had to actually look at yourself as a person and realize you were pretty fucking shit. I must suck being shown a mirror of your bullshit. Must suck. Even then, 
that doesn't make me a victim. You sure as fuck like to word it like that, saying you were a perpetually ignorant child to downplay your age because you were 18 when you did that shit to Jar, by the way. So don't give me that shit. You were 18 when you did the shit to me, and you were in your 20s when you did that shit to the person in the Baker Act. Hell, you were 18 when you did to Vivian when you said you had that plan for that video, so don't fucking say you were a child. Stop the lie. Stop lying. If this is you taking accountability, holy fuck, I hate to see you as a politician. Because, my God, you're already lying more than half of those fuckers. Jesus Christ, you'd be perfect for the job. 10 out of 10. Even then... I did my damage, and I'd like to apologize to all the people I hurt over the years, but don't actually address them by name, just address the ones I said in the video, because, you know, you're not actually sorry. You're sorry you get caught. Just flat out honest. So, keep in mind, I was talking about how I acted. I will give my thoughts about how the others from the group have acted, but I cannot speak on the behalf of the others. Okay, I, I, ha I have troubles reading English. Is this grammatically correct? Because I have a feeling even in English this is not correct. And it feels like I, I'm having a stroke reading this. Whatever, just keep reading. <laughs> I'm too stupid anyway, it doesn't make difference. A good chunk of them I don't have contact with anymore. That is bullshit. You have contact with Hannah. And I know this from our previous interactions. You are still friends with Hannah. Don't fucking lie about that. I know you are. Some of them, I, I, some I do because they were either hurt by Yui and the others, or they genuinely not wanted to not be the person they were back then. Bullshit. Because Hannah, in her statement, didn't even address she hurt anybody, which we'll read that after we're done with yours. We'll read that because I want you to see how bad these statements were. <laughs> Hannah, Hannah was just like, oh yeah, I did drama, so I, I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> that was her statement. Fuck off. Oh yeah. Don't mention Yuki's um, abuse or anything. Don't give an example. Don't show evidence. Just say, oh, yeah, I'm leaving, brah. Uh, 12 years of drama is weird. It's kind of gay, dude. Okay, bye now. Wow. Uh, maybe talk to your friends to coordinate this next time because already I can just show, like, Hannah's statement and uh, and show that, like, this statement's bullshit. Like, <laughs> already off the bat. Yeah, exactly. So, let's keep reading. Keep in mind, I am talking about how... Oh, let's see. Sorry, mistranslated my brain. Again, trying to translate the Italian back to English because I'm trying to read English as best as I can. Please forgive me. Please be patient. Keep in mind, I am talking about how I acted. I will give my thoughts about how the others from the group have acted. But I cannot speak on the behalf of the others. Oh, I'm rereading this again. I'm stupid. Okay. I can hold them accountable while still having contact with them. Other than that, I will try my best to explain and apologize. So you're not being accountable and you're not holding them accountable. Because if you were holding them accountable, why are they speaking with you on this? Talking about the shit they've done too. Just get it out of the way. Why are you not going to call them out? Why do you have to call them out in private? Call them out publicly. Fucking no, no. I'm about to call out somebody publicly. Who has done a lot of fucked up shit. And I'm making a video because I want to show the context and show how bad it is. Um, here's a forewarning. It involves a certain lizard. And I speak not very well of them because I found out how bad they did everything in the situation. I will try, I'm trying to be as fair as possible to them. But I'm holding their ass accountable. This is, this is already dog shit if you're holding friends accountable. Just flat out. Dog shit. You're not actually holding them accountable. You're just having a clean, easy way to excuse their actions and yours. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not here for it. Um, oh, yes. Wait, I think... It, girl, yeah, oh. If you're thinking you're thinking about the southern if you're thinking about the southern accent girl that's pockets aka hopeless romantic which by the way she's still online. <laughs> None of them left by the way. They're all still online because you know they're totally taking accountability guys by making ult and avoiding all of this. Fuck off. <laughs> okay, the first addressment. Colbert Pie aka Akai Delia. Let's read. 
Jane and I have already talked things through Discord for a few years back. Did you? Okay, I I'm just going to say this. Levi. Oh, sorry. Lynn. Let me be respectful here. Lynn. If I were to message a Kai right now, am I going to find out this is a lie? Or am I going to find out you insulted her or some other shit? Because I I'm going to tell you this. If I message her right now, because I have contact with her, if I message her right fucking now, and I find out that this you're trying to frame this as you were trying to apologize when you really didn't, and you didn't acknowledge your feelings or anything, just know, I know your new account. Again, I will reach you if that has happened. Because I'm just going to tell you this. The one rule you don't break with me is you don't fucking lie. Because I will hold you accountable. It doesn't matter if it's today or tomorrow. I will, I will come at you at some point if you fucking do that. So you better be telling the truth with this because the first thing I'm going to do after this stream ends, I'm going to message Akai. I'm going to dead up. I'm going to straight up ask her if that's fucking true. Okay? Because I'm not doing this shit. I'm not going to take your word for it. Fuck that nonsense. I will ask her. So you better be telling the fucking truth. Or you're about to have my foot up your ass. But I will say that at the time, making fun of her Sonic OC Akai and them shipping between Sonic and Shadow was uncalled for. Even discussing the way she drew was just idiocy as well. Extremely petty un arguments were not needed. The Sonic 93 videos aged like a corpse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you bringing Sonic 93 into this? You weren't friends with her, by the way. Sonic Night 3 videos age like a corpse and they were always bad to begin with. Listen, 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 no, 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 no. You're trying to shift it to Sonic 93 right now. No, 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 no. You made a fucking podcast on Akai, remember? Uh, 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 ho. Sit your ass down. Uh, uh, nah, you pissed me off. Already. Sit down. Sit down. No, 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 no. Sit. You made a podcast and entire videos dedicated to Akai with the crazy crack the crazy cat critic crack is accurate still though for years in fact you allowed the case crazy cat critic for years to say really unhinged shit if you don't know who the crazy cat critic is they were originally the original crab they were collaborators on the account together many years ago the back when levi and them were small little commentators they had a collaboration account and they made commentaries together guess what the first one was a Delia. You want to know the kind of claims they were making on Dakai? Hold on. Give me one second. I can pull that shit up. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You are not pulling that shit on Sonic 93 because you motherfuckers were calling her a pedophile back in the day. No. You are not pinning that shit on Sonic 93. Uh-uh. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 no. I, I know where to look. See? Okay. No, 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 we're not doing that. We're not fucking doing that. Where the fuck is the evidence? Because I have the Crazy Crack Critics fucking comments. I still have them. So, no. You are not doing this shit. No. 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 You, no, 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 no. Hold on. Let me find it. Let me find it. EC98. Hold on. EC98. I'm looking on my DeviantArt because I called this out when it happened on DeviantArt. And I called out these people when this shit happened too. Oh my god. I have to go through my fucking DeviantArt. Oh lord. The cringe. Okay. Come on. Come on you stupid bitch. No, come on. I look up my username and fucking furries pop up. What the fuck? <laughs> DeviantArt. Fuck's sake. Oh, god damn it. Uh. Okay. Okay, so I'll probably put this in the description since it's taking a bit. But, um, for context. I called out the Crazy Cat Critic in 2018 about this. But they were going around claiming Akai was, like, 
um, you know, drawing rape art and all this kind of stuff, which was a narrative they were pushing at the time. They called her a pedophile. They called her a lot of stuff. But the reason why they cut off the crazy cat critic, here's the real reason. Because the crazy cat critic was very vocal about their actual intent. She straight up called Akai a pedophile. Straight up. I, I have to go through my logs to find it. And I'll show you how fucking unhinged the comments were. Because, like, um, EC98, who is a Sonic artist, um, also called them out with me and highlighted some of the most insane comments they were showing. This was in 2018, by the way. These people, including that person, were harassing them for years. And the only reason they cut off the crazy cat critic was quite literally because she didn't hide behind flowery language of saying like, oh, like Akai drew art of her um, kissing a 15 year old. You know, the language is like, oh, I'm not actually calling you a pedophile. I'm just heavily implying it. And I'm tired of videos like that. And honestly, fuck the people who do that. We know what you're doing. We know what you're implying. Fucking media literacy exists. And I hate the fact that people keep getting away with that. Oh, drawing a 15 year old her character's 23, kissing Sonic, who's 15. Ew. Oh, that's creepy. We know what that is. We know what you're implying. And that's how they treated her for years. So, no. Don't don't you give me that shit. Don't you give me that shit. You are not throwing her under the bus. Yes. So, no. No. Alrighty, fuck off. You are not. Fucking moving that goalpost and say, well, it's Sonic 93. Sonic 93, yes, their videos were horrible. Everyone has regarded that. Sparrow even called that out. Sonic 93 is not the problem here. It's the videos you made in response. You made podcasts insulting her. You people even told her that she was mentally ill and insulted her mental illness that you made up. Like, I remember that kind of shit. Don't you dare fucking do that. You even made fun of the fact she felt suicidal. Fuck off. No. Mm -mm. I, I don't like you guys diverting the blame. I really don't. So, let's resume. So, let's keep reading. I'm already pissed. They're already lying. They're, I'm sorry, diverting the blame. Because they're like, oh, Sonic 93's videos age like a corpse. And they're always bad to begin with. Yeah, that's why you suck them off all the goddamn time. Shut the fuck up. Same goes with the content that I contributed. Jane, I've already apologized to you. But I will say it again publicly. Just not on my account, though. Because that would me mean me being held accountable. I do very much apologize for the way I'm acting... The way... For the way I acted towards you. But I won't send you this or actually at you. Because that would mean it would be genuine. And the content I contributed to the harassment. You were the main harasser. Stop downplaying what you... You made a podcast on one fucking girl. Not like podcast talking about her as a topic. No. It was the Akai Daily Podcast. She was talking solely about this bitch. Solely about Akai. Stop it. No. I'm uh, already... No. Shut the fuck up. Nah. Can you imagine I made a fucking podcast dedicated to you? How fucking weird that would be? That's not her... You are obsessed. S say what it was. You are obsessed and whatever fucking weird shit your mind was on at the time, maybe you loved her or some shit. I don't fucking know. But you were obviously obsessed. Don't, don't fucking paint this as I was an ignorant child... You were willfully harassing this woman for well over five years. I'm sorry, if you were an ignorant kid, it wouldn't take you fucking five years to realize that. Let alone, like, a fucking YouTube video to call that out for you. It really wouldn't. Especially since, I don't know, you weren't a child by the time that, you know, people were calling this out. Just food for thought. No need to accept my apology. Oh, so... Okay, so that gives me an indication. If I message Akai, she's already going to tell me I didn't accept her apology. Good to know. My videos on you were not in great taste, and I hope this behavior is dead. And with the former DA community, hope you're safe and continuing art. Ah, oh, I hope the former community is dead. Yeah, maybe because they would expose you for your involvement in that matter, because a lot of them have saved those videos. Which, by the way, 
I saw your guys' sim videos that was related to the charity live stream that had a Kai as a thumbnail where you call Princess Elizabeth a dumb little Jew girl. Um, I saw that. So, don't worry, we'll address that when we talk about Princess Elizabeth. We're gonna address your, uh, anti-Semitism a bit there with you and Hannah. So, um, yeah, so we're, we'll, we'll keep reading. Trust me, that, that's gonna be a little gift later on. That little story I have. See you, author slash jar. Oh, I want to hear... Oh, fair warning. This is going to be one of the worst ones in the fucking dock. I want you to look at this one genuinely, seriously. They downplay what they did to him badly. This is, the, this is one of the ones I would argue is the worst in the entire dock. And I'm not even kidding. Which, by the way, the Akai one is less apologetic than, than a lot of the others in this one. But this one's even worse than that. Because I'm going to read the first sentences. And I want you to see what the first fucking sentence on Jar is. And I and let me tell you something. It's not fucking sorry. I, I'm going to read it. It's the worst one. Okay, hold on. I know for some people Jar is a mixed bag. But I will not be discussing the controversies he's been in. Sorry, I am that angry. <laughs> this is a man you called the cops on to be brutally beaten. Used his private information. Sorry, it's not private. He posted it publicly, unfortunately, because, you know, he was young on the Internet. It was his first time online. He didn't know, you know, proper safety protocols, which, you know, is understandable. And you weaponize that to get him possibly killed. And then when he attempted to take his own life, you motherfuckers told him he should have succeeded because he didn't deserve to live. Get the fuck out of my sight. Get the fuck out of my sight. Listen, I may not like Jar, but my fucking God. I do not like the fact that the first fucking sentence is that. I do not like the fact you're already talking about him like that. Fuck you. Fuck you genuinely from the bottom of my heart. He does not deserve that treatment. No human deserves that treatment. The fact that's your first fucking sentence out of your mouth shows you're not fucking sorry. So don't give me that shit. Let's keep going. It gets worse. Trust me. I was not there for those, and I certainly didn't know him to be CU offer after all these years. Yeah, because he was hiding in plain sight, and you people were so fucking stupid and have so little of intelligence you couldn't tell he had a voice changer. This is how much you fuckers interacted with him when you were harassing him that you didn't even know his fucking voice with a voice changer. You literally harassed a dude you barely knew to death. Because, oh my god, he defended a child on the internet for recolors and actually talked to her like a human being. Oh my god. Fuck you. Fuck you genuinely. Already. Pissed off. Pissed off already. I have heard rumors about the alleged suicide for a while. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Alleged su- Ow. I hurt my wrist. I will beat your ass, Levi. I swear to fucking God. You say- How fucking dare you say alleged? Excuse me? Alleged suicide? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Get out the fucking door. Out the door. Out, 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 out. Mm -mm. You will not belittle something that nearly took his life. Uh-uh. No. I'm sorry. Alleged suicide, but you know, Scorn total, total- Even though fucking Nummy admitted that Jar never talked to Scorn. It was just a drama about your gay little situation that drove him there. But, you know, he totes did it. But, Jar, it's alleged. It's alleged, guys. It's alleged. Fuck you. Fuck you. Sorry, tism going off really bad because... Listen, me and Jar may not be on good terms, but he used to be my friend at some point, so I'm still kind of defensive when it comes to him. And I'm really not happy hearing that. <laughs> really not happy. So, ow, fuck, I keep slamming my hand, my wrist is broken, it hurts. <laughs> Sorry, still angry, still angry, but uh, okay, and I'll be honest, it was obvious 
made me excessively anxious and upset to know that I may have had caused someone to game over. But yeah. Oh, I made you anxious? Is that why you made a video with Yuki and perpetuated the narrative that he was lying? Oh yeah, I made you so anxious, bro. That's why you did that video with them. You know, a thing that I'm I'm fairly certain Yuki still hasn't apologized to Jar about. Which, by the way, I saw the video. Don't give me that shit. Anxious my ass. I saw the video you guys did on him. Fuck you. I found it somehow. I can't find it again, but I saw it. Shut the fuck up, you knew. You were laughing about it. Shut up. Don't give me that shit. You fucking lying asshole. Shut the fuck up and set the fuck down, you goddamn gulo. Mm-mm. We're not doing that. Mm-mm. Shut the fuck up. Bullshit. Already. Uh, sorry. Like I said, Jars is the worst one on Levi's entire thing. And you're seeing why. Alleged suicide. Why the fuck would you say alleged if you actually felt anxious he might have done it? Uh... May need a break. Mm -mm, no. No, I don't need a break. I, I need to punch someone. <laughs> Violence is the only answer. But, let's keep going. Let's zen for a second. Let's treat this like we've never read it before. So, let's keep going. Whew. Luckily, that wasn't the case. I originally knew Jar to be CEO author. Someone who, criti who criticized at the time... Sorry, still trying to read English is still a struggle for me. People in the DA Randy community about people discussing people's OCs and attitudes. Yeah, and he seemed to be the only one with a fucking brain out of everyone in this community for some odd fucking reason. Thank God Jar existed because he was the only one that actually talked to the 13-year-old. Holy fuck. How the fuck did this- How the fuck did Jar at 19 figure out what you fuckers couldn't do at 30? I'm talking to Heather especially on that one. How the fuck did Jar at 19 figure out what Heather couldn't do at fucking 30? What was it? 34? Yeah, she was 34 at the time. So, so, th th that's my question. How the fuck did he figure out just to talk to the child instead of the grown fucking adults in the situation? Let's see. Sorry, I lost my place. I'm, I'm trying to read. <laughs> Specifically, Princess Elizabeth 13. What led to this extreme falling out was Jar, CEO author, calling Heather dollface over a disagreement. You watched my fucking video. You know that's not fucking true. That happened because he talked to the 13-year-old and actually got her to apologize for telling people to kill themselves and all that kind of stuff and actually made her reflect on her actions. You know, what the adult in this situation is supposed to do. Talk to the child, sit down with them, and have a gen real genuine discussion. How the fuck did you people as adults not get that, but Jar did? He's younger than all of you. How the fuck did he get that? I like how you like to mention his controversy, but it seems like Jar's the only person in this situation that had a fucking brain. You, you, wanna, you wanna look down on him, but yeah, he's the only one that had a fucking common decency. I find that hilarious. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Keep going. Looking back on that, it was the most asinine and ridiculous disagreement I've been a part of. And yet you still were a part of it. I wonder why. It's, it's, it's almost just like that's your kind of M.O., Miss Akai Podcaster Girl. I don't recall my video on him, but I know sh I sure made one along with Yuki did as well. Yeah, you guys did. The evidence of it is actually still on Twitter because Twitter one day had integration with YouTube. And people liked the video. And that's how I found out about the video originally was because someone liked it. And I found the tweet of them li uh, like someone liking that video. And I looked up the video and I found it. I can't find it again. I don't... I don't... Ugh. I couldn't download it from the site it had it on, unfortunately. <clears throat> but I did watch it. So, yeah, you guys made not just one. You guys made two, by the way. It wasn't just one. They made two videos. I saw one of them. I couldn't find the other, but they made two of them. One where they collaborated and one was, and I think one was separate between, I think either both were collaborations because I do remember in total it was two from the both of them. So, 
uh, yeah, you guys did make videos. I, I saw one. It was bad. It was pretty bad. So let's keep going. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, do, 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 do. Both videos were out of malicious intent. Oh, thank God you admitted it. Oh, thank you. Thank you for admitting both were out of malicious intent. Thank God you dropped the veneer finally. Instead of this bullshit, oh, we're just trying to help you improve fucking narrative. Finally, so, a genuine moment of real accountability. Both were done out of malicious intent. Oh, oh, keep. By the way, keep that phrase in mind while we read the rest of this. They're admitting right now they were in this situation. They did those videos out of malicious intent. Keep in mind, this is when Jar killed, tried to kill himself. This is when it happened. Keep that in mind, that malicious intent statement. And then we're going to read the rest of this. And I want you to see them mention the rest of the incidences. Because I'm going to tell you, this is going to piss you off. Because keep in mind, those videos were made before they try to call the cops on him. So, you know, for the intent of getting him brutally beaten to death. So, let's keep reading. Because <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's going to get worse. The dog pile over one comet was not worth it. All the harassment that was given to him at the time certainly was unwarranted to save the least. Oh, you don't say. <laughs> oh, no, no. It was just you guys throwing him a sumbler party, making him one of the girls, right? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, co come on. Come on. You, you, don't, you don't need to pretend. I can tell you're not actually sorry towards Jar. It's very obvious in this fucking thing you're not. It's like, just stop pretending. We don't believe it. We see through it. Shut the fuck up. I will not ask for further details on that. Jar, I am aware that you like to be on top of these kind of things. What the fuck does that mean? Jar, I am aware that you like to be on top of these kind of things. Oh! They're addressing the fact that they know Jar won't take their shit. <laughs> Ow! Now, if you guys don't know, uh, Jar, anytime someone mentions his name, he tends to appear because I'm fairly certain he has Google alerts on his name or something. But Jar, when it comes to his image being um, tarnished in any way, he is always on that. So I'm fairly certain this is a reference to him being fucking on that. Because they know, like, if you fuck with him, he's going to appear. If you say his name too many times, he will fucking appear. That's how Jar is. Nothing against him. Like, that's a very good... Like, he has a very good reason for that. Because, you know, you idiots existed. Um, here's a little thought for you. Uh, maybe he wouldn't be that way if you guys, I don't know, didn't treat him like this to begin with. He wouldn't be so hyper vigilant over his career being destroyed if, I, let's say, I don't know, you guys destroyed the first one? Because my money is Jar, like, would have just stayed with power scaling his entire career if it wasn't you guys. But because you guys kind of forced him out of a different venue, that's how he became the account he is. Like, you quite literally. Created the person that I know you're scared of. You created that man. Without even realizing it. And you created me too. For your bullshit as well. And oh, we're, neither of us take that shit. Jar is just. He does he does stuff more like. You know publicly like. He will just be like hey look at these fuckers. Look what they're saying. They're fucking stupid right? That's what he does. I'm more of the thing of like. I'll try to explain it to you. Like behind the scenes. I'll try to solve it like behind the scenes as much as possible. Because I like. You know, you know, if it's a private matter, keep it private, solve it privately. Unless it's like really egregious, then I'll make it public. But it has to be pretty severe for me to do that. Okay, so it's it's getting worse. It's getting worse. So <laughs> it's got some kick to it. So let's keep reading. Um, what I did at the time to you and others was unacceptable, and I am very sorry. And yet you didn't add him either in this, <laughs> which I I'm going to tell you if you I know for a fact you made this as like this little fucking word doc thing because you knew if the keywords would come up in a Twitter shirt search and he would have found this too. I know that's the reason why you did this because you know Jar would have found it first. If not me, he would have found it. I know that's why you did it. And I know further, that's also why, you know, people, um, aka username mentioned can reply. Only they can, because you don't want to be held accountable. But you know for a fact if Jar found it, he probably would have retweeted it and probably made fun of you. That's why you did this little fucking gay little word doc. We, we know. We know. It's very obvious that's why you did it. Because you're scared, you're just as scared as Jar as you are me. 
probably even more so of Jar because of his public reach. Because Jar doesn't really need to do much to fuck up somebody. He really doesn't. And I'm fa I'm fairly certain you're probably aware of that. I'm fairly certain that's the reason. So let's keep reading. <laughs> let's keep reading because I can see your cowardice through your little fucking thing. It's not it's not so cute, honey. It's quite gross, Lynn. You may need to fix up um yeah your head a little. Just saying. Knowing what you endured, it would le it would be. Poor taste to not issue an apology. Please take care of yourself. <laughs> then why didn't you tell him this in private then? Like, I know for a fact. I know for a fact. If I were to ask, hey, did Levi actually apologize to you? He would tell me, fuck no. <laughs> I already know you have not apologized to him because I know for a fact Char would have said something. And Char would have kicked your ass. <laughs> Probably told you, get the fuck out of my DMs. Like fuck, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you're so sorry. Don't send him to. Don't send it to him though. He might hold you accountable. Don't send it to him though, because he might actually get upset over the fact that the first fucking line in your quote unquote apology is saying I won't address your controversies, as if that belittles the fact you nearly killed the man. Oh yeah, fuck off. <laughs> fuck right off. Okay, let's keep it going. I've been made aware that there were public allegations on Twitter not long ago that you were doxxed along with sexual assault allegations. I've seen passing comments on how I was somehow involved, but I had zero involvement with that incident. How the fuck are we supposed to believe you, though? Genuinely, how the fuck are we supposed to believe you? Your first sentence in your quote-unquote apology was saying, I won't address your controversies. Why are we supposed to believe you when you're literally the person who admitted in this fucking text you made the videos out of malicious intent around the time, coincidentally, quote unquote. I have to say coincid uh, quotes now because I can't find the video again, unfortunately. That was you pretty much glorifying the fact he did try to kill himself. So why would we trust the person that was trying to push someone to suicide deliberately? About the truth in this matter. Especially since you're not even acknowledging, you know, the police problem that you guys did. You know, the one where you lied to people saying he pushed Scorn to suicide. And then with the information he put on his D DeviantArt profile, encouraged people to use that infor infor that docs information. Which it's not, is it, is it docs if it's public information? I, th I think it still is because it still can be used. I I'm not sure. I would have to look into that because I'm not sure dox is just like having someone's information because that would mean everything's doxing because if you like take your dentist I'm fairly certain it's not if it's public information it's public information but I don't know I don't know how these things work when, when it comes to that because you know not from here but you took his information of his full name his age, and, you know, genuinely the location where he lived because that was available on his Skype that anyone who added him could see, unfortunately, which, unfortunately, at the time, Jar did add a lot of people on Skype, so that information was publicly available, and you posted it on DeviantArt, trying to weaponize it against him to get people to call the cops on him in hopes that he would be brutally hurt. You know, you tried to use police intimidation and possible violence, which, you know, is a fucking felony you know police intimidation and all that using the 911 system to get them hurt because Jar called your asses out about the Princess Elizabeth stuff unintentionally so I have no intentions to dox your information or anyone else's information bull fucking shit the ED pages exist bitch uh 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 you have. You literally have the... D you and Yuki posted the docs information of Princess Elizabeth, Kiana, and a lot of other people who were as young as 13 years old. Don't give me that shit. No, nope. you, you've doxed plenty of people. Shut the fuck up. I do not believe those claims were said and have no intention of spreading that garbage. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Keep in mind, no acknowledgement of the fact that they sent cops to hurt Jar. No acknowledgement of the fact that, you know, 
fucking nummy admitted to fucking everyone that Jar never pushed someone to suicide. They don't even acknowledge that that was the thing that they were trying to get him brutally hurt by police by was that claim that he pushed someone to suicide. They claimed that he talked to Scorn and pushed that person to suicide. But yet, notice there's no acknowledgement in this. This is this this is why Jar's section and Levi's apology is the most infuriating. There is no acknowledgement of what they've done, and the apology is so half-assed, it's not even funny. Madam gave a better apology than fucking Levi right now, and that's saying a lot. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see how bad this gets. Oh, look, Princess Elizabeth. You know, the girl that they nearly pushed to suicide and all that. Look at how small her section is. Keep in mind, they harassed this girl for well over three years. And this is all she gets. This is the best you can do for a girl whose docs you've leaked online, who you've caused severe mental anguish to, and life and try to do life ruination. This is the best you got. Mm. Don't like don't like it. I don't like it. I don't recall spending too much time on you, Aaron. Shut the fuck up. You people ranted on this bitch for years. Even I remember that. And this... Like, I remember the videos. You made plenty. Shut up. Stop lying. Shut up. Like, diverting attention. I remember making one, maybe two videos on you. Of course, it was in poor taste about your attitude. And OC at the time. Basically, the same treatment that Jane went through. Yeah, and you also... Um, here's a part of the story they didn't mention. Um, they drew pornography of Elizabeth with Rouge the Bat because apparently, like, Princess Elizabeth was in a very homophobic household and, you know, parents taught her wrong and, you know, all gay people are bad, so she was very homophobic. So they thought the solution was to draw porn of this child's OC with Rouge the Bat. So don't, and also, by the way, they did the same thing to Akai, too. They drew porn of Akai's OC with Amy Rose. You know, the Jane X Akai fic. They made a whole fucking group dedicated to that one, by the way. For Jane and Amy Rose, despite the fact Amy Rose is fucking 12. And Akai's character is 23. But, you know, that's fine for them to do. That's not pedophilic. But, you know, Sonic and uh, Jane. So, it's so gross, guys. It's so gross. Shut up. Shut up. You, you people are inconsistent and you're fucking liars and snakes. It's very obvious. Like, keep in mind, I'm not going to hold Erin to the opinion she had when she was a 13-year-old child. A lot of kids her age, unfortunately, when they grow up in houses like that, are going to parrot those beliefs. And those are beliefs she doesn't even hold anymore. Which, because, guess what? She's older. She formed her own ideal. She actually went out in the real world and realized, wow, my parents were pretty ignorant. Like, if a kid is being a fucking homophobic little asshole online, just talk to him. You know, like what Jar did. I, again, it still is fucking hilarious that Jar, in five minutes, did what these people couldn't do in three fucking years. Five minutes is all it took. Jesus McFucking Christ. But rest assured, I do not stand by what I said anymore. And I'm so sorry for my hurtful comments and videos about you. But, you know, I won't actually tell you this in private or address it to you at all. Because that would mean I would be actually trying to mend my mistakes. And I don't want to do that because it would make me look bad like... You were very young at the time and shouldn't have had strangers from the internet harassing you. Uh, yeah, she shouldn't have had grown fucking adults online harassing her. Th yeah, thanks for acknowledging the fucking obvious fucking Lynn. Good job, you crossed the finish line. Your fucking dumbass horse crossed the finish line. Finally, it just took ten fucking years. I am certain you have matured since then and I hope you're doing what you love. You have left long-term mental and phys uh, mental ramifications on this child that she's never going to truly undo. The developmental damage you people have done to some of these children is immeasurable. 
do you not understand what trauma does to a brain, let alone in a child's brain? Mass amounts of harassment, especially towards um Elizabeth, who you guys knew was autistic. Do you not understand the fucking developmental harm you fucking did? She has literal fucking panic attacks and anxiety episodes thanks to what you did. If you are truly sorry, I'm just going to tell you this right now. You should pay for the therapy and the treatment costs as a result of the actions you did. That's the only way I would believe you're genuinely sorry, which you're not. Because her section is the shortest, yet she's one of the people you harassed the longest. This Outside of Akai. Akai was like eight years. Princess Elizabeth, I think, was at least five. So don't give me that. If you were genuinely sorry, and I mean this, genuinely sorry, you would have, for a fact, offered to pay for her therapy and tried to fix any mental repercussions you've done. But you won't. You won't even tell her this in person. You have to hide behind the thing because you're too scared that Jar is going to come out like a fucking boogeyman and go, I saw your post. I don't believe you, fucko. You're a coward. And that's all you'll ever beat, Levi. A fucking dickless, spineless coward that couldn't even apologize to a goddamn child that they fucked up. Disgraceful. Let's keep going. Broken X Muse, the one that I made a good portion of that video about. Let's hear what they say about Vivian, shall we? Truth be told, myself and others shouldn't have should have handled your situation better. Oh gee. Really? Calling her a pedophile and telling people that she was lying about her abuse was handling it poorly? No, say it isn't so, guys. Say it isn't so. Like... (coughs) 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 (coughs)
Well, I still have my disagreements with you. Mm hmm. Yeah, but don't show evidence of any of these claims, by the way. Don't, don't, yeah. Don't, don't show the claims of why you still disagree or anything. Bring it up in your apology. Yeah, that, that's genuinely being sorry. The way I treated you in the video, misgendering you, calling you names, and making threats, that shouldn't have happened. Yeah, it shouldn't. You know, which, your fr which by the way, is why I know you don't hold your friend Hannah accountable. Because why are you still friends with her when she literally threatened to break Muse's legs? Like, quick question. Why would you be friends with somebody who threatened a trans woman to break her legs because she refused to give her more money when she was on, like, Muse went on vacation and wasn't paying her for commissions because, you know, she wasn't commissioning her. She was on, you know, because... Hannah went on vacation. Hannah wanted to be paid for commission she wasn't going to draw simply because, like, she was commissioned so long by Muse so she should just give her money because um, Hannah deserves it for simply existing. Why are you still friends with someone that entitled and crazy? That is just as bad as fucking the crazy cat critic. Because she still holds the belief like Muse is like some kind of pedophile scammer thief and lying about her abuse she's just as bad as fucking crazy cat critic but you won't cut her off you'll cut off the crazy cat critic you won't cut her off yeah she's doing the same thing why would you cut one off and not the other that arm's infected too you cut off one arm why is that one not getting cut off huh ah oh, jesus fucking christ this fucking bullshit man fucking bullshit i'm already pissed the jar section alone already is getting my bl like already got a vein in my head pumping. Like I hurt my hands really badly because I was just like fuck. You. I was getting very angry. <laughs> the Muse one is already making me even worse because keep in mind they said that she lied about being abused, including her sexual assault, and tried to claim that she doesn't deserve her fucking you know, donation money to help her move out of that abusive situation because she wasn't abused, guys, because we just said so. But, you know, believe me, Levi, when I say my mom is verbally abusing me, I I'm just going to tell you this. Like, how do we know you're not lying about that, huh? I I'm just going to post that same fucking question to you. If you can pose doubt on somebody's abuse, like... Why are you allowed to do that and we can't ask you that kind of question? Would that be right for you if I were to question like, oh yeah, did your mom actually abuse you or were you just simply fishing for sympathy? Would that be right? No. Then why the fuck did you do it to Vivian? Because that's fucked up. I shouldn't have to describe how fucked up that feeling is to have your abuse belittled because, oh, well, I just don't like you. Would it be right for me to do that to you, Lynn? To say your mom never abused you? Because that's the logic you gave to Vivian. Fuck you. And fuck the horse you rode in on too. That, fuck that bitch as well. Fuck him. But let's keep reading. I'm treating you like shit because I want you to understand that you're a fucking bitch and you need to fix your shit. Because my god, this is not an apology. This is a fucking travesty. I've seen train wrecks better. It wouldn't be right for me to gloss it over. I am not someone who's transphobic by any means. Bull fucking shit! We have you in the video purposely misgendering Muse. We have you in the video. Straight up, like, you edited the video where, like, Heather straight up is telling her you don't deserve the right to be, be called a woman now. Fuck off. Fuck right off. <laughs> no. You're not getting that from, nah. Nah, that is transphobic as fuck. <laughs> you told her that she doesn't deserve the right to be called a woman. What, what what would you call that if that's not transphobic? It's either misogynist or transphobic. <laughs> you can't have both. It's one or the other. Oh, actually, it can be both. Actually, it. So I, I'm sorry. I should re. I should probably make an addendum to my video. You're uh misogynistic and transphobic. How about that? You like those labels on you? Because those are the labels you've earned. Congratulations. That's what you get for being a fuckhead. You care about LGBT. Well, I'm fairly certain they don't like you. Because no LGBT person. Don't you dare try to ally yourselves with them. They'll kick your ass. Fair warning. I'm just telling you that straight up right now. You think I'm mean. Bitch. 
l let me tell you something. You have no idea how crazy some p fucking people in the trans community are. You d you d you don't want to fuck. You don't want to fuck with people that literally have had years of being fucking tormented on your ass. I'm just telling you this right now. If I were you, I would delete that part and just say, "Yes, I was transphobic and I fucked up." Because let me tell you something. The, if the trans community outside of this little fucking art community sees what you guys have said, I, I'm just going to tell you this right now. I'm just going to give you a fair warning. You will not know peace. Because a lot of these people are in tech industries and a lot of other high places. You will never know peace again. I am warning you that right now. You think I'm an asshole? Oh, sweetie. I am fucking sunshine and rainbows compared to the shit they can do to you. I am warning you this. You, you don't want to fuck with the trans community. They will not put up with your fucking lying shit. I would suggest you delete that part. Because they're going to fucking kick your teeth in. Fair warning. I'm just letting you know that right now. They will kick your teeth in. Without a doubt. <laughs> I am all for LGBT rights. You better omit that. You better omit that. No, you're not. You better omit that. I, I'm warning you. Uh, also, by the way, I, it's not just trans people, too. The gay community is... <laughs> I'm just saying trans people because trans people, they won't stop for years. But the gay community... Oh, boy. I have seen the gay community do the same shit, too. I'm just telling you. Delete that section. We know you're lying. I, I, this is me trying to give you a mercy right now of telling you, bitch, run. Don't you dare say you are for that shit. They will fuck you up. They know you're not. They are going to eat your ass alive. Run, bitch, run. <laughs> Pull up the scary movie scene from Scary Movie 2 of him going, run, bitch, run. <laughs> you, you do not want the, the fucking Rainbow Mafia on your ass. You do not want them on your ass. They will fuck you up. They are in high positions of power. They know how to do it. I'm just an idiot on the computer screen. Those bitches are in government offices. Run, bitch. Run. <laughs> but the way I sounded back then surely painted me as a transphobic homophobic. Yeah, it did. Because it was. <laughs> it was. Oh, uh, no. Uh, but I'm all... It's like saying, like, I'm not racist. But, you know, it's kind of like, you know... What was that video that just went viral from Digby the Goat where he made a character that had like big red lips, like a afro, and it was and it was a black it was a black character he called I can't even say the fucking thing on YouTube because I'm fairly certain this video will get flagged down. But it was Digby, but replaced the D with the N. It's like it would be like him saying, I'm not racist. I'm all for equal rights. But I kind of was a little racist back. It, like, don't even try. Don't even fucking try. People will rip your ass apart if you are. This is disingenuous. People are as, as horrifying to say as it is. People are more forgiving when you're just being honest. Like, yeah, I was a fucking prick. Like, straight up. They'll respect you more if you're doing that. But if you're not doing that, they're going to rip your ass alive. They're not going to. Like no one is going to believe the guy is like I was racist, but I'm better now. We, we, bitch, they see right through you. You're not gonna undo shit like that. You're not going to undo it. You, you just own up to it. It's okay. Like, like people are not gonna forgive you, but they're gonna respect you a lot more than this fucking bullshit flower language. I hate this fucking language. Just be honest. Like, yeah, I was a prick. I hurt a lot of people. I shouldn't have done that. It was very transphobic, homophobic of me, and I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have made, I shouldn't have validated somebody because of their feelings. And I should, and I'm going to, and I am going to work to be better. And the first step is I'm going to apologize to Vivian directly, and I'm going to try to make this right. I'm going to pay for any um, therapy she needs, make up for any financial damage she had from losing her art career, etc., etc., etc. You know, stuff like that. That would, people would respect you. They would be pissed off you did it. But they would respect you a lot more. But you're not going to do that because you're a fucking l l limp dick bitch. Them's facts. Suck it up, buttercup. That's the saying in America, right? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going a lot of here off of media. That's how I learned most of my English. <laughs> I'm just quoting movies half the time. <laughs> I'm, I'm like a fucking parrot. 
I'm trying my best. Please forgive me. Same as I degraded you for being polyamorous, and that goes for mishandling those funds we raised. Oh, no. You know why I'm reacting like this? They basically... Oh, Levi, did you just admit it that you committed charity fraud? Because in the video, I, I said, like, if you admit you mishandled the funds, you took the money from her and you used it on the stuff you said, like, that wasn't in the, you know, in the charity event, you can get in trouble for charity fraud. They said that goes with mishandling those funds we raised. So you not only admitted you didn't give her all the money and the claims that Muse said was true, but you mishandled those funds. That That's fraud. Le Levi. Le Levi, you fucking idiot. You just admitted to a felony. You, st oh, you stupid motherfucker. This is why I said your intelligence was that of a ham sandwich. How do you just casually admit to fraud like that? I, if I frauded somebody, I would never acknowledge I did it. Because the second I do, motherfucker, that could be used in court. That could be... <laughs> you, I'm sorry, I'm so bewildered. You, you admitted that? You admit... That's how I know you're white. <laughs> That's how I know you're white. There is no one from the hood that would ever admit that casually to fraud. <laughs> no one. No one. If someone fucking robbed your ass, they keep their asses silent. This is how I know you're a white girl. <laughs> this is how I know. <laughs> this is how I know. <laughs> this is how I know. I'm sorry. Sorry for that race joke. I just think that's funny because like, as someone that's not from America... Sorry, there's there's little isms like that I've noticed in this country. Where it's like, how can you tell somebody's right? They will, is like white, uh, like Caucasian. They will casually admit the fraud like it's nothing. <laughs> Anyone else would take that shit to the grave. They'd be like, no, mija, I am going to die before I tell someone that I stole from your aunt while she was on her deathbed. Fuck that shit. Fucking Levi over here. Yeah, I committed charity fraud. What of it? <laughs> fucking idiot you fucking idiot <laughs> my mixed race italian ass just looking at you like god damn that oh damn <laughs> i can't i can't <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i can't i can't there's so many emotions of me trying to process her just admitting to fraud <laughs> just admitting to it oh i'm so stupid uh, oh my god oh, yes. oh my god you silly silly lady you silly silly woman oh lo my lord oh belle mia oh my lord bless this woman she is so fucking stupid bless her she is stupid americano oh yes mio mi mija <laughs> oh the belle mia belle mia <laughs> You, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> you stupid, stupid motherfucking American. You stupid. You're so stupid. <laughs> oh, Lord. God help this white woman. <laughs> Lord help her. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my Lord. You stupid American. Oh my god. Okay, we keep reading. This is, this is, I'm sorry, I'm reverting. I'm trying to hold off my accent. I'm trying, I'm trying so hard. I can't, I'm trying not to go into my accent. I'm trying. It's so fucking stupid. I'm fucking trying to speak in my native language on accident. Oh my god. Bringing, bringing out the true fucking mixed race ass out of me. God damn. <laughs> You're so stupid. I just want to exclaim in multiple different languages how stupid you are. <laughs> Good job. Uh, Muse, do you want this? I'll give it to you. For <laughs> if you want to take her to court, you can actually get your money that they owe you back actually from this. Come to think of it. You can actually sue using this. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god, it's so funny.
It's so funny. <laughs> oh. Bo- bro, you would have to shoot my ass before I would admit to that. Do you know that's like a 20 ye- 10 to 20 year jail sentence? Nah, bitch, I ain't admitting to dick. <laughs> Motherfucker, do you know how much shit happens in 10 to 20 years? Nah! Nah, bitch. You, you have better- You have more easier time getting admit to my fucking, like, fanfic search history than you are to that! No! Alright, let's keep going. Sorry. I, I, I've i laughed too long. I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. Oh, oh, this is, this is the most American thing I've, this is shit you'd see in Florida. This is shit you see in Florida. (laughs) This is so fucking dumb. All of what I said and did was inexcusable. It was not my place to expose your livelihood and belittle you as someone who didn't want to be seen as. Expose your livelihood. Wow, that's a nice way of saying that you're still claiming she's a prostitute. Nice. (laughs) They're still claiming she's a prostitute. Oh my lord. Let's just throw defamation on Muse's lawsuit. Hell, I'll fund it. Defamation, charity fraud... Fun, like, fucking embezzle, fucking embezzlement. Hey, why not? Just add, just keep adding to the charges. Just, just keep adding to the fucking lawsuit. Just, just a shit ton of lawsuit. What? <laughs> How much money do you have? Apparently a lot to afford that much of a lawsuit. Damn. Girl wanna go fucking to the poorhouse fast. She's speed running. <laughs> She's fucking speed running. She running to the poor bank. Like, goddamn. <laughs> Levi, if you hate money so bad, just give it to me. <laughs> I'll use it <laughs> cuz I'm not stupid. <laughs> I am stupid, but not with money, shockingly enough. <laughs> it's only in everything else in life, <laughs> which is sad, but I know I rolled a nat 1 on intelligence. I can't help it. I'm so sorry, life. <laughs> but okay, let's let's keep a reading. How bad can this possibly get? It's gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse. Oh my lord. Same goes with me making excuses for how you spent your money on things that made you happy. Yeah, it's almost like she had a job or something to spend on the toys that you kept saying she took from the charity fund that you just admitted you missed. <laughs> nope, nope, keep going. Professional, you fucking did. Come on, professional. You can resist autism for five minutes. Read, read, damn you, read. Okay. The one thing I cannot speak on is having contact with user drinks drowned. What I've never had the contact with this user once. Oh, that that's not what hmm. That's not what Jinx said. In fact, they they were associated with quite a lot of you. In fact, they were in direct contact with like uh, Yuki when I was talking to him, so you sure you want to go with that? Because I actually know where Jinx's new account is, too. I mean, I can just ask him. You want me to ask him? Because I guarantee you... I guarantee... Look, he, he doesn't like me, but I guarantee you... If you're fucking trying to throw him under the bus and lie about the shit you guys did to him... Because I guarantee you, he didn't know that you guys wrote the ED on him... Calling him a trans trender. Which, by the way, still have the fucking ED log... So I can show him directly that you guys did say that when he came out. So... Hey, hey! If if you want me to pour some gasoline on this fire, I'm more willing to do so. I'm a pyromaniac. I'll set this house ablaze. I'm crazy. I'll stand in it. I'll piss in it. I don't give a shit. Set the house on fire. It's fun. I, I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. I'm, st- I'm, I'm stupid enough to do it. I'll stand in this burning building and I proudly proclaim that, yes, indeed, this building is on fire. I mean, if you want to do that, go right ahead. I'll do it. I'll fucking do it. I'll have other people do it. I mean, if that's the statement you want to go with, go ahead. I'm going to contact Akai already. You want me to contact Jinx too? I can. Are you sure you want to make that statement? Because I'm just telling you, it's probably not a good idea. 
Because, you know, I actually fact check. Just just a thought. There's a reason why I have a lot of shit on you guys. Because, you know, I actually check my sources. And I fact check what you guys have said. So, you sure you want to keep going with that narrative? I'm just saying. You can, I don't know, delete this and, you know, reword it. Because, you know, I'm just saying, if you, if you like that LGBT mafia on your ass, uh, you're, I mean, you want another trans person to come after you? Hey, hey, hey it's up to you, bro. It's, it's your life. I'm just saying, you're, you're kind of being stupid. <laughs> I was made aware in Laka's video that they made their own statement about you via DA journals. There's no way you didn't know because you assholes were all involved in this. I saw you guys commenting on these fucking posts. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck Stop it. Stop it. You made the video. You you fucking had like fucking I saw you all interacting with that. Like his post. Motherfucker, I have his journal saved. I have the comments saved too, dipshits. All I need to do is scroll down. If I see Sinful Nebula, which is your old account, guess what? You fucked. So, just saying, like, mm -mm, I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a single fucking second. You made an entire video claiming that there were child victims, but the one child victim that came out that Yuki was in direct contact with, that you were friends... Like, you were friends with Yuki, and you all were talking about, you just never happened to talk to them? Mm, I don't believe that. Because, here's the thing. Here, here's how I know that. Because, um, Jinx mentioned in the journal, they talked to you, which made them change their mind about coming out. So, there you go, you fucking idiots. You, did you forget that that's in the video? Oh, hi, honey. You alright? Do you need something? Oh, mm. I love you, Ava. Thanks for the hug. Yeah, I'm getting a little worked up. I'm sorry. I I'm not scaring you or the cat, am I? Cat? Don't know. Oh, I, I was a little scared earlier when I heard you punch something. I'm sorry. Speaking of which, can you get me my wrist brace? I hurt myself really bad. I need it. I, I need a more more intense one now. <sighs> yes, dummy. Hold I I'm sorry. I'm stupid. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I'm, I I need a stronger wrist brace. I I hurt myself pretty bad. I'm just trying to not, like express the pain too much. It's why I've been kind of like you know stuttering and stuff like that. It's me actually trying to hold it back. I've gotten good with masking my pain, but uh, it, it's getting too bad. It's getting too bad. I probably bruised myself pretty badly again. Oh no. Uh, listen, I, I don't care if it's still a little messed up from work. Like, it, it's thicker than... It's thicker. It's going to help me. It's going to make my hand feel better. Thank you, though. You don't need to help me put it on. Oh, you're holding my mic. Oh, thank you. That's actually quite helpful. <laughs> I am helping you put it on by holding the microphone. Listen, uh, listen. My IQ has dropped seven points since reading this, and I'm fairly certain it's from reading this. Please be gentle with me. I think he... <laughs> Can we can we afterwards like play video games or something? That sounds great. <laughs> yeah, cause I I need some pick me ups after this. I don't think I can edit after I'm done. Mm -hmm. Can <laughs> why did you hold me by the neck to do that? I thought that was your chin. No, that was my neck. You karate chopped me in the throat. Oh, so the bottom of my hand hit you. <coughs> the top of my hand. <coughs> Thank you. That'd be lovely. Thanks, hon. Uh, <laughs> yes, they are talking about the vid I made a year ago. This addressment was made on March 5th. The video was posted on August 23rd of 2022. They made an addressment over, what? September, October, November, December, January, February. Seven months later. So helpful. <laughs> wow. Re really caring about the time, huh? Thanks, sweetie. I appreciate it. No? Yes. Oh, okay. I know better not to s try to play fight with you right now. I can't barely breathe. <laughs> Amy, 
can't play fighting after I make you drink more right that second. I know, that's why I'm not play fighting, because you'll drown me for a joke. <laughs> no. Drown you with love. I do appreciate you. Now, I I need to get back to reading this, because I don't want to risk the computer dying, so... Hey, you can wait one moment. Mm. You're right. Thanks for the hug, sweetheart. <coughs> ah. <clears throat> there we go, my voice is back. I will, sweetheart. I'm just not with you on Sunday. I understand. Alright, so let's get back to the reading. Ba la 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 la. Okay, do 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 do. Not my place. The one thing I cannot speak on. I cannot speak on the behalf of what Jinx said, but I'm certain they went off of what. I and others said and ran with it. They literally said in the video, which you don't even need me to pull it up. Just click on the video, go to Nummy's section, which is harsh reading the fucking journal. And it says, after talking to you guys, they decided to make... Motherfucker, did Harsh just read that for no reason? Did you guys just skip over Harsh's section where she literally read the journal word for word? Oh my god. Harsh, I'm so sorry. If you ever watch this in the future, I wasted your time, bro. Oh, you, you spent an evening reading that. They didn't even watch. <laughs> they didn't even watch you read it. <laughs> Just to make sure they didn't say something stupid. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. So, here we go. Okay, let's keep it going. Do, 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 do. Alright, so let's go. Let's see. Again, inexcusable and irresponsible of me and the rest of the peep. Uh, sorry, mistranslating again. <clears throat> Let me reread it. Again, inexcusable and irresponsible of the rest of the people who participated in harassing and slandering your name. None of that should ever be repeated. It was all garbage slander and I severely apologize for what I said and did. I hope you're taking care of yourself, are safe, and healing. Well, at least he admitted slander. But, you know, don't apologize for saying they lied about being abused. D don't don't apologize for that, you know. You know, Muse, the person you raised money for because they were being abused. You know, the abuse victim. You know, you lied saying they, they totally admitted they lied about abuse when they didn't. Yeah, don't, don't apologize for that. <clears throat> that. That would actually be reasonable. Hi, honey, you forgot your phone, I take it? Yes, I was trying to not interrupt. <laughs> oh, honey. You interrupted yourself. Yeah, I am very smart. 10 out of 10. Thanks for another kiss. It keeps me going. Thank you. Okay, let's keep it going. How bad does this get? <clears throat> let's see. Yep, Muse is done. They don't acknowledge really any of the horrible shit they've done. You know, saying that she lied about her abuse, including the sexual abuse that was done by the roommate that they fucking knew about. They don't address the slander against Beatrice they did in the video. They don't address these mysterious army of children that Muse had that she was grooming. No, 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 no. It's, uh, yeah, we slandered you. Sorry, bruh. Muse, I swear to God, fucking sue them. You would make so much money. Seriously, they admitted to slander. Just sue them. You, you can make so much money. Sue them. Do it. Do it. <laughs> You can make back all the money you lost because of these fucking idiots. Sue them. I would do it. I don't have money, but I would save up to do it. Just sue Levi. <laughs> she said it was all her idea, so yeah, just sue her. <laughs> you got a mission. <laughs> Good job. Truthfully, Gaia. Uh, you know, they harassed Gaia for years, too, and her section is is still shorter than what mine is going to be. Which I find fucked up. Like, hers is longer than a Kai, and yet they harass Kai, wor like, f worse and longer than some of the people. Like, Princess Elizabeth. Well, not not worse than Princess Elizabeth, but... Th they harass those people pretty badly, yet Kiana's is longer than Princess Elizabeth or Jane. I find that quite telling. It's, it's almost as like, though, Kiana 
is still a public figure in the art community that, you know, if she blew the whistle on you guys, you know, your art careers would be fucked, especially you, Levi, since you're going into graphic design. Also, yeah, I do know, by the way, you were trying to, you <clears throat> try to get, you got a job in graphic design and all that. And I know that's the reason why you're going to apologize to Kana a lot more than Jane or um, Elizabeth. Because, you know, Kiana has a lot more connections in the art field. A lot more connections. And I think you and I both know if, you know, she told certain people, you know, said she talks to certain Sonic artists who are very popular comic artists, like even Stanley. I would say that graphic design job be gone in a week, huh? I know your game. I know what you're doing. You're not slick. You're very, you're transparent. J jellyfish are less transparent than you. I'm just telling you that now. Now, with that being said, let's go. So, let's see, what's this? No, 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 no. Knowing how Kiana wants to move on from this, I will do my best to make this short. Yet it's still longer than Elizabeth. Also, even though she doesn't want to be back in this, that doesn't mean you shouldn't give her a long and genuine apology. Because, you know, that's a part of closure. She wants to move on from it because it's painful to look back on. But if you give her the closure by giving her a proper apology and, you know, making up for the funds you made her lose when her art career got destroyed because of you guys... I guarantee you that would make the pain subside a lot more. But you're not actually sorry, so why am I giving this advice? You're not actually going to do it. This is not, it's not like I already know you have an alt watching this. Same with the rest of you people. Nah, nah. That's not what's happening at all. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Again, do you people think I don't know your games? I know what you're doing. I know you're watching. I'm not stupid. I haven't banned you yet because I'm just kind of entertained by how you're acting so far. So some of you are just observing. I know one of you's commenting. I'm not going to say who, but I know who it is. So <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe don't use the same alts you used in the Akai situation if you're going to comment. Just a little FYI, Levi. Just a little hint for you. Guarantee you that person's going to leave now that I mentioned it. <laughs> oh, let's keep going. Myself and the others met Kiana around the time we were raising money for Broken X Muse. After myself and others were annexed, mused away. You mean you slandered her to the point where she nearly killed herself and you isolated her from all her friends and family because you ruined her fucking life? We tried to, our best to get to know Kiana better by stalking her ever since the age of 13 and getting to know all of her likes and interests so we can slowly destroy her from the inside out. However, this would take a turn for the worse. From what I recall, some of the people asked really strange questions to make inappropriate comments about her arc, her characters, to analyze her behavior patterns. It was all awful. Yeah, you, Levi. I love how you're calling yourself out right now. You're trying to paint it like other people did that. Levi, I still have the Woomi V video. You know, the one where you followed her in the Splatoon community and claimed she was this horrible person and tried to get the Splatoon community to ostracize her and, you know, fucking harass her as well? Did you forget that's still in the evidence folder? You know, Yuki wasn't successfully able to copyright everything down. She only copyrighted, like, her cosplay in the transphobia video that I saved that I accidentally put into that section. That was the only video she managed to take down, Levi. The Woomi Me video and the Kai and the, the Truth Lady Gaia hour long fucking bullshittery that you were a part of. That's still in the evidence folder that anyone can watch right now. That I can link in the stream right now. So don't don't give me that shit. Don't give me that shit. You're trying to fucking divert attention away. I will start playing that video right now just to prove a point. The only reason I'm not is because the stream will fucking die if I do. But I can link it. <laughs> and if people replay this in the chat section, oh, trust me. You, they'll, I guarantee you they'll watch it and they'll see how fucking disgusting your comments were. So don't, don't say that. I'll do it right now. And hell, even if I forget to do it, 
The six hour long video, you don't even need to watch it. It's the one that's like the truth about broken XPs. Go to the um, description, click that link, the fucking Google Drive link. It's gonna be it's gonna be the video that has a picture of a girl wearing a hood. That's Levi's O that's Levi's OC. That's the Woomy V video. Click on that. That's Levi's video, just so you can get a frame of reference of how bad this bullshit is. Mm -hmm. The hour-long video we did on Kiana from 2016 was out of touch and unnecessary for someone as vulnerable as she was. And yet you did it anyway, where you compared her to Christian and told her her abuse wasn't as bad as, like, your guys's. And then said she was a terrible person for not knowing what 9-11 was despite her living in the Netherlands. You know, being foreign. Because, you know, everything that happens in America, everyone around the world has to know all the goddamn time. Because, you know, everyone around the world knows about every historical event in every country all the goddamn time that is totally not relevant to their countries. Like, for example, we totally know about, like, the Aztec Massacre that the fucking Spaniards did. Every country knows about that. Everyone does. I, just like everyone knows about the Australians' emu war. Every country knows about the emu war where they lost the emus twice. Gizmo, you adorable cat. Can you not jump into everything right now? You are adorable and cute and I love you. But you will get snuggles later. I know you want attention, but stop being destructive to get attention. Literally, the one time you do this is when I'm on, when I always try to stream. You never do this outside of that. <laughs> so adorable. Gizmo, come here. Come, yes, come here. Little shit. I <laughs> love her. Uh, I love that cat. She's the best thing ever. Okay, so let's see. No, 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 no. Let's see. Translating. It doesn't help that I also made my own video a year or so later. Rectifying, I did not learn my learn from my lesson. The Woomimi video. That video basically covers how poorly contributed to the argument that Kiana was going to manipulate a bigger community, that being the Splatoon community. Oh, so you do admit it. Even finding out she had autism after all these years. I cannot in good place sleep better at night knowing that I... I cannot in good faith sleep better at night knowing I hurt someone to that degree. And yet you will not address her publicly to her face. You used an alt, didn't even add her, and even to this day, none of you have acknowledged that kind of damage you did. You bullied a 16-year-old autistic girl that you knew was autistic because she made it known she was autistic, and you bullied her for no fucking reason. You bullied her quite literally because she had big titties. Oh my god. A girl online drew herself with big titties. Call the police. While we're at it, let's just harass men for drawing themselves with abs. They're not being realistic with themselves. Bully them too. Bullying them all off the internet because I feel insecure that a cartoon character has boobies. Oh my god. Their big old jiggly wigglies make me sad. Ah, this drawing is intimidating my femininity. If you are intimidated by a drawing's femininity, I hate to tell you this, but you're maybe the one with the insecurity, sweetheart. Maybe you're the one with the problem. Just saying. I have never been intimidated about my masculinity by a cartoon in my life. But you seem to be quite intimidated by a girl drawing a Sonic character with big blue jiggly ass fucking baboon looking titties. Like, <clears throat> like seriously, they were orbs. You're scared of, like, two purple, um, not purple, blue. They were blue orbs. I can't see the color purple, but purple and blue look the same to me, so, like, I'm colorblind. I can't see the difference between the two. <laughs> that may explain why my art shit. <laughs> but, you purposefully harassed multiple disabled children. You harassed Elizabeth. You harassed... You harass Kiana and and Jane, you figured out that she had some form of disability, but yet you used it to hurt her even more. And then when it came out she had bipolar, oh, you guys had a field day with that. You made fun of her more for that. You know, bipolar disorder. The, 
the thing that makes people have really manic episodes where they're really, you know, they can do a lot of stuff and then suddenly they're so depressed. Yeah, remember when you made fun of her suicide and all that, you know, her suicidal episode saying she was faking and lying? Yeah, you're really the good people when it comes to mental health. Which, by the way, it's a big problem with a lot of people in this community in general. Well, back in the day, I'm not saying current day, where they don't acknowledge people have mental disorders and they just harass them based off of it, calling them retarded and stuff like that. Like... There's still some people that do that, and it really needs to stop. Like, people who are disabled, I, I hear, here's a newsflash, they can't help but be disabled. There's no cure for this kind of stuff. And a lot of people shouldn't have to be cured to exist. They have the right to exist just like everyone else. I have autism. And guess what? It doesn't mean I don't deserve the right to exist either, and it certainly doesn't mean I deserve the right to be fucking abused. You need to do some long-ass soul-searching. If your idea... Of fucking fixing your own insecurities was to literally bully a disabled child. Just saying. Like, you're so low on the totem pole, as a grown adult, you were bullying a disabled kid. Because she drew a fucking Sonic character with blue boobies. Oh my god, the fucking skin flaps are intimidating for me. Fucking grow up. Like, I, I don't believe your shit. Like, you're, you're selling manure to a guy that literally has a far, has farm animals. Like, you're not going to sell me nothing, sweetheart. You're really not. You're better off selling ice to a fucking Eskimo. You really are. So, let's keep reading. <clears throat> calm, calm to tism, calm to tism. All right. And level, level. Okay, here we go. Let's read it normally. Do, 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 do. Da, na, na, na. To, to them, even thinking about it, game over. Why? This isn't YouTube. You can say suicide. Like, killing themselves. You can say, I say it because, like, I don't give a shit about demonetization. I really don't. Like, if you can't say the truth of what the matter is in the severity, then in all honesty, it's not a platform worth giving a shit about. Just say it. If they like, you're not making money off of this. I hope you're not. If you got Twitter blue and you're making money off this, I I am going to kick your ass. I like I I honestly I would encourage Muse to sue even more. Get the money from the Twitter blue girl. Get that Twitter blue money. Get her. <laughs> Get that ass. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Then. Sorry, acting up because I see people watching me. I do that sometimes. I'm sorry. The ultimate crime, boobies. Yeah, I agree. Kiana's crime, having tits. Oh my god, women have tits. The horror. Oh my god, them jiggly wigglies. Oh, they're so soft and round. They're just fucking... They're terrifying. That's why I put my face in them every night. Fucking horrifying, I know. Tragic. Like this... If you're in, if you're insecure about another woman's tits, go to therapy. Like, come on, don't don't make everyone else's problem with your insecure. Like, don't make everyone's in, your insecurity everyone else's problem. Just get therapy. Like, if someone's body makes you feel uncomfortable, ask yourself the question. Just simply this: Why? What What about yourself? Do you not like that's making you feel insecure? If it makes you feel bad because it makes you look feel insecure about that, like, and their intention wasn't to do that then go get therapy. If their intention was to do that, then, yeah, I would say something. Like, you know, someone's drawing art of you and they're like, oh, you're 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 ugly. This is what you should actually look like. Then, yeah, you have every right to be offended, but that's not what she was doing. She was drawing art of herself in, like, her ideal situation. She was having a female power fantasy, which there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone has power fantasies. I have a fucking power fantasy that I'm actually smarter than I really am. I know I'm not smart. <laughs> But I can dream. I can dream. <laughs> I can dream I have an IQ above a potato. In my heart, I know that there is a brain cell somewhere in there. I just have to keep looking. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to make people laugh because I, I know I've been a fucking negative Nancy for a while, but it's kind of hard not to be. It's really hard not to be when you're seeing somebody that says this is a, a dressing and a statement of apology. 
you know the sorry miscommunication <sighs> try and translate this from sometimes I miscommunicate in English too forgive me this happens even the video I'm currently making that happened as well which is why like I have little like if there's a ding that goes off in the video that happens too where I'm trying to speak and I'm trying I, I almost say Italian but I go back to English and I say like stuff that doesn't make sense that's why or I'll say the word wrong and it happens so please please be patient with me <laughs> this is this is a problem I do have I, I'm working I'm I'm learning English listen I am having conversational English I, I think that's good right P please don't deport me <laughs> listen I came here legally I swear to God please 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 be merciful <laughs> I, I <laughs> please but okay, let let's let's resume. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have ADHD too, so my mind kind of wanders when I when I get stressed because this this is really stressing me out. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna take a break. I have to get this done because if I don't get this done, the ADHD will kick in and I'll just go off on another tangent on something that doesn't is not even related. So I gotta focus. So let's see. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Same goes with my own video I made as well. It's unacceptable in every way and I deeply apologize for my actions and comments that led to it. I won't send this to her though because that would mean it'd be genuine. No excuses myself and others. I know there has to be another comma there. No excuses myself and others. Is there a comma there? I don't know. I'm just... I, I just get scolded every time I don't use a comma on and when I was trying to learn English in school so... I'm probably wrong, most likely. I always misuse commas. I don't know how to use them. Myself and others acted online, and no one should should go through that. And yet you put her through that. And you will not pay any money for the damages to her career or mental state for her to get therapy. Because, you know, you're so genuine. You're, you're totally sorry, guys. You're totally sorry. You do not have to accept my apology at all. Good, because she probably doesn't. <laughs> just, just being up front... I'm friends with Kiana, though I haven't talked to her in a while. She occasionally sends me pictures of her corgis, and I'm just like, please, please send me more corgis. I love the corgis. Please, more. I love them. I want to have one. Please send me the corgi. And she's like, no. <laughs> you have to pay for them. Because apparently, like, her, her mom breeds corgis. And I'm just like, you lucky bitch. <laughs> Give me the corgi. <laughs> but... I, I know Kiana well enough, even though we don't talk often. It's mainly through corgis. <laughs> but I know her well enough on the stuff that I do that, she, of course, she's not going to forgive you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm very easily entertained by animals. <laughs> listen, listen, if you want me to talk to you, just send me a picture of a cute animal and I will Im you will immediately have my attention. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to get my ADHD to shut up is to send me a cute animal. <laughs> and <laughs> the sad part is that's entirely true. If you have a cute animal, I will talk to you if you send it to me. Learning English. Listen, I am having conversational English. <laughs> okay, so let's keep reading. Let's just. Keep it trying. Keep it trying. Okay. So, next part. Kiana, you have every right to hate me and the others. And she does. I truly hope you can heal and continue as an artist. You say that, but do nothing to help her. In fact, you assholes kept stalking her even on her birthday. I showed that in the fucking video. Did you forget? Of course she's not going to forgive you. You are still stalking her even to current day. Fuck off. <laughs> like, yeah, she's not going to forgive you. If you guys stopped in 2015, she probably would have. From what she's told me. Like, if you guys just stopped there, she wouldn't have cared. It would have hurt, but she wouldn't have been, like, as upset. But you guys kept doing it for years. With alt accounts, falling her into the Splatoon community, trying to destroy your relationships there. Yeah, th th that's why she's pissed. Like, you guys did it for way too fucking long. Side note, going to talk about Anonymous Girl on ED real quick. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, it's time for Yuki to be thrown under the bus. 
Oh yes, it's the annual eating. It's the annual eat lepers eating each other. I think that's the expression in English, where you know they all turn at each other and eat each other. Hmm. You ready for the popcorn for this one, guys? I'm ready for the leopards to eat each other. Are you ready for them to eat each other? I sure am. That I know for sure is Yui's account. Yeah, because she admitted to it. We, You admitted you saw my video. We all know. Throughout my time making YouTube videos, I never contributed making, editing, editing additions to any eating page. Bullshit. If you go to the six hour long video and you go to Yuki's section, she clearly states... That Levi helped her edit the pages. Why are you lying when Yuki own admission shows that, yeah, you were a part of it? Which, by the way, I know the account was yours. Either was Majora's Mask or another one. Because that was the one that normally, alongside Yuki, was editing the pages for a lot of those accounts. You know, it edited the pages where you doxed, um, a fucking Nummy Pixels... Um, Kiana, you guys went after a user named Fluttershy Rules 5, which I'm just gonna be honest, there's a lot more people they haven't talked about here, which is how I also know this is not genuine, like, um, Cute Rose something, I forgot her name, which was the first person they went after, like, their first victim was, um, that girl, like, they have a lot of other people they affected too, and you notice their names aren't here, it's all the people I addressed in my video, all the major ones at least. Because I know I addressed some of the others in the video too. But, you know, the, conveniently that just gets left out. I wonder why. I, it's almost like you're only addressing the ones made public. Not the ones that even privately you know about as well. You know. Yeah, d don't address those. Which, I'll address them right here. Um, There's one person that didn't come out that said they would. But they, they kind of did. But they did it vaguely. They vague posted about it. Um, their name is Damien. I don't know if that's their name still. They're, um, I forgot their account name, but they came out because, um, the group was harassing them. Yuki, um, Nemi Scribbles, now known as Troll Artistry, and several other people were harassing them. And uh, the claim they gave to me that, um, there's, that, um, they made, which I think is in the thread too. But the claim they made to me in the call as well when I was talking to him, which is another, this, um, Damien's another victim of theirs. Um, you guys harassed him to the point that he nearly died because he had an iron, he had an iron problem. He had an iron deficiency and you guys stressed him out to the point that he became hospitalized because you guys purposely harassed him. Because of some like s fucking OC bullshit and that was actually like fairly in like recent years. And in fact, that was still happening to him while I was making the video where Yuki N, um, troll scribble, uh, troll artistry was doing that to them. By the way, that's not the only one. There's multiple other people that haven't come out or vaguely have come out that have talked about these people. I wish they just directly called them out because, you know, people would know how many people were affected, but... But yeah, there's a lot of people affected by this. There's still some people that haven't come out. Like, there are some that they've done some really horrific shit to. Like, I'm not the only person that ended up physically injured as a result of their actions. As you just heard, Damien is one of them. He was hospitalized due to his iron deficiency. And the only reason I didn't put that in the video because he didn't send me any proof of the hospitalization. So I'm like, it's a very serious claim. So I'm not going to put it in the video because... Like, the anonymous, the other anonymous person, they sent me, like, the medical documents. So, I'm like, yeah, I can claim this. Because, like, I have, like, this, I have, like, the psychologist, like, bill of all this, like, th that led to them being released. Like, I have, it has dates. It has the, it has, like, the times. It has, like, the price that they have to pay. Like, they can prove that they're, like, $17,000 in debt. Like, they can prove all this. But, like... Damien didn't, so I didn't put it in there. But he's not the only one. There were other people as well that do not that didn't want to come out either because they're still scared. Because you know, if you have a physical injury as a result of terminally online crazy people, I don't blame them for being scared to come out because I was scared to come out for a number of years for that very reason. Hopefully, one day they can. But in total, um, I listed seven people. There is over twenty people these people have affected. I'm just telling you that right now. There, originally the video was going to have 14 people. 
But seven of those people got scared. Um, some of them couldn't provide the evidence like um, that was of the very serious accusations, so I didn't put their claims in. And it's not, and also they backed out as well because they also got scared. Like I didn't cut it out because of like it was lack of evidence, and some of them got scared. So I was like, it was me respecting them. All the people's stories in my video are the people that gave me permission to put it in because I'm not going to broadcast information that, you know, they don't feel comfortable to share. I'm only sharing Damien because he posted vaguely about it publicly. So it, it, it's, it's, it's public knowledge to an extent. I'm not, I don't remember his account. So eh. there, there were 20, there were 20 victims that I'm aware of. There were more. I'm fairly certain there was more than 20. Because this shit's been going on. Since 2009. So there's. Like they have a lot. They have a lot of people they've affected over the years. And a good way to look at all this. Is just the ED pages. Like that's how I found out about the vast majority of them. That's how I found out about JAR. That's how I found out about Fluttershy Rules 5. That's how I found out about Nummy. Like, that's how I found out about these people fucking literally betraying each other. Like, that, like what they did to Nummy. Don't look up Nummy's page. Now, there's a reason why I say that. Because, let me tell you how gross these motherfuckers are. Yuki and Levi um, posted um, Nummy's real face when he was 14 years old. And photoshopped real dicks around his face. Jizzing onto him. He was 14. Like, that's why I don't believe the shit that Levi's saying. Because... If this was a genuine apology, a lot more people would be named because there's like over 20 people that I've at least found. Some of them haven't come out, which I'm not, I'm not surprised. They're scared because again, as someone whose wrists were broken as a result of this fucking insanity who had been lied about for years to the point while I had cancer and was completely isolated. Like, do you think they did nothing with that kind of terminally online behavior to someone else? No, they did. They, they, they've done some wild shit to other people. But until they're ready to come out and show their evidence, I'm not going to tell their stories. That's up for them because that's a, step they, that's a step they do need to take in order to gain closure and start the healing process from what I've also um, heard from when I've asked a therapist about this. Like, some things like that, when it comes to extreme trauma, you have to take the first steps yourself. I want to help them take those steps, but they're not ready yet, which is understandable. Considering what some of those other people went through, I'm not surprised. It's why I avoid talking about them as much as I can, because I don't want them to bring up those memories. Because there's a good chance one of them is watching right now. Because, like, I am still friends with quite a few of them. Like, I'm I'm the one that's helping them being able to relax and, you know, breathe about their problems. Like, I, I helped stop a, quite a few, unfortunately, um, suicide attempts during the video, which is why the video got delayed on some occasions. Because on quite a few occasions, it would take up a long time to try to talk them down from it. Because a lot of these people were hurt that badly in real life. And it has destroyed their lives. And I don't blame them for feeling that way because, honestly, I felt suicidal too. I still kind of do. The ideation's still there. So I understand fully and I don't blame them at all for being too scared to come out. I don't. And all of this seriously because of fucking Sonic and shit like that. I Can you imagine having your life ruined because you posted a Sonic OC online? Can you fucking imagine... Because that's a reality for these people. Like Kiana. She just posted herself with Big Booba. And she had people trying to isolate her and ruin her life. Even invalidating abuse she went through. It's, it's horrible. And I don't really know what to say in the face of that. Other than these people are fucking disgusting. I'm trying to help as much as I can. I've been trying to financially. In the, in the past I did financially help quite a few of them. Like, especially the medical bill person. I was helping them with their bills so, like, you know, they didn't have to, you know, the debt collectors wouldn't come after them and, you know, take their shit. I helped them a lot. I've, I tried my best. 
Like, some things they did end up losing. Like, I'm, I'm fairly certain they had to sell a car. Like, their family had to sell a car in order to pay back some of the debt. Like, it it was bad, but... Like, the, the, they're in a better place. They're doing better now, but... These people, because of their actions, have lifelong financial, mental, and physical consequences to quite a few people. I'm one of the people that have the mental and physical and financial and there's some others that are even worse than me out there. But that's up to them when they're ready to come out about it. And their reasoning's even dumber than mine. I'm not even kidding. The reasoning that these people did their whole little escapades is even dumber than mine. But again, that's when they're ready to come out about it. I will not rush them. I will not force them. That's a step they need to make to begin their healing journey. And to get closure. And if they're not comfortable with me sharing it then they have all the time in the world to do it themselves. I will not pressure anyone to say anything that they don't want to say. Like, that just, that's how I work. Yeah, 2009. <clears throat> so, let's see, let's see. Where did I live off? I can only go off of eyewitness testimony of UE's claiming it's her account via Skype and Discord calls. If you have this, then why don't you just show evidence of this? That way you can prove that claim? Like, if you're going to call out Yui and throw her under the bus entirely, why not just go full hog and actually show the proof of that? Like, if she's lying, I mean, you can just, you know, show the logs showing that that's the case and she was just trying to frame you or something. I mean, it seems like, you know, it'd be a smart idea to do that, but I guess not. She really liked to brag about the account being anonymous, but that's beside the point. Take it for what you will. I don't fucking believe you. I more likely believe Yuki's statement mainly because, like, the evidence clearly shows that that's the case. And it is her account because the account that made Truthfully Gaia was anonymous girl. I don't think Yuki realized I could see her edit history and that's why she's trying to t walk back the admission because she knows, like, she didn't realize that the edit history was public for everyone to see even without an account. Which, by the way, still have the logs. <coughs> um, there's also a reason why I'm not happy with Yuki because Yuki's like, oh, I didn't write that. Like, Yuki... I have the entire ED edit history before, like, the website was changed. I still have it in a Google Drive. Like, I can link it. And you can't copyright it down because, like, fuck. It's not your content. It's my screenshot. So you have no legal right over it to copy strike it. So I could link it and show everybody. Like, it shows her clearly... You know how much Yuki was involved? Yuki's the one that actually created the Jinx Drowned ED page. Like, it literally says, edit needed slash proposed drinks drowned. A.K.A. she brought it up to the website, proposed it, and created the article. Got it verified to be an article. Because around 2016, you had to get, ver you know, you had to get proposed, you had to propose an article and then approve it. Because so many people were making articles that they were junking from when I researched into ED. That they made a proposal system because they didn't want junk articles that were just shitting on people they don't like. Yuki made Jinx Drown's ED page and she outright, despite being quote unquote LGBT herself, I say that because as someone that's a part of it, you should know goddamn better not to call someone a trans trender and invalidate somebody's fucking identity because, oh my god, they're different from me. Which I find so fucked up because Yuki is gender queer, which if you don't know, that's someone that one um, can transition, um, men, uh, you know, their identity transitions from male to female, like w like fluid. Uh, sorry, gender fluid. They're gender fluid. My bad. It's not gender queer. Which I find fucked up because that's literally an identity that the people who use the word transgender would call a transgender. I don't like that fucking pick me ass behavior. I really fucking don't. I don't I don't like anyone that invalidates anyone else because you want to be approved by some fucking asshole. Look, listen. Those fucking people will be the first person to eat you. It's I think the phrase is called lepers eating your face. It happens all the time. Like I've seen it 
online quite a lot where like um there was these women that were like oh we fought for like against like misandry and then the people that were fighting for you know told me I don't deserve rights because I'm a woman and I don't know why and the the right against misandry was people telling them that these people you know these the men they were defending were misogynistic (laughs) And then they saw firsthand they were misogynistic and they were like, what? You want me to not have rights? Why would you do this to me? Did you think you were going to be an exception, sweetheart? (laughs) Oh, yes. Defend a misogynist that doesn't believe that women should have rights. Get shocked when they say women don't deserve rights. What a fucking, (laughs) what a fucking plot twist. Wow. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I don't pressure anyone in this like 10 plus years of trauma I wasn't kidding when this shit's been going on for like t- over 10 years I'm not exaggerating 2009 like if like that's like at least 15 to 17 years of trauma for some of these people so I'm not surprised a lot of people haven't called um, you know came out but yeah this ED shit's fucking bullshit like again I don't want the stream to fucking freak out and die but I can link in the description all the ED pages I may have to remove, I may have to censor one and two because like one or two, sorry, um, mis, mistranslating speak again. I realized what I said after I said it, but, um, the pages I most likely have to censor are the docs information that they put of Kiana because she was a child at the time. Um, basically all the docs information has to be censored. Um, the stuff on Jinx Drown page definitely needs to be censored because they're straight up naked penises and I don't want people like flagging down the evidence because oh my god a penis because I know that's what Yuki would do because she already false copy struck the fucking some of the videos in the evidence folder which I didn't even know you could do in Google Drive with fucking copy strikes I do you know how fucking scared you need to be to find out how to copy strike something in a Google Drive that's dedication but, yeah, I know for a fact, like, if I were to link that, people would be fucking horrified by some of the screenshots. In fact, um, am I able to, like, upload images after into, like, a YouTube editor? Because I definitely would if I could edit this live stream with the YouTube clip editor, edit in, like, a photo showing those things. Because, like, they, they were editing on ED for at least 10 years. At least 5 to 10 years. Like, a good long while. Because they edited, like, Cute Rose from, like, two thousand like 2009 all the way up to 2016. So, like, five years. Yeah, it's five years. So, d- don't give me that shit. I'm fairly certain Levi is either Majora's Mask or someone else. I'm fairly certain that's their account because that's the account that was always associated with Anonymous Girl 2. The name's junk. Oh, fuck. Oh, this boy. I really have to talk about him, huh? All right. Well, I'll be professional. I'll be professional. Uh, here we go. He was wronged in the situation. I just... Tr- trust me, I'm... I-, I-, I don't like this guy. <laughs> I don't like this guy, but I will be fair. He was horrifically wronged in this situation, too. So, let's address this. As reasonably as we can, okay? I will admit I have no idea where to start with Junkie. We were, we're never had, we've never, oh, we've never. We've, oh, it's we have never. Oh, okay, so that, that's the, that's the thing that people do to hyphenate speech in English. Sorry, still have troubles. We have never had a one-on-one conversation. Hell, I completely forgot he had any association with Kiana VA-wise, but that's beside the point. That is fucking bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. You know how I know you've talked to Junkie? Um, did you guys forget I had the fucking comment section on that Nemi Scribbles journal they made about Yuki? Oops. Did you forget that, uh, people can see you all commenting and talking to Junkie? Did you all forget that we can see a lot of that stuff? I'm just saying, like, (laughs) 
Did did you forget that was in the video or like you're claiming you never had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Junkie, but it's quite obvious that that you know so you you guys had something going on, but um let's like especially since you guys had, tend to have a, quite a lot of words for him when uh the Yuki situation happens, so let's keep reading. Any information I was told about Junkie came straight from Yui. Oh, here we go, throwing Yui under the bus. Mm, yes. Run that bitch over. Mm, yeah, just back up. Just fucking reverse. <laughs> My god, they love throwing Yuki under the bus. I wonder if it's mainly because they view her as a traitor. Despite the fact, like, Yuki out of all of them is the one I have at least some monochrome of respect for. Because she's the only one that at least attempted to apologize to a few victims. Not all of them did she apologize to, like me. Like, she, she, you know, walked it back and, like, try to quote unquote on like fucking Twitter after you know I called her out with my alt um I wish for a fish one which is my art account on Twitter because she blocked my main account so I couldn't see her vague posting about me where she you know began to lie saying I never wrote the ED page on Jinx Drowned even though dude we have logs showing yeah you did like <laughs> why are you lying about objective facts we got you <laughs> in 4k bitch like come on just just admit you lied it's okay it's okay like, at least I have a little respect for Yuki for that, though I don't have any at all for them just jumping from account to account to avoid responsibility as well, because th they changed accounts again. Now they're Yui Eller. Like, I, they changed it again. And they're also trying to get buddy-buddy again with the community, which is the same shit they did before, which shows they really kind of haven't learned that lesson as well. Like, if they really respected the victims, I would highly suggest they, you know, stop trying to be a part of this community and associating with it at all because, you know, the damage they've done and the career that they built off of that damage is something they should fucking toss into a river. Like, if I was her, sure as fuck, I would not be using my old OCs, especially for promotion of my art. Because, you know, that should be a point of shame because you use those OCs in some of the worst incidences you've ever done to another human being. If you cared about the victims at all, you wouldn't be promoting them publicly ever again because of the trauma you cause in association. But that's just me. That's just me giving advice. Yes. Um, Edie didn't remove it. <clears throat> Edie doesn't remove pages unless you directly ask them which is near impossible to do now because a lot of the people on ed um just heads up got arrested for drug charges like four people that own ed one embezzled money from ed to feed his heroin addiction and then he got sued then the three additional um collaborators slash owners of ed <clears throat> got arrested for cocaine charges now i think it's like a username easy peasy that's trying to revive ed again but like, if you try to get a page removed, it's like pulling teeth. It's next to impossible. And I, like, I doubt they're going to remove it because uh, some fucking YouTubers coming in like, hey, this article was made because some fucking adults were harassing a child. They don't remove it for reasons like that. They don't, they, they won't because they think it's funny. They, that, that, that the point of their fucking site is to laugh at drama. So they would probably just laugh me off the page. Is I know how sites like that work. I grew up on early. I grew up in the wild west of the internet back in the early two thousands, and I've seen how ED runs. They're not going to remove those pages. They're not going to censor those pages, even if they're if they have children. They don't care. They flat out don't care. Like for God's sakes, this is a site that had like four convicted drug felons running it. Do you really think they care about you know shit like that? They don't. They <laughs> they fucking don't. You think they care about moderation? They don't even care enough to actually get good moderators on their team to begin with. Like, I'm not fucking surprised, are you? I'm not. Um, let's see, what else, what else? As far as I'm aware, I've never made a video in regards to Junkie, nor the allegations about him growing his audience. That's true, you didn't make a video. You still were a part, like, I'm fairly certain you were a part of the stream where Yuki was trying to claim that shit, though. You know, the stream that I have in the evidence folder. The, the pink one that's Yuki's stream. 
that she can't copyright because she removed the stream. Thus, she has no legal copyright because she pretty much forfeited it. <laughs> Deleted all proof that she had ownership of it. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Genius move. In an attempt to cover her ass, she pretty much made it sure that she can't copy strike the fucking live stream out of my fucking Google Docs. 10 out of 10, dumbass. 10 out of 10. Sorry for calling you a dumbass. I just... It sounded funny. That's the reason why I say a lot of things I say. It sounds funny. It's not a dig at you. I just think it's funny. Okay, let's see. What else? If memory serves correct, Yui is going out a junkie around 2017 to... So, wait. You guys were doing this earlier than 2018? Ooh. Accidental admission. How long were you planning to go after Junkie then? Because here's the thing. I showed it happened in March of 2018. If you're suggesting 2017, that means you planned this prior. That means you were planning it prior to that, right? Because why would you think 2017? I showed in the video it happened in 2018. Why would you say 2017? You said you watched my video. It's very obvious you said it in this fucking doc. Oops. Something slipped. You want to try again? <laughs> yeah, the little Freudian slip. You know, just accidentally show your dick to a, uh, to a bunch of children. Just a little Freudian slip. To give context, this was the year that you and your friends started to push me away from their circle. Honestly, for the best. That's fucking bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. Because I remember talking to you and Hannah with Icy Hazard it was Icy Hazard known as Clown Teeth as our intermediary. When we talked, you had talked to Yuki as recently as a couple of months prior. When we were talking, you admitted that. I'm fairly certain you admitted that you talked to her kind of recently. You didn't talk to her, but I know for a fact, if this was correct, you wouldn't have had to talk to her in four years. But that's not the statement you gave to Icy nor to me. So you're already lying. And you were still in contact with Hannah, too, so... Like, shut up. You're lying. You're lying flat out. Did you forget we had that... We had that fucking talk? Did you forget? Did you forget Clown Teeth was there? Did you forget? Hold on, I'll keep poking it. Did you forget? Because I didn't forget. Did you think I wouldn't find this and call you out on that one? <laughs> All right, let's keep reading. I have very little memory of this happening. Of course you don't. Just convenient amnesia. Oh my God, I'm just suddenly not aware of anything going on in my friend group. Oh my God. Even though you're about to admit right here, yet you were aware that Yui had feelings for Junkie, but I never imagined Yui's actions would lead to unreasonable measures attacking others close to him. Why would you not think that, considering the fact that you literally for years have done the same thing with her in tow? Uh-huh. Yeah, I believe that one. <laughs> I totally believe that one. <laughs> From adoring him to outright hating him. Yeah, because like I said in the video... Like, Junkie went for Miki, and you, Yuki didn't like that. Yuki really didn't like that because, you know, Junkie wasn't under her thumb anymore. And he wasn't, like, fucking like a lap dog like the fucking simp he is. Going, I like everything you do, Yuki. Because Junkie was, like, Yuki's biggest fanboy. He's even admitted that directly to me as himself. He can't deny that. He was a big He idolized her. He straight up has admitted that to me. And I just sat there shocked. I'm like, wow. Why? <laughs> like, even outside of this, like, Yuki doesn't have any, like, really aspiring qualities, even in the community. She doesn't have good editing. She's not really good with audio. Like, I would even argue Junkie's earlier content was better than hers, and that's saying a lot, because his earlier content was crap. Like, <laughs> straight up, uh, like, Junkie, like, I've straight up told Junkie his earlier content was bad. Like, <laughs> Everything I'm saying right now, he knows because I've told him directly to his face. Everything right... I And if he pretends otherwise, he's fucking lying. I can show the logs of me saying that most of the time. 
or it happened in a call and I could have someone like validate because normally when we were in calls, we had like, like a few witnesses, which is like why Icy Hazard was in the situation I was in because they were in direct contact with Levi and Hannah and they were also the witness along with one other person that was a more unbiased witness because Icy was still friends with those two at the time. So, yeah, like, <laughs> like anything I'm saying here about Junkie, he knows. Because I've told him directly to his face. Because he, he knows I don't put up with his shit. It's why we don't associate anymore. Because he he knows I'm not okay with what he's done. Oh, he, he knows I'm pissed. He he knows I'm pissed. He definitely knows I'm pissed. <laughs> I, I made it very clear to him he should not have a career. I've told him straight up he should not, you know, he should not have a career. <laughs> Like, I'm on it. I'm not lying. Like, like trust me, soon enough, you're going to see me prove that fact as well. Like, I'm very upfront when I say, some. if someone does something fucked up, I will be upfront with them. And Junkie, I have been very upfront with him when I found out about the shit he's done. And don't worry. Um, unfortunately, you're going to find out a little bit more about the unfortunate shit he's done when uh, that video gets done. Um, surprise, that video's on Junkie. Um, little reveal. Yeah, the big video I got is unfortunately on Junkie. And yeah, you will hear me directly say to him, you shouldn't have a career. Like, you are going to abuse your power and you're going to hurt people. I, I do tell him that directly to his face. Like, I, I, I'm not lying. Wait, I wonder if Heather's pack had anything to do with Spockter. No. No. Heather had nothing to do with Spockter. Trust me, Heather had nothing to do with Spockter. It wouldn't surprise me if they were involved with stories and Pentagram to make up the accusations, but no, there's there's no evidence showing they were involved in that. Trust me, if there was, I guarantee you Ponder would have found that out years ago. Along with the fact I probably would have found it out while I was researching. Because these guys, they did not do a very good job cleaning their tracks. But there's no evidence between, the, like, the Spockter incident. Where, like, Stories and Pentagram lied about him trying to go after Stories and Heather in the group. There's no connection. Like, I could say maybe they were inspired by them. But there's no direct connection from what I've seen. I, I've looked. I, I've looked to see if they're connected to anyone else in this community. And no, they're not. Which, which, by the way, uh, I forgot to mention the Jaltoid and Doobie Do-Over thing earlier. I forgot to mention this in the section where it was relevant. Um, little sidetrack for a moment. Um, this is one of the situations I didn't put in the video that is going to be addressed later on in the doc. But I am going to talk about those two. Um, two creators. Because this group is responsible for the harassment of Jeltoid and Doopy Doover for the last couple of years. And I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen. And the only reason I'm not going to show the harassment of Doopy Doover on stream because it, it does involve a lot of pornography and I don't want the stream getting flagged. Because this is going to stay up on YouTube. Even in its disaster and disastrous mess, it's still going to stay up. And I don't want it removed. But if you want to look into the that situation when I talk about it, I'm fairly, that stuff is still available on Tumblr to this day. If not, it's probably going to be on Web Archive. So just um, look up Doopy Doover's um, thing on Web Archive and look for a screenshot. And I guarantee you, you can find the screenshots of, you know, her talking about the harassment and stuff like that. But we'll talk about it when we get to it. Because there's another section that is going to be relevant where I am going to address that. Because I know that's going to come up in my section. Yes, Levi does address me. And my addressment is bigger than fucking Akai's, Jar's, and <laughs> Elizabeth's, Kiana's, and everyone else's combined. I wonder why. So, let's talk. Okay. Okay, let's see. No, 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 no,
Take my words how you will. I'm not believing a single fucking word you say, bitch. Bye. But Yui really went back and forth with their feelings towards Junkie. From adoring him to outright hating him. I read that already. I'm so stupid. But I'll be honest. This pattern was very common with Yui and others when it came to content creators. That does not surprise me. Because I saw how you guys reacted to fucking everyone. I saw how you reacted to me. Like, Jesus Christ. I disagree with you fuckers one time and you fucking dropped a nuke on my ass. Like, Jesus... Jesus, I was just saying, hey, like, uh, Kiana has the right to not like a TV show, and you fucking drop Vietnam on me, like, what the hell? You fucking drop the napalm, and the fucking Agent Orange, and getting you laughed. Like, yeah, I, uh, trust me, I know, I believe that. I experienced it firsthand. Dear God. I have Vietnam flashbacks every day! <laughs> Sorry. Again, my wrists are fucked up from that. I have a constant reminder every day of that shit. Fucking wake up in the morning and I always think of you assholes. It's like a fucked up love letter. My first thought in the morning is, God damn it, why did I go online? Fucking wake up and now my hand hurts. This bullshit. <laughs> Wake up in the morning, can't even draw anymore because you fuckers, I hate you all. <laughs> eh. I used to be a fan of him a long time ago. I was talking about Junkie. Um, my advice, uh, run from Junkie. Run. Because, unfortunately, when we are going to talk about him, you're going to find out s he he's done some pretty bad shit that I wasn't aware of that I found out that um, when we talk about it, the only reason I'm not mentioning it now is because it needs to be in context to be fully understood and to, you know, to show the proper evidence, you know, show proper context of what's going on. So, like, I would advise you steer clear of him entirely if you haven't already. Like, if Heaton's video didn't make you steer clear of him, if Lyo's video didn't make you steer clear of him, I know for a fact I'm going to. Because wh what I found was pretty fucking bad. And I will say with confidence he should not come back to YouTube, let alone online. It's that bad. It's that fucking bad. He he didn't he didn't molest anyone, just fair warning. He he didn't groom anyone, but it it's still pretty fucking bad. Like I'm just saying, like it's nothing that you know, I have to report to the pol like, you know, like a felony. It but it's it's very fucking serious. Eh, no. Um, is that why Jaltoid hasn't been active in the last two years? No, Jaltoid hasn't been active in the last two years on YouTube because they're making money off of Plush Pong, which is their adoptables account on DeviantArt, which makes them a ton more money because YouTube um, kind of fucked them over with monetization so much that they couldn't really make it sustainable. Because if you watch Jaltoid games, they mention this. That they were having, like, it was not financially really viable all the time. And, it, like, they would make more working fast food. So, where they've been the entire time, even outside of Jaltoid Games, they've just been making adoptables. And it makes them a ton of money. And I don't blame them for doing it because it makes them happy. They're making money. And it's less effort than an animation. So, yeah, I really don't blame them for doing it. And, yes, Plush Pong is their account. They've admitted it in a YouTube video that's unlisted on the, um... On a, on a YouTube account that's also surrounded from Plush Pong. I have it saved. Just not... Oh, no, it's on the computer that died. Fuck. Well, I know I have it saved. So, like, uh, probably on the drive still. But, yeah, they're still around. Like, they're still around. They're, they're not gone because of the group, but they were harassed by the group pretty badly. And surprise, surprise, it's because they were associated with a person they didn't like. Okay, uh, we'll talk about it when we get to it, but yeah, it's pretty fucking stupid too. But let's keep going. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. I have a I have no explanation as to why jealousy. You were jealous of those creators. You wanted those creators for yourself. You wanted them to be underneath your thumb, and you didn't like they weren't. That's why we all fucking know. You don't have to lie. Other than to act like assholes to each other. No, 
You did it because Yuki's reasoning because Junkie wasn't being her fucking simp anymore. You guys were doing it because you're all fucking sheep or I am very vindictive assholes. And anyone else who were pawns in the situation, unfortunately, contributing to that were unknowing participants who unfortunately were involved in the matters they really shouldn't have. Like, I'll say that about Icy. That's why I, like, despite Icy being friends with the group for a while and being in some of these events, this is why I didn't go down on her. That sounds wrong out of context. But, <laughs> don't, I'm sorry, Icy, please don't hurt me. But, <laughs> but there's a reason why I didn't, like, lay down the law with her when it came to that. It's because she was a very obviously a pawn. She had no idea of a lot of that incident. She had no hand in a lot of those campaigns because she genuinely thought she was trying to help people and it was very obvious from the evidence I saw that's why I don't lay down the hand on Icy at first I was very skeptical of her and I'm like I, I, I don't trust the air you breathe but when I researched more and I saw more evidence even of them trying to throw Icy under the bus and her neutrality in the Broken X Muse situation which I still have the journal saved of I uh, it, it just didn't make it into the video because there was nowhere to really put it. But um, I see had a journal that's still on web archive that I have saved. That she was talking about Broken X Muse situation. And she was she said she's being neutral about it. And then there was a follow-up journal where she cut off contact. Because the group made that part too. And convinced her that you know Muse was a child molester when she wasn't. Uh, I see was not a malicious person. She was genuinely just someone following the lead. Which is unfortunate that happens. I'm not going to be angry at somebody for being duped. It's horrible she was a part of that. But she had no idea what she was a part of. She genuinely thought she was dealing with terrible people or helping people. She didn't realize that, you know, these people were malicious dickheads. That's why I don't really treat Icy bad. And Icy, I think since then, has made an apology a video addressing her other things. Like from, like, creeps work... Um, kind of fairly recently. I haven't watched it, but I'm proud of her for acknowledging her faults and growing as a person. She's the only person I can say in that entire group has any fucking commendable attributes at all. Of course, the one that was the pawn is the only person that doesn't act like a fucking dickhead. It, it shouldn't surprise me, but it does. I'm just so used to people not taking accountability. It's just shocking to me that Icy was the only one. She made an entire fucking video addressing people directly, saying, I fucked up, and I'm sorry. Even for the stuff she didn't remember, she still apologized. She didn't do, like, will you... No, she literally went, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. And I say this because I've seen her on Twitter. Because, like, like I have friends of mine who do like her content. Like, um, OC10 Aya has drawn fan art for her. So I see her tweets on my t timeline quite frequently, because, like... You know, Aya, Aya likes her art. And I don't blame her. Um, Icy's art's pretty cool. I I just, I have some residual stuff from the stuff she was involved in. Because she, she went after um, me and my ex, Rosemary. And she, she, her, she, she pretty much uh, treated my ex like shit. Which is why we stopped being friends. Like, we have apologized to each other, but, you know... You know, there's not been any further efforts from that. You know, like, the apology is the first step. There needs to be more actions, and there hasn't really been any actions. So, that's why she's kind of, like, at arm's length with me. Like, I'm, like, I'm willing to remove the arm's length, but there needs to be, like, steps made. If that makes sense. Like, you know, show, like, you know, you've grown from this behavior with me, and, like, we'll go back to being friends. Because we were friends before these fucking assholes. But when these fucking assholes got involved, they destroyed our friendship. Because I am I knew Icy before Yuki. And that's what pisses me off. I knew her before Yuki, and I lost her to Yuki. <coughs> um, let's see. What else? But let's resume. Sorry. I'm just addressing it because I know some people, like, after my video were, like, asking questions about who was involved in the matter. Like, there were, like, a few little side pawns in the matter. Like, Nemi Scribbles definitely helped them, but got, like, I showed their involvement in the Yuki situation. 
and now they're under troll artistry and they're still doing this shit with Yuki, um, Yuki. I don't know if they're still going after that person that they were going with. Like, they're still going after Damien. I don't know. I haven't seen any updates on that because he hasn't talked to me in, like, at least over a year. But... <clears throat> Uh, maybe a couple months. I don't know. Time and time's an illusion for me, but <coughs> I I know for a fact. Oh, hold on, my voice is giving out. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Back to normal. All right. But there were tons of people involved, like hopeless romantic, otherwise known as pockets. They were like the reason why I went after mainly these guys because they were the figureheads at all these events. They were constant in all these events. But there were side characters like Junkie's ex girlfriend Miki was involved in some of these events. Like they were involved in the Fluttershy Rules Five incident. Icy was as well. I don't think they realized what they were a part of though. I still have those live streams saved in the dock. That's what that anime profile picture is. That's the, the, those are the Fluttershy Rule live streams that were really fucking bad. Like, from what I heard, Fluttershy Rules 5 was bad as well. But what they did to them, uh, like, they did some pretty fuck shit to them as well. I don't think Icy nor Miki were aware of it. That's why I say they're pawns. Like, I don't think either of them were malicious. But there were other people, like, Hopeless definitely was and was fully aware. Um, Ama fully was, fully aware. Um, Bitchy Senpai, otherwise known as Dan, fully aware. Purposely sp even spearheaded some of the uh, spearheaded other events that I didn't even get to talk about. Like, th there, there's quite a few fucking clowns around the area, but that's why they got away with it for so long because either people already knew what they were doing and were all for it, and the people that didn't know were easily able to be manipulated because they didn't know any better because they thought they were doing the right thing. Like, again. This is why I don't go hard on Icy nor Mickey because, like, they didn't know. Like, genuinely, the evidence showed they had no fucking idea. But, let's resume. Okay, so let's see. Regardless, even though we've never had a one-on-one -on -one conversation or any other interaction, bullshit, it was clear lack of my negligence. It was clear my lack of negligence. My lack of negligence. Is that is that correct? Am I re is that translating right? It was clear my lack of neg. I know negligence means the lack. That you mean, you mean observation, like due diligence. I'm fairly certain, like even with my limited understanding on English, negligence is not. The right word here but I'll move on my lack of negligence uh, okay on others trying to harm you was out of control and unnecessary and I apologize for not calling these people out sooner you still haven't by the way you still haven't called out Hannah for trying to break Muse's legs you haven't called out Heather for all of her transphobic fucking bullshit unnecessary drama shit she was doing with Muse in the fucking Skype shit you didn't, you didn't address any of that. You didn't call either. You haven't even name dropped them. I just realized. You haven't name dropped anyone but Yuki in this. You haven't name dropped Hannah. You haven't name dropped Hopeless. You haven't name dropped Dan. You haven't name dropped A You've only name dropped Amma and Yuki. You have not even you have not even touched Heather. That sounds bad out of context, but you get what I mean. You haven't touched her. You haven't touched your Heather. <laughs> but yeah, like no. If you're if you do if want if you let me tell you something. If you think you're being negligent, then why haven't you called them genuinely out? Like you're saying, I'm sorry for not calling them out sooner. You haven't called them out. So you're still doing the problem. So what have you actually done in this situation other than jerk yourself off in front of everybody? Gross, you fucking weirdo. We don't want to see you do that. Fucking people in New York get enough of that shit. Put your dick away, dude. Gross. Fuck you. Creep. See, how's that feel, huh? You like being called a creep? You like you like that? You like that? I call it I call it um uh, boo hoo for yous. Because that's the same shit you did to Muse, huh? 
You, you like being treated like that? Because you haven't called these people out for doing that to her, by the way. You haven't called any of these people out. You're just saying sorry for my involvement without actually really being sorry. The shit you said about Jar alone showed you're not sorry. Why would I believe you? You haven't called any of them out. You haven't even name dropped them. Which I know why, because you're still friends with Hannah. You're still friends with some of these people. Bitch, you, you want to know something? Here's a, here's a little shock. Here's a little shock. Here's something you guys don't know. Um, when Harsh was doing the initial interviews with you before she met me, she added you all on Discord. Now, here's a shock. Here's a shock. This, this is in the evidence folder. You guys know when you add someone on Discord, you can see they're mutual friends, right? And she's added all of you. You want to know what she found? She saw when she added Yuki, she was connected to Heather, who is directly connected to you? Hannah? You, Hannah, and Heather. Basically, she showed that you are in a chain link line of communication still. Yuki's still talking to Heather, who is still talking to you, Hannah, and every other asshole in this situation that Hannah, that uh, Harsh managed to add on Discord. I still have the screenshot, by the way. I still have it. So don't give me that shit. Again, the only reason I'm pulling it up is because I don't want the stream to fuck up. Again, I'll link it down below if I forget to. Like, if I mention this, just say, hey, you forgot the link for this. I'll send them the link in the comments if they ask. But you, you're all in contact. We know that. Harsh showed me you were. Because you guys were, t you admitted to talking to each other. You kind of forgot when Harsh was interviewing you, didn't you? Oh, yeah, you forgot about Harsh. You know, the girl that kind of helped this all come together. Yeah, you forgot about her in this little situation, didn't you? You forgot you talked to her. You forgot she still had your interviews. You forgot you still added her. Whoopsie doodle! You didn't think that would unravel your little web of lies, huh? That's how we know you're all still in contact. We can see you're doing the chain link method of communication. Which, if you don't know, the chain link method of communication, um, chain link... It's just one of the terms that old commentary YouTubers would do, which this is a tactic that they actually would do, which if they wanted to get information from somebody, but, you know, they, they wanted to give it to somebody else. What these underhanded fucks would do, would they have the most, the person that that person was willing to talk to who was in association with that person, whether they knew about that association or not, that they could tolerate, talk to that person and slowly get that information out of them. This person would relay it to that person and that person would relay it to whoever they wanted to in the back that was the chain link method it was either called telephone feedback it had a lot of different names thanks to discord we could see you doing it in real fucking time we actually were able to see every second you turned active when they messaged you that's how we know yuki was talking to you we saw the moment that you became active with the second she was typing during our interview that's how we knew. That's how we knew during the conversation you were typing to Heather while we were talking while we were talking to Yuki during her admission. That's how we knew she was talking to Heather. Because we saw Heather turn immediately online the second we heard that typing and the enter button being sent. That's how we knew. Yeah, shit your pants. That's how we fucking knew the entire time. Spoiler alert, we were watching you the entire fucking time, you dumbasses. May act stupid, but my god, we knew what you were doing. We just didn't say it because we wanted you to incriminate yourself like this. Saying you don't talk. Fuck off. We know what you're doing. <sighs> Here we go. My section. The longest one. Fuck me. This is gonna be fun. I love not being... By the way, I wasn't sent this until, like, fucking yesterday. F like, f uh, what was it? <clears throat> like, Friday from Harsh Opinions. So I haven't seen this. I was not sent this. Full, dis full disclosure. I did not know this account's existence. I was not sent this. Harsh found this from a thread from a user named Punky Rooster who follows me. But I never looked at the thread. Unfortunately. Like, I looked at it when it was first made. But I didn't know they were updating it. And they updated it with this and we just never saw it. Sorry, P 
Punky, which by the way, Punky used to be friends with them as well. I don't know the full extent of their involvement, but because of that, that's kind of why, unfortunately, Punky, I do keep you at arm's length because I don't have confirmation one way or another of your involvement in things. Because I, I did hear, like, your form... Like, you were in some of the other incidences, too, when you, when Yuki and them were doing stuff, so... I, I'm still in the research phase of fighting, like, you know, were you just a pawn or working with them? Nothing against you. It just... I don't... I don't know the extent of how deep this rabbit hole goes because it keeps getting worse. I keep finding either people that were closely associated that helped them with it or just pawns that didn't know what was going on. So, let's keep reading. Let's read my section. Um, Before I start, I've been made aware of your current health and what has happened to your family. I will come back to family a bit later. Okay. You t okay, so this was around the time where I had to leave Twitter because the group started harassing my family. Which, by the way, the reason why nothing happened of that, which I'll probably I'll probably link this when the video is done. But because I got audio, because I recorded the phone call between me and my dad about this, which uh, the, the group was harassing my family, and I was going to go to the police to file a report. But my mom decided she didn't want to deal with that. So she deleted the evidence off of her fucking phone. And I called my dad saying, hey, like, what's, like, I didn't know they did that. So I called him like, hey, we should do something about this. And my dad's like, oh, we, we don't want to get involved. Like, they were harassing us for months, but now it's slowed down. Like, your mom's deleted the stuff. Don't worry about it. And I'm just like, what the fuck you mean? They were harassing you just a few, like, a few days ago. Like, not a few days, a few weeks ago. And they were like, well, yeah, but we just don't want to deal with that. Like, I'll, I'll link the call. It's fucking infuriating. Like, it's fuck- it, Like, I, I'm trying to be nice- He's my stepdad. I'm trying to be nice as possible to him because, like, y you know, he, he married my mom. Like, I, I'm trying to be nice because he's being nice to me. You know, you respect your parents. But I, I got angry at that call because it's like, what the fuck? They harassed you to the point that mom had a literal fucking meltdown and fear for her life and now you're saying she deleted it? What the fuck? Sorry, makes me so fucking angry. Because she did this shit too when the harassment started as well. Which I'm not surprised because my mom has kind of a victim complex. She does this where she'll purposely um, cause harm to herself so she can claim like she's being victimized. I just thought this would be the one situation that you know this was people trying to harm me that she would not do this. But of course that was me being stupid. Because she did this before when the group called our house. Where she was like, well, well, just to, uh, just like, oh, it's not a problem. You're, you're the problem. Like, she would convince me, like, you know, like, why are you getting upset? And it's like, because every time they call, you beat me. And she's like, you're being dramatic. Keep in mind, my, my wrists are broken. <laughs> my wrists are broken. I've been nearly beaten to death multiple times because she has an episode. But my mom doesn't think she has a problem. If you guys don't know what a traumatic brain injury is, which is why my mom acts the way she does, um, it literally affects the impulse control of your brain, especially where hers was, because it affected her temporal lobe, her occipital lobe, and I think her parental lobe. And she cannot regulate her emotions. But even with that said, she, she's a, she, she was abusive before then. She just got worse. And I, I've had to accept that through therapy. I've had to accept she's just abusive. That's why I've cut her off. Because after that event, I just cut her off and I came back to Twitter. And I didn't talk about it because it's like, how the fuck do you talk about the fact your parents deleted evidence of harassment? That you you said you were going to do something about... How, how do you address that? And just share the audio call. I, I That's that's what I'm going to do. Like, once this video is done, I'll share it. I'll probably share like an... Like a... Like a, a kind of edited version of it because... My dad gives out some private info in that call. Not, but I think that's the reason why I haven't shared it. Because I need to edit out the private info. But yeah, they pretty much... I recorded the call. Because I called them on my cell. And I had like this little um, voice recorder. And he straight up said, yeah, she deleted the messages. Like, like it's fine. 
it's it pisses me off. There's nothing I can do. Like I can't report to the police, you know, without evidence of the harassment. But my mom just she fucking does that because she she likes people feeling sorry for her. I I I've had to accept that. I I was just like, "Oh, she's just suffering." No. No. Uh, I I've, I've had to come and sit with my therapist like, "No, she she knows what she's doing. She she knew. She knew she was abusing me. It's not just her disorder. It's not just like her injury. She she knew you she saw you screaming in pain and she saw you and she turned away multiple times. She locked doors on you when you were crying and begging for a hospital. Like you got to accept it. You got to accept it. And that that's where I've been as well. Like when, also when I went silent, I was going to therapy trying to deal with that. Cuz you know, kind of accepting that, you know, your parent doesn't love you is kind of hard. I, I think <laughs> I think a lot of people would agree that that is very hard. Hello. Yeah, hey, it's fine. Look, I don't blame you for removing me because you thought I was associated with junk. I stopped associating with Junkie well over a year ago. I, I stopped associating because, trust me, I, I know. I know of the sh- I, I figured out how much he lied to me and everyone else and I'm fucking furious. He knows I'm fucking furious. That's that's why he's not done anything. The, what I mean by not done anything, he hasn't deleted his videos or anything because he knows the second he does that, I am going to- I, I am going to say shit. And he, he knows I will- I will be very fucking furious if he tries to hide shit. He knows I will rain down hell on his ass. Because I want him to take accountability. That's the only reason he- was even writing, quote-unquote, an apology. We'll talk about that when that video releases. Was because I told him to do so. Which, by the way, he's not doing anymore because of that uh, Lyos video came out. From what I've heard. Um, uh, when I asked his boyfriend, like, you know, why he changed his icon, his username. Oh, because he, he accepted he can't come back to YouTube. And I just sat there and I went, so our call wasn't the <laughs> wake-up call for that? Where I flat-out told him what he was doing was dangerous and he was risking other safety. It was only... It was only when Lyo's video exposing him for the Spockter call came out. That he figured that one out. Oh, fucking hell. I wanted to yell at him. <laughs> I wanted to yell at him that day. Because one, I did not know that call existed. And two... That motherfucker seriously wanted to have a career after being in a part of a situation like that. I... I am still mad. <laughs> I'm still mad. I I'm still mad. I'm I'm never gonna stop being mad at that. I am so fucking pissed. I'm so fucking pissed. He, he knew for f four fucking years. I'm still fucking mad. Like the I am shocked the community hasn't gone harder on him when it comes to that. I am so shocked. I think it's because no one's really surprised. I am. Like, this is a guy for years that talked about, like, you know, helping the little guy, but here he is clearly ignoring an abuse victim of, you know, Spockter got CP of this child, which had to happen from child exploitation, and he did nothing to look into it. He did nothing to stop it. He did nothing at all to make sure that kid wasn't being continually still abused. He just let it happen. Nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I stopped associating with him long before that, but when that happened, I, I flat out refused. Like, when that happened, I... How do I put this? Not more about Junkie's bullshit. I started to. Because how do you react upon hearing that information? I don't know how to process it. I'm still mad. I'm. St I, it has been months since Lyo's video. I'm still pissed. <laughs> And that's not even the worst thing I have in that video talking about him. It's not even the worst. He gets worse than that. Because that's not the first time he's done that. I, again, I have to put it in context. Otherwise, people are not going to get it. And the, you know. But he's done worse. He's done worse than that. It's bad. It's so fucking bad. And I found it out because of someone I know, like. Oh, I found it out because I asked around. Oh, and and he, it's 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 so bad. It's so bad. I'm so, oh, I want to say it. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I 
There's a reason why I refuse to talk to him. That is... I, I want to say it. I want to... I'm so pissed. But I need to show, like... I need to back it up. Because if I say it, people are going to get really fucking confused. And then he's going to try to weasel his way out of it. And I refuse. I fucking refuse. He needs to be held accountable. Because I am so upset about that. I'm so upset. But I can't do shit. But I can't do shit. Because if I do something, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to fucking do shit. And I, I'm not, I'm not okay with that. I got sent a video of ducks in space. Wunderbar. Oh my lord. How do I... Shit, I gotta do that later. I gotta do that later. <laughs> sorry, sorry, someone texted me. They reminded me I have to go do something later. But, uh, okay, so let's see. But I don't think there's enough apologies in the world to, to say to someone who went through more than enough. <laughs> That's why you didn't send this to me. <laughs> Yes, it went through more than enough. Don't send it. Why do people only listen when Lyos evolved? Um, just to be transparent. Um, the only I figured out before Lyos video there was a problem. I figured out before, but that just pretty much solidified like fuck that guy. That, that solidified it to me. Because I did not know that call existed. That pissed me off. I stopped contacting him long before Lyo's video. And I, I can show that. And, and the only reason I contacted him before, like a little period before, was to, was to talk to him to confirm some allegations. And, turn, and he did admit to him. And they were pretty fucking bad. And I've ceased contact ever since. So yeah, I'm not associated with Junkie, and nor did Lyo make me wake. Like the reason why I woke up to Junkie's bullshit was because I started look like because I watched Heaton's video and I started looked looking into everything and I found out everything he lied to us about because um we didn't know we, Junkie had lied to us the entire time. We didn't know how much he lied about everything. Because he spun us, like, a different story about what actually occurred. And then when... And he told us not to watch the videos on the situation. And he spun to us, like, all of them are bandwagoning and trying to take him down. And I believed him because it's like... You know, I didn't... He refused... He wouldn't let us watch the videos. And then I went and watched Heaton's video. And then I was like, wait. Wait a minute. And then I looked into everything, and sure enough, I found out he lied to us about a lot of situations, including a, a very more serious situations that I was involved in. That he had a bigger hand to play in than I even realized. And we will talk about that when that video comes out, because it needs to. I need to show the context. I need to show the you know the interview and all that. You know the evidence. But yeah, don't 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 associate with him. Don't, he has not taken accountability. He doesn't want to take accountability. He is a genuine. He is a genuine danger to the people around him. And I hate saying that, but he is. I don't. I, I hate saying that because that's a very serious thing to say. But he he is a genuine danger. And I could say that because Lyo's video is out. So that's uh, at least I have some evidence of that already public. But when I when I post mine, I am going to explain why he's a danger. Um, even more so than that. Because it, it gets worse. Damn, the junkie rabbit hole goes deeper. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It goes way deeper. I, I hate to say it, but it does. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think there's enough apologies in the world to say something who went through more than enough. Oh, yeah, by the way, I already know Junkie's watching the stream. Because I know Hal's watching the stream. <laughs> Hi, by the way. I, I I think you already know you're watching. I You're already where? I know you're here, Junk. I know you're here. How do I know? Because your husband's online. You tend to be online this day because... 
you know, you don't have work today. I'm not dumb. Hello. <laughs> Again, I'll say this shit to your face. You know I will. Hate you. Bye. I've been nice. I've been really nice, but y you fucked up, bro. Take accountability, please. You lied to us for two years. Just say sorry, you fuck. Just say sorry. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Also, how can, can, can you not justify, like, like, stuff as well? Just, can, can you make Junkie do the, apo at least an apology to make, you know, to address the people he's hurt, please? Like, he's, he's, he says he's been writing that for two years. I know he's not coming back to YouTube, but he needs to apologize. Please, force him, please. He needs to apologize. He's fucked up. He lied to you too, man. Come on. He owes you an apology also for that. He owes me an apology, and he owes definitely everyone else that he's lied to about that an apology. He needs to publicly address that. And privately as well. Sorry. Sorry getting off track about that guy, but... <laughs> he, uh... I... He knows... He knows... He knows I'll get on his ass. Because... Because, <laughs> uh... Because I'm, I'm 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 the realest friend he fucking ever had, and he lost my ass for a reason. I I fuck fuck it, just apologize. Fuck's sake! It doesn't take two years to write a goddamn apology. You fuck. Just apologize. Even Levi did it faster than you. How did I get a fucking fake ass apology from Levi faster than you apologizing the peaches and everyone? Come on, fucking apologize, dude. Jesus. Jesus McFucking Christ. Sorry. Still pissed. Hal, for fuck's sake, you're his boyfriend. Kick his ass. Do it. Beat him. No, don't actually beat him, but, you know, you kick his butt into gear, please. Please. It's been two years. It's ridiculous. Fuck, he should have been done by now. <laughs> Write the fucking apology, you fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Give people closure, you son of a bitch. Yeah, so here we go. Keep going. I swear to God, if Hal messaged me right now, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> I'm not upset at him. I'm just going to be like, Hal, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Hal, don't you fucking dare. Because Hal, Hal's my friend. Hal's still my friend. Because, like, Hal's... Hal's... Um, Hal is Junkie's boyfriend. I'm not going to do guilt by association. But Hal... As my bro, control your hoe. Get your hoe into gear, man. G get his ass into gear. Make him write that. I have told him for two fucking years. I'm not telling him again. Finish that fucking video. You, I don't care if he's not coming back to YouTube. Make him do it. Make him do it. Fuck's sake. I, I, I'm not, I'm not. Do it. God damn it. The tism's going off. And it come, it, it's him, it's him. But um, it, it junkie activates the anger tism too. I'm so sorry. It, it's more f more so frustration when it comes to the, the apology because he said he would do it. He said he would, and it's been two years. And he still hasn't. I'm so angry. <laughs> Fucking do it. Imagine you, oh my god, what's this? Not gonna lie, imagine a drawing of you in the back row screaming at Junkie who's on stage. Yep, that, that's, that's been me the entire time, quite honestly, throughout the drama. It's been me yelling at him to, to do shit, and he doesn't do it. I ask him, like, why'd you lie to us? He's like, I don't know. And I'm like, what the fuck you mean you don't know? I don't know. What the fuck you mean? Which is why we had to do like two different interviews with him because like the first one he refused to talk, the second one he actually talked, and I, I I'm thankful he did because I was just like I I'm not going to do I'm not going to pull your teeth again, dude. Either you tell the truth, or I, or I'm gonna get I'm gonna yell, 
I, I, I'm not gonna be civil. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be an asshole. Keep in mind, this is me being civil right now. This, well, not super civil, but it's kind of like I'm not going full primate right now. This is me being reasonable. It was junkie, junkie. I swear to God, I, I will scream at you if you don't fucking finish it. Fucking do it, you fucking pussy. Come on. <sighs> Sorry. Again, I, I, I have to say it because I haven't contacted him in, like, months. The last time was for that, um, the the call just to verify the accusations to prove, like, yeah, he, he was fully aware of lying to everybody. He was fully aware of everything he did. That was wonderful. Yeah, he's fully aware of lying to me and using... He's fully fully aware of weaponizing all of us, using us. He was fully aware. Well, it was lovely. It was like a summer fucking park. Speaking of summer fucking park, let's go back to Levi and selling me a crock of shit too. Because everyone just likes lying to me, apparently. I love being lied to. You know, the one fucking rule that any of you that have ever been my friends, I have told you directly, is if you ever lied to me, you have three strikes and you're out. Well, apparently Levi didn't learn that fucking one either. Apparently, Junkie forgot it. Levi forgot it. Everyone forgot it. So let me reiterate: if you fucking lie to me, there are going to be consequences. I'm not gonna. I'm not Lyo. I'm not gonna be like Lyo. Like I, I don't. I don't have the 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 intense primal rage that man has. But I will be a dick. And I, I'm not talking about the flaccid kind. No, I. I'm gonna fuck up. I'm gonna fuck up your day. I'm going to fuck up your day, may, may yell at you a little, but I'm going to fuck up your day. I, I won't have to fuck up your day if you're just honest, if you tell the truth and you take accountability, but if you're, if you're not going to be honest, I'm going to fuck up your day. That's how I work. If you're not honest, I'm going to fuck up your day. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> I originally found Laka years ago from a friend of, at the time. Yes, because um, the Truth Lady Gaia video that was labeled um, like Akai Delia because you guys were stalking Akai at the time so you pretty much gravitated to anything that had the word Akai on it and watched it because you guys were fucking obsessed. Even I know that. Because you didn't show up with the dramatic reading video. You showed up when the Akai, like the Truth Lady, you know, the... the Actually, no. You showed up at the dramatic reading video. And that's because someone in the comment section actually said, this reminds me of a Kai. And it fucking summoned you. Like fuck, Like Beetlejuice. Oh, fuck it. It's like a demon conjuring circle. Someone said a Kai and you were like, hello. Hi there, little children. Hello. And I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Holy shit. How did you notice me? And they're like, uh. And, and that's how the second video got made was actually because, like, they told me to make it. Well, not me. Like, they, like, how do I put it? The first video was made because Rosemary suggested the idea to me to make the idea. She sent me the journal and told me to make it. I was, and then we just talked about it. Which, by the way, to this day, she, she claims like, oh, I didn't have that idea. I have the fucking chat log of her saying, like, it was her idea and she regrets it. So, a uh, little call out for Ismi Moran right there of her lying to me and she's doing the fuck around f and now she's about to do the finding out for me as well. Because, um, yeah, I'm not letting you get away with um, you lying to people as well, telling people like I'm this rich boy so no one is willing to help me financially with my risk because you're still fucking on. You're still upset that I broke up with you years ago. You lied to everyone when I had cancer, telling them I was a rapist, and admitted you lied about it, and the purpose was because apparently I ruined your birthday. What a great, what a great person. Hope it goes well for you and Lyo's server with you being a part of those calls. Can't wait for them to figure out who you are. I'm, I'm sure they're going to love the fact you lied about rape. Because you, you, because you didn't like the fact I broke up with you. I, I'm fairly certain... Um, quite a few people in there who are SA victims are really going to love that. I'm fairly certain they're they're really going to love that one. Just warning you that right now that y <laughs> you may want to leave that server because um, the Senate is a barbarian server. And I can tell you as someone that's been in there twice, 
Uh, I don't think that's the best move for you to do. Just, just saying. I, <laughs> that, uh, that, that kind of sounds like a bad idea for you to be in there. <laughs> just, just a fair warning, because I know some of the people in there, and some of those people are really sweet, but they're also SA survivors, and I'm fairly certain they'd be pissed if they fa- if they figured out the person with the Rolts icon was you, and they may want to have a word with you about lying about that and still trying to push um, lies about me despite the fact we've been broken up for literally over seven years. Move on. You have a girlfriend. Move on. I want to move on too. Please, leave me alone, you fucking weirdo. Jesus McFucking Christ. But okay. Sorry. It's my section. I get to decide my mental breakdown. (laughs) Sorry. But I genuinely liked his company. I don't even remember you. <laughs> that, I'm sorry if that sounded mean. But I don't even remember talking to Levi that much. I talk, Lynn, I'm sorry. But you were as interesting as wet cardboard. <laughs> sorry. I don't remember interactions that much. You are so non-interesting. I remember talking to Heather. Because Heather scarred me with the shit she said. Like, oh my god, my first interaction with her made me never want to talk to her again. (laughs) I remember talking to Hannah because, oh boy, she has anger issues. Oh lord, god help. That that girl needs therapy. Like, Jesus. But you? (laughs) I don't remember you. I don't remember, like, any, like, interesting interaction with you. (laughs) I'm just going to be up front. This is not me being malicious. You were genuinely like kind of a background. You blended into the background, my guy. You are as interesting as a wet sponge. I am so sorry. You you, you have no conversational skills. And that's coming from someone who's autistic. You, you have no social skills, my guy. <laughs> you are boring. No wonder you had to be involved in drama. You are sad. You are boring as dirt. And that's saying a lot. Because I, like, I've met people who are boring as dirt. And I remember conversations with them. Because, like, once you get to know people like that, if you just, you know, entertain them the right way, you know, you can have an interesting conversation. Like, I've met people that got into long diatribes about World War II. That was really interesting. Like, that that's how I found out about the fucking homing pigeon that was shot multiple times and still won the war. And I was like, oh, shit, that's pretty cool. I remember that person. I don't remember our conversation because that's how boring they were. I do remember you talking about uh, Kiana, and that's it. (laughs) I remember the conversation about Kiana. And that's because other people were involved. But any conversation with you is... (laughs) It's boring or non-existent. Which, ironically enough, is the exact same reason why you people complain about Kiana. <laughs> I was just nice. <laughs> I was just nice enough not to say it. <laughs> uh, you were boring. I've never told in. I'll just be upfront because, like, I- I'm at the stage where I don't give a fuck right now. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I- I'm done being a people pleaser. You genuinely are not an interesting person. You, you are as interesting as wet cement. And even then, cement is interesting because at least it forms into something meaningful. That is the most harshest thing I've ever said in the stream. Oh my god. (laughs) And the humor he provided. Oh yes, the humor. (laughs) Bro, I ain't funny. (laughs) I hate to tell you that. I ain't funny. (laughs) The only reason you think you're funny is because you probably have some form of of um the baby dropping that I do too. <laughs> the the brain damage. <laughs> Anyone that finds me funny, I always find nine times out of ten. They're either neurodivergent like I am, or they're really fucking high. <laughs> there is no in between. I am not funny. <laughs> Everyone is either high or equally just as dorky as I am. There is no in between. <laughs> Um, unrelated. Um, (laughs) did your mom drop you on your head as a baby too, like me? (laughs) Just unrelated question. (laughs) Unrelated. I don't know what came over myself and I, 
and I and others ran with a lot of comments made on Gaia as facts and truth. Hindsight is twenty twenty, and myself and others shouldn't take in those jokes as truth. This motherfucker can deflect it onto me. Wait a mo. Do, did you seriously tell me you just made a video dedicated to Gaia because I made a joke calling her a blue titty wonder smurf? You took that joke seriously. The joke that even 14 year olds at the time were telling me was so nonsensical they can't believe it's funny. Oh my god, you people are grown adults. Oh my fucking god. Heather was 34 when she watched my video. You took a 17-year-old joke, a 17-year-old joke saying blue titty wonder smurf as a reason to make a commentary video on another person. Oh my lord, the brain damage joke is real. It's real. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a moth. Hello, moth. Sorry. The ADHD is kicking in. <laughs> I'm sorry, the moth is cute. I want to show the moth. <laughs> okay, so... They're trying to shift it onto me because I made a joke and they're trying to blame me. They're trying to blame me! <laughs> Bitches, you made an two-hour-long video. You even goddamn admitted that. Shut the fuck up. Don't blame my little scrawny ass because you can't take accountability. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Hindsight being 2020, my, I, did a, I did a massive disrespect. Not only to Laka, but Kiana's image as well. Bitch, you just did that right now by trying to pin the blame on me. And now you're like, I did a massive disrespect. But this motherfucker right here called Kiana Blue Titty Wonder Smurf. So I think you should look at him. Bro, me and Kiana talked this out. Like, Kiana's autistic. And then, like, when we talked it out, she actually lifted at me calling her, saying, a, making a joke, saying her character has a blueberry butt. The only reason she got upset is because, like, when you're autistic, jo jokes are harder to get. But we sorted it out really quickly when we talked. That's why she sends me corgi pictures even to this day. We're friends because, like, we don't talk often. We're friends. But it's because, like, we're, we're both very busy. But, like, there's a reason why I get along with her and you assholes can't even talk to her. It's because, genuinely, when I made that video, I did not want to hurt her. My joke was to make her laugh while I criticized her. That was it. I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't want to make her feel bad. And when I did make her feel bad, I apologized immediately because, you know, jokes are supposed to make people laugh, not make them hurt. You wouldn't know that because when you joke, it's not a joke. That's why I don't like people when they go, it's just a joke. If your joke is truly meant to make somebody laugh, you would, you would immediately try to apologize for the fact it hurt them. If your point is to make them laugh, you should be con- You know, you're trying to make them feel good, then make them feel good. Why are you being upset that they're sad? Like, that that's just how I view things. Well, that's how jokes are. If they're not- Like, if a joke isn't funny, you don't have to apologize. But if a joke hurts somebody, and your point wasn't to hurt them, yes, apologize. That's how I know you people- had malicious intent towards Kiana because every joke you made towards her weren't jokes though they were statements that you were trying to use as an ass cover by using the word joke like an idiot on Twitter that does the Schrodinger's douchebag thing where it's basically like you don't know if he's actually being serious about 9-11 being an inside job but he, the amount of times he says it on his Twitter makes it very obvious that he's not but he's trying to pretend like he is so he can get away with the fucking weird anti-semitic shit he's saying on his Twitter it's that kind of thing. Like, you're not slick. We know what you're doing. You're, fu you're fucking weak-willed bitches that if you actually believed in your convention convic convictions, you wouldn't have to hide behind jokes. You just say them. And fucking, you get more respect that way too. But apparently, you don't really care about that. Alright, so here we go. Here we go. No, 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 no. Here we go. This also applies to the others as well, but you get my, my point. No, I don't, actually. 
if it's a massive disrespect to us, why don't you do this publicly on your account or in a video? Oh, I don't have time, but but you clearly do since you had enough time to make an alternative email address, make this account, write this all out, screen cap it and post it. It doesn't take more than an hour to make a blank screen apology video on YouTube. It really doesn't. That's why I keep saying Junkie should fucking apologize because it doesn't take two fucking years to write an apology video. You can literally, if you're genuine, just say sorry. People aren't going to forgive you. People are going to be mad. But it's the first step to giving people closure and moving forward. No one has to accept your apology. No one will accept your apology a lot of the time. But that's not the point of it. The point of it is to fix the damage you've done and start giving people the closure they need to start moving forward from you. So, And also to learn where you went wrong in the situation so you can prevent that from happening again and grow as a person. But you're not doing that. That's how I know this apology is not genuine and you don't actually care. I'm just a jokey little asshole because that's how I cope. The trauma you guys gave me like, that that's why I joke so strangely. Because humor is my coping mechanism. I was already being abused. Now I'm just like, kind of like a fucking little crack addict right now. And my humor is like so all over the place. And my, I'm so all over the place because I don't know how to communicate. You don't realize the amount of abuse you people have done to me has fucking destroyed my brain. Like, people don't understand this. When this shit happened, I was 17. I was a child. The brain is still developing. The consequences of your side of your brain doesn't stop developing until you're in your 20s. And any kind of abuse and trauma affects development and actually can stop growth of brain. It can, it can stop your brain from growing. It can cause regression as well. Make your parts of your brain smaller. And that's what happened. The abuse you people did to me Made me regress in a lot of ways. That's why socially, I'm a fucking weirdo. Like, I can I can work in public. I have multiple jobs and I can do the customer service. I can, I can do a lot of stuff. I'm still able to do a lot of things where I'm able to communicate, work in teams, do projects and all that kind of stuff. But making friends and all that's like next to impossible. Because... I, I do icebreakers like I baby I rely on humor because I genuinely don't know how to communicate anymore. Because from what when, when I've seen when I actually got a brain scan, um, parts of my brain are damaged. Because people don't realize this trauma is actual damage to your brain, and mine is severely fucking damaged. The stuff you guys did. And the stuff I've gone through in my life, the trauma I've went through, in, like with my sexual assault, that adds up over time. And the more you grow, the more damage it's going to do because the damaged cells, you know, stuff grows, then multiplying your brain. My brain doesn't work quite right. That's why my memory's kind of like I've been abused and my memory's the way it is because I have head trauma. Like, when I joke about having brain damage, I do have brain damage. I saw it. It's bad. And there's nothing I can do. And you guys contributed to that. Because when I actually had scanned years ago, because I had to get a diagnosis for my autism, my brain wasn't nearly as damaged as it is now. Like, that's how I know you guys affected me a lot with the shit you've done. I will never live a normal life at all. The chance is fully gone because of you. I'm lucky I have a wife who who is understanding of my plight, who loves me regardless, who is able to withstand me even though I have childlike qualities. Unfortunately, I can't grow out of that. I'm stuck. Because developmentally, you fucked me. I can't stop. And I can't grow out of it. I'm fucked. I try to grow as a person, become more mature, but I'm always going to be stuck with this childlike quality because of what you people did. The, the damage you have done is permanent. And there's nothing I can do. And that's a horrifying realization that I had to accept and deal with and work through in therapy as well. Is that I can never be normal. The, this mentality I have where I'm like very childish not childish but like 
you know, I have childlike qualities. I kind of like, whoa, like all this kind of stuff. I'll never experience what it's like to be an adult. I'm an adult now, but it seriously feels like I'm 11. And I'm just being told to work in them. Like, I'm just being told to work. You have no idea how much you've damaged me. And that's something I can never forgive you for. Because you took away my ab ability to be a person. I'll never understand what it's like to be an adult. Like, grow up and have that mentality where you can be proud and courageous in yourself because I don't know how. And I can never know how. Sorry for that sad, sad boy hours, but, you know, that's the stuff I hold inside. Is the reality that I may be in the medical field learning a lot of medical terminology and all this kind of stuff, but realizing that everyone else can have these, you know, they're able to handle things way better and differently than me, and I'll never be able to do that. I'll always make, I'll always have problems. I'll react more emotionally than I'm supposed to, and I can't fix that. And the and the damage that does. There, there aren't words to describe how discouraging that is. Oh, hi, Gizzy. Oh, you coming to comfort me? I'm sorry. Uh, a little too sad. Sorry. Come here, Gizmo. You're a good girl. You know you're the owner of the house. We know. You're a good girl. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. You, I, I'm sad about it. I don't even know how to describe it properly. I'm fairly certain I'm not even describing it properly. But my feelings are pretty, <laughs> pretty dark when it comes to that. It's why I kind of wish my mom beat me to death when they did this to me. It, it's the reason why. Because the world I came into, I can't even survive in. Because I can't, I can't adapt. And I'll never be able to adapt. I can be a good person and help anyone I can. But I can never be an adult. I can just try to be good and help others, but that that's all I can do. But that's all I can do. Sorry. Mm, no, 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 no. Where is the next thing to distract my brain? At the time of the hour-long video on Truthfully Gaia, I did not hear from Laka. I know one of the people... Sent the video to Laka, but he never responded. I literally told Hopeless it was garbage. <laughs> Hopeless sent it to me, and I told her it was trash. I remember it was garbage. <laughs> I even, like, you can even ask Harsh the first message she sent to me. I, the first thing I said to her was that video was fucking flat out of ass. <laughs> I told her that video was garbage too. I told everyone that would listen to me about that video that it was trash. That video was bad. I want no association with this. Don't, do, like, that's the reason why I cut a lot of them off, too. Was, like, was their behavior in that video. Oh, my lord. Like, go to the evidence section of the six-hour-long video and click on that hour-long Truthly the Guy video. You will understand what I mean. It was ass. It was two-pack of ass. It was bad. <laughs> Even I knew that back then as a little shit-eating 17-year-old little fuck nut. Even I knew it was bad. Oh my god. What else? Years passed, then Laka's video dropped. When Laka's video dropped, it's playing all the years passed, my heart dropped. Bitch, I came- I talked to you before that. Shut the fuck. I talked to you before that. <laughs> I talk. I remember. Remember the the thing with um, Icy Hazard? Like, you knew that video was coming. I kn you want to know how I knew? Because 
after that interview, you fucking delete a lot of shit. You deleted your fucking, your entire catalog of Levi Matters. All your videos were gone. You were deleting them while I was talking to you. Bro. Bro. Shut up. Shut up. Get the fuck out of here. I will pull up Social Blade. I will pull up Social Blade. Don't you fucking test me. I will pull that shit up. You motherfuck. I have the URL. I print screen. I print screened your channel and put it in the video and put the word twice over it. The URL is in the video. I can just type it in and I will find your ass in Social Blade. Bro, do not fucking test me. I am not the one to be fucked with today. Fuck you. Hello. Let's see what else. What else are you going to pin onto me, boy? What else are you going to pin onto me? Come on. I heard rumors over the years about him having cancer. So you knew he had cancer. So Yuki's lie about not knowing I had cancer. So you, you heard rumors about it. Here's the thing. Here's how I know you heard that from Yuki. I only told two people that I had cancer. And the two people were Rosemary and Yuki. Everyone else just thought I had a wicked bad cold. Like, everyone else just said, I, I never said anything on my DeviantArt that I had cancer prior to that. The only people that knew were Rosemary and Yuki. That's how I know you knew. So, you knew I had cancer. Because you were getting it directly from the person I told that I had cancer. You want to keep lying? Come on. Come on. T tell the crippled brain damaged guy that you fucked over how much good you did for him. Come on. Keep lying to me. I love being lied to. As you can probably tell by all the people that I no longer have in my life because of it. Keep lying. Make my day. So, let's keep reading. Wee! <laughs> I think there was a video years ago saying that he announced it, but I don't think this too. Take those drinks. I have never fucking announced I had cancer. I mentioned in an update video, like when I went before I made the six hour long video, that was the update video. That was years after I, my cancer went to remission, like years after. So take that with a grain of salt you're trying to just you're you're trying to make it sound like you there was no other way for you to have gotten that information i know what you're doing only two people knew i had cancer only two and yuki was one of them that's how you knew that's how i know you're in contact too even around that time cuz yuki was the only one that knew that i had cancer in fact yuki was the only one that knew what type of cancer i had at that time too cuz the reason why I didn't tell Rosemary at the time what type of cancer I had was because, like I mentioned in the video, Rosemary, even for small things, would threaten to kill herself. And I knew if I told her I had terminal, uh, I had terminal stage 3A lung cancer, which, if you don't know, has a survival rating of 36% after five years. So I was pretty much accepting I was going to die. <laughs> I, I laugh, but I, I was. I, I, the likelihood of me surviving was less than, was less than 60%. L like, there was a 60% 60 60 chance I would die, a 30% chance I would survive. I'm not a guy who's really lucky, so I was already counting my days. Because, like, I'm thankful I didn't have stage, like, if I had stage 3C or 3B, I would have been fucked more. But I had stage 3A. And I survived, luckily. But Yuki knew I had that. Because I told her. She knew. Rosemary didn't know. Because if I told her I had a terminal cancer, I know for a fact she would have killed herself. And I just... When, when, you, when you have cancer, you really don't need that. 
you really don't need that. So I told Rosemary I had stomach cancer. I told her I had like a benign stomach cancer, you know. I I know that's the one thing I I'm I'm sad that I I, I shouldn't have lied to her about, but I did because I I didn't want to lose her. I was so scared. Because I knew if I told her the truth, she, she would have killed herself. And I, I... I didn't want that. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Uh, for, uh, th those are emotions uh, I still haven't fully dealt with. Far, pardon me. Like, that that's the worst thing I've ever lied about. But I did it to protect her. And it was misguided. It really was. Because if you can't be open with the person you love, then is it really love? And I asked myself that question. And that's what ultimately helped me when um, me and Rosemary's relationship devolved and she became a lot more aggressive and all that. Made me make the decision of like, this relationship is toxic and we shouldn't be together because we're both toxic people. And it was a part of the reason I broke up with her was because like, if I can't trust you during my weakest point then how are we going to survive being together if I can't trust you and then I'm not the one for you and uh, it's a part of the reasoning but a major part of the reasoning why me and Rosemary broke up was because like she did become very abusive unfortunately um and it culminated over like the final straw was something incredibly stupid that she called me stupid, insulted me for it. Because, like, she wanted a pirated version of a Star versus the Forces of Evil episode, like, literally, I think, like, an hour or so after its release. And the best I could do was a fat guy that was live reacting to it. And she was upset saying it wasn't good enough. And I, and I, I, I something in me just snapped. I'm like, this is the most dumbest reason I've ever been yelled at. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. And keep in mind, that was after years of that stuff. Like, a lot of people idealize our relationship. But like a lot of things online, we showed you the good parts. You never saw the bad. Like, we always say, oh, we never fight. We fought a lot. It's just that neither of us wanted to acknowledge that there were problems there from the start. None of us wanted to, neither of us wanted to acknowledge it. Like, the fights that we would have were fights. But we were just like, oh, like, oh, that, that was a little bump. Oh, that was a little bump. No. No, it was a fight. It was a fight. And I had to leave eventually. Because I, I, I was tired of being belittled. I was tired of being, like, told, like, oh, yeah, eventually we're going to be together. I, I I just have to tell my parents I'm gay. She told her parents are gay. Well, we can't be together because, like, uh, um, we're still in high school. Uh, I'll, set, I'll invite you to high school graduation. High school graduation comes and goes. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not ready yet. We... I want us to be both adults. Um, so in college, like, we can be together. First day of college rolls around. And it's a no again. Keep in mind, she was an online girlfriend. And at this point, I was just like, I I'm just I'm just done being strung like this. I'm, I'm being yelled at. I'm being told, like, oh, like, we, we can't be together for this and this reason. And everything keeps showing it's fine. Like, her parents fully accepted she was gay. Like... Very, like, they knew we were together. Because, you know, her walls are thin. Like, I've talked to her mother once. Like, she knows we were together when Rosemary wasn't on the camera. She knows she's met me. She's a sweet lady. But, like, I, she, she had so, she, Every time something bad happened, like when when I got beaten as a result of these people calling up my house to purposely lie to my mom and aggravate her to the point that she lost control of herself and she started brutally beating me. I couldn't even tell Rosemary that happened. In fact, that's actually the reason, quote unquote, her birthday was ruined was because I was venting to her about like me wanting to die as a result of that because that day I was really severely beaten and I just I broke down because I want because I, I wanted so I had no one to talk to and 
and she's like, you ruined my birthday because you cried. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, I was venting to her about a lot of things because I was just like, I, I was a kid being abused. I, I didn't know what to do. I had no one to turn to. I couldn't turn to my parents to fucking beat me more. Couldn't turn to my friends because the friends I had at the time, every time I did, were just like, they would eventually leave if I told them some of the things I, because they were like, oh, it's just too much. I can't handle it, which it's valid, but that doesn't help me. That, that doesn't help me at all. I can't get therapy. I have no, I have no resources to use. I, I was just trapped. Nowadays, there's a lot more resources, a lot more ways that can be helped to help. There's like, even like chat, like, like, what was it? C.AI has like a fucking uh, AI therapist. I used it and it's, it's actually not totally bad. It actually has some pretty solid advice, but it does forget shit a lot. But yeah, just, I'm just letting you know, like people easily idealize the people on the internet because it's easy to do so. We show you the best parts, but you never see the worst. And the worst, like, I, I'm proving my point. A lot of you didn't know I had cancer. A lot of you, uh, like, this is the first time I'm announcing what type of cancer I had to probably most of you. Most of you probably didn't even know I was dying. But this is the reason why I also can't forgive them. Because they took away my chance to say goodbye to a lot of people that I was going to tell this information and tell them, like, you know, this is it. Because at one point... The doctor said they weren't sure what else they could do and to probably say your goodbyes because it they were scared it had progressed to a point that it was inoperable and I didn't know what to do. So and both of them Rosemary is me Moran now and this group of people to, um, went around spread the false rape rumor because I had broken up with Rosemary by this point. And pretty much no one wanted to talk to me. And took away my ability to say my final goodbye. And you have no idea how horribly isolating that was. And how horribly painful that is. Imagine being on your deathbed and no one is there. Everyone that you've helped over the years. you you tried your best, you're messaging them and you're wondering why they're not responding or telling you to fuck off and blocking you immediately. And you're like, what did I do? What, what did I do? What did I do? Only to find out because I didn't find out until years later, like Rosemary was spreading around. I was a fucking abusive rapist. Keep in mind, we never physically met. I've never even held her hand. I've never even kissed her. And she ruined my life. All because I just broke up with her. I, she had a girlfriend by that time too. That's the thing. I, that's why I don't understand why she did it. She had her happy ending. But yet she still thought it was necessary to stomp me into the ground. And same with these people. It wasn't enough. I was already on my deathbed. You had to take away the only comfort I had as well to make me want to survive. So when I did survive, it was... I wish I didn't. And I'm working through that, too. Of that isolating feeling of just looking up at a white fucking ceiling and going... What... What did I do wrong, God? What did I do wrong? lost every friend I ever had because of her and them too my career was ruined people didn't want to talk to me I was dying of cancer I had nothing left and then like a little while later then eventually I met my wife Ava just purely on accident I, I'll be straight up honest <laughs> the day she met me was the day I was actually planning on jumping off the roof of the college that I was going to with her that <laughs> she's my angel I was I was planning to die that day 
she has no when I say she saved my life I'm I'm not lying she she saved my life in more ways than one but you'll never hear them apologize to me for that even when Rosemary apologized she's still spreading that shit around she's never stopped and now she's in Lyo's fucking senate server chatting it up with them and I'm just sitting here like wow you haven't learnt a goddamn thing, have you? You're still talking ill of other people that you don't even know now. And getting involved in shit you really shouldn't have about serious topics you have no understanding of. Why? And I just... And I realized just to accept it. Just to accept it. Because that's who she is. That's who she is. She likes to cause drama, and when it doesn't go her way, she'll fucking burn everything to the ground, just like these people. It's why I don't have any respect. It's it's why the update video got taken down, too, because I, I said we were friends, we made up, but that was before I found out about the false rape accusations and abuse allegations she did to purposely isolate me when I was dying. Because she did eventually find out how bad it was. She did. And keep in mind, like, she threatened to kill herself when we tried to break up, too. She did. And my friends actually helped me in that situation because she tried to make a public spectacle out of it. And they were like, dude, what are you doing? Like, that's the only reason I was able to get away was that, like, it was bad. But the reason why I never went back, despite her wanting to get back together, was quite literally because the first words out of her mouth when that ha mouth when that happened was literally, "What would the fans think of this?" Keep in mind, this channel has like less than five thousand subscribers. Why the fuck is she asking about our YouTube fans? That that solidified for me like this relationship was unhealthy, and she's not a person who values me as a person. She just wants popularity. That's why. And hell, it hurts even more because she jumps into the fandoms I like. She's in Pokemon. She's in Cookie Run. She's in all this. And she become she's become notable in a lot of those circles. And it hurts. Because it's like, I am fairly certain like my reputation is the way it is because she's poisoning in those circles. And there's nothing I can do. Because I don't know those people. How the fuck am I going to bring up like, hey, she's a fucking liar. What am I supposed to do? Just like these people. That's how I felt for years. It's like, how the fuck am I going to get people to, you know, convince people that these people ruined my life? I was scared. Because it's like, I didn't want more people to hurt me. I didn't want more life ruination. That's why this apology to me is bullshit. Because if you really cared about that, the second, the second you knew I was in pain, you should have stopped. But you didn't. You both kept going. Until I was nothing. And I had to rebuild myself again. And others around me had to rebuild me. Hell, even Harsh had to help me to an extent. Which I'm embarrassed to say, but she did. She helped me realize that I still have some growing to do. And that's okay. It's okay to have anxiety. It's okay to have these things. You're human. You grow. It's alright. It's okay. You don't have to hide your flaws just because other people have hurt you in the past. It's okay. It, it hurts. But, um, that's just how it is. So, let's keep going. Sorry for that depressing stuff, but... I want people to understand, like, this is the reality for a lot of people they did this to. It's a lot of people who are like, oh, it's internet drama, but it's like... They did real life ruination on a lot of people. And there are side effects for those consequences. It's not just calling someone a loser that these people then trying to downplay what, what Levi did in the beginning. They went to people's real lives, used real horrific re accusations, and pretty much destroyed them from the ground up. Left them with nothing, isolate them, and destroyed their mental states and abused them to the point that they stopped feeling human. That's why so many of them wanted to kill themselves. That's why Jar wanted to. That's why Kiana wanted to. That's why I wanted to. Elizabeth. Everybody. Why do you think all of us are suicidal? 
when you're when you have everything you've ever known taken away from you how do you react to that and you have and then you find out everything was taken away from you for the like a reason like you fucking drew sonic ocs with boobs you defended a child online you you told somebody that they have the right that someone else has the right to dislike a cartoon show how do you how do you fucking process that your life was ruined in favor of something so insignificant that even in the grand scheme of things it wouldn't even matter but that's how it goes cuz that's life no one cares about us no one ever will No, 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 no. Moving on from the sad. I don't remember from the group who gave me the news. You, they were skeptical about his health and well-being. Well, you're not fucking doctors now, are you? You weren't in the fucking hospital when I was on a goddamn west respirator, were you? You weren't there when I was fucking cooked like a fucking roast chicken in chemo, were you? When I lost my hair. When I couldn't walk. You weren't there. Where are you? Keep your fucking opinions to yourself. I was left confused for years because no one gave me context as to how and when this happened. How the fuck do you explain how cancer happens to idiots like this? You see, at one day... You see, every day my entire life, my parents were fucking chain smokers and smoked around me so much to the point I developed cancer because the smoke entered my body and the mutated my cells. And then they, and then my body started, my cancer cells that lived in my body started to attack my body and then I nearly die. It seems pretty, pretty straightforward. I, I'm about to die. Just saying. Um, cancer bad. <laughs> cancer very bad. <laughs> I, I can make a diagram of how cancer bad. <sighs> I left for cute. I really don't know, but considering Yui had contacted him in 2020, it seems he's past the cancer rehabilitation stage. Are you trying to imply there's doubt? To me, having cancer? Wow. Woohoo! <laughs> you're Oh, you're doing that little... Oh, that little subtle thing. Trying to vaguely imply I might lie about it. Oh. Motherfucker, I was lying about it. How the fuck could I actually tell you... You know, the experience and what type it is? Along with, you know... The pain? <laughs> Brother, it ain't just a pill. They cook you like a chicken. <laughs> Uh, I w- I- oh my god. <laughs> also, cancer runs in my family. My mom has, like, had, like, three different types of cancer. Like, before I was born, she had ovarian cyst cancer. Um, she's had breast cancer, and then she had stomach cancer. Like, cancer runs in my family. I was doomed from the start. <laughs> it didn't help that they were chain smokers, so I was really fucked. <laughs> I was doomed from the st- It's like that um, new Ve- uh, Fallout New Vegas meme. Uh, the game was rigged from the start. <laughs> I was fucked. I was doomed to have fucking cancer no matter how I spun the wheel. <coughs> I hope that cough is nothing. I swear to God. I'm, I'm just... Uh, that's only partially a joke because... um. The reason why I have coughing fits like that is actually related to that shit. <laughs> Do you think having cancer means they don't open you up like a piñata? They do. <laughs> and it sucks. It sucks so hard. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. <laughs> That's why I wheeze and I breathe so much. Welcome to the long-term offense effects of cancer, motherfuckers. I'm not going to breathe normally. I, I probably do need a fucking oxygen tank sooner rather than later, but I can't afford that shit. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, I know I've been talking for so long because I'm having trouble breathing. Hold on. Let me get water.
Oh god. I'm choking on the water. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> Breathe, motherfucker. Breathe. Breathe, motherfucker. You know it. You can do it. Come on. Ow! Oh, fuck. Why do I keep slamming my fist? Fuck it, I'm stupid. Okay. So, let's let's resume. Okay. Okay. Breathe. Breathe, you fucking idiot. Breathe. Okay. I'm happy you are cancer-free. That is the most fucking coldest, emptiest, cancer-free thank you I have ever seen. Cancer is very ugly, and I've lost family members due to it. Yeah, and you still haven't retained any humanity towards anyone trying to kill themselves. So it's it's almost like you you don't actually pro you don't actually value all human life. I'm just I'm just saying, like kinda how you treat I'm just saying, after how you treat a jar, I think I've earned the right to say that. Because like, you know, he nearly died because of you and you admitted it was out of mildest intent, but you still kept going. And same with Kiana and Elizabeth and Jane and everyone else here. You didn't seem to care when Muse tried to kill themselves. You didn't wanted to kill themselves, or Jar attempted to. You seem to only care when it been when it's related to you. So you don't actually value human life, and this is just an empty sem sentiment. I'm just being flat out honest. You you're a fuck. I I could see what you are. It's very apparent you don't value anyone as a person. Just saying. Oh, sorry, not just saying. Um, reality. Um, that's the reality. You don't value anyone but yourself. And that's how I know you're a selfish, weak-willed person. Glad we had the talk. Mm -hmm. Not handling my huge mistakes and skeptical behavior more seriously is one of my many things I should apologize to you for. And yet you never did. <laughs> I'm right here, bitch. Hello. Also, I talked to you directly using Icy Hazard as an intermediary. You could have done that then, but um, why didn't you, though? In fact, you made a lot of excuses, by the way. So, um, uh, bullshit. Uh, I'm calling the bullshit and putting the bullshit button. Where's the bullshit button? The, the one moment I actually need that fucking joke button and it's gone. Jesus Christ, I am I am so stupid. But okay. So here we go. Back to my point. I didn't know better. You did know better. Bitch, you were an adult. I was the child in the situation. You were older than me. And you didn't know bullying a cancer patient was bad? Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, yes. Imply Laka lied about cancer. I didn't know any better. Fuck off. Fuck right off. Fuck. F grab the dildo, put it up your ass, and go to fuck town. Bye. Get, get out of my face. That is the only good thing you deserve in your life is to fucking do that shit to yourself. Because, frankly, I don't want to see your ass right now. And the only thing it's good for is just getting... Is fucking yourself with. So, bye. Get out of here. Bye. Don't want to see you. Bye. Bye, bitch. Bye. Okay, so here we go. I should have contacted you to confirm your diagnosis. Why the fuck do you need to confirm my diagnosis, bitch? Fuck you. you you're not a doctor. Why do you need to confirm my diagnosis? Bitch, are you going to find the cure for my lung cancer? Is that it? Are you gonna uh, scrape out my little stem cells and my fucking and my fucking plexus or some shit and put it into the fucking? You're gonna you're gonna vote me. You're gonna solve the cancer. You're a graphic designer. Why the fuck would I send you my diagnosis? You can't do shit for me. You can't do shit for anybody but just make a little cartoon logo. Stay in your fucking lane. I'm not gonna give some stranger my cancer diagnosis, especially one I haven't talked to at years at this point, who's obviously an unhinged maniac. Why the fuck would I give you my diagnosis? Like, that's my private medical information. The fucking HIPAA law. Even my doctors ain't allowed to give my own parents my medical information because I told them fucking not to. Which, by the way, they did. And, oh boy. Oh. That's gonna... Oh, that's going to be a fun little thing to report to that. Um, 
a re- fun little HIPAA violation to report. Ooh, that's going to be fun. Because uh, they did that recently. And I'm still fucking pissed. Because uh, they gave my medical information of when I went to the ER for high blood pressure um, to my parents. And oh, I'm so pat. I'm so pissed. <laughs> oh, I'm so pissed. I am in my 20s. Why are they giving my parents my medical info? How the fuck? I need to sue. <laughs> okay. So what else? What else? What else? How bad does this get? Oh, it's getting so fucking bad. <laughs> I deeply apologize for that. But, bitch, I don't even want you anywhere near me as a person. Why the fuck would I want you near my medical info that has my fucking personal info, including social security on it? Girl, I may not be from America, but I'm not fucking born yesterday. I know that shit you can fucking wreck my life with. My God, when dealing with a fucking abuse person, like Vivian, she was abused. You fucking said she lied about her abuse. Why the fuck would I give you my diagnosis so you could lie to people saying I lied about cancer when I didn't? Why the fuck would I trust you with that? You fucking sociopath. Get out. Get off my dick. Bye. Like, girl, I got a girl. I got a wife. Get off my dick. I don't need you. Bye. Out of my out of my house. Ho out of my house. Nah. Nah, you ain't getting no child support from me, baby. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I will deny the child is mine. <laughs> I am just kidding. I can't make kids. I'm fuck. I uh, that that's not how that works. <laughs> All right. So how bad does this game? I also apologize for taking your videos as facts on Gaia and running with it as facts. You want to know something? My advice is the only advice Gaia ever took. You want to know why? Because she actually was tracing. And she, when I talked to her, she actually made... Yeah, that, that was wrong. Not, not all the videos in the thing were traced. Like the unsure section that you guys made me put in there because you were threatening me at the time. Which, by the way, don't include that little thing... Don't mention how you threatened me to put that in there, which was a compromise. So, you know, because I knew some of those images at the end weren't traces, but you forced me to do so out of fear that you would attack Rosemary. But don't include that bit of information in there. Nah. Nah, don't don't include that bit of information. Yeah. Yeah, you want to talk with Hopeless about that one? Never mind. I already knew you were the one who told her to say that to me. But hey, just just leave that little bit out. That parts of my video were you forcing me to put that shit in there. Because you told me if I didn't, Rosemary would suffer the consequences of that. And I was fucking scared for Rosemary. Which is why Rosemary never talked to you at a certain point. Because I told her to get the fuck out of there. These people are not really the people that she thought they were. Because I was that scared for her that I didn't want to freak her out. That's why she didn't talk to you after a while. Because I told her to run. I took the brunt of fucking everything. And that there's a reason why I don't regret all of this. Because I took the brunt of it because I knew it would protect Rosemary. And it did. You went after me and you left her alone. And that's something I'm still... Uh, that's what I don't regret. You monsters couldn't go after her. Because I made sure there was no fucking way you could. Because what they did to threaten her was like they said they got her phone number because they hacked, you know, they exploited the Skype exploit and they sh- And Hopeless Romantic actually showed me the phone number that Rosemary had. Which is, yeah. So if you want new context to that fucking Hope, um, Truthfully Guy video, the unsure section, that's why it exists. Because they showed me Rosemary's real home phone number and told me if I didn't put like these images they said were traces in that, they were going to release that on 4chan and make her life a living hell. That's what happened. And the only reason I didn't include that in the video was because I couldn't... Because Skype after two years deletes your messages. And that's the only reason I didn't have it. And that's why I didn't put it in the video. 
Also, I was, I was crying a lot. <laughs> I was crying a lot remembering that. Because keep in mind, this is when I first started therapy and I was starting to finally process these emotions. So what you heard in the video was me finally acknowledging it happened. Because I was in denial of this shit for years. Because it was the only way I was able to cope. Was just denying it and think, like treating myself like I, I'm just insane. And when I finally acknowledged it, it was like, oh, oh God, it, it won't, I can't stop crying, make it stop. But the video I had actually did have facts in it. She did trace, she did trace. And you know, the wolf image that actually was traced and she admitted to it and we talked it out and she agreed she won't do it anymore. And she started drawing in her own art and oh my God, Gaia's art is beautiful. Jesus Christ. She draws style accurate My Hero Academia art now. She is fucking amazing. And I'm so proud of her. She's so good. God damn it. I'm so envious. I want her talent. Why can't I be cool like that? She draws it like the fucking manga. It's so awesome. I don't know how she does it. It's so cool. It's so fucking cool. Ah, uh, sorry. I gush about her art because it's amazing. And it got even better when she stopped tracing. That's why I wanted her to start trace stop tracing. Because I told her in the video her art's amazing when she does it. And I was right. She stopped. She listened to my advice. And she got better. Her art fucking exploded. Like, it got so good. Her col color theory got better. Her anatomy fucking way better than it was before. Like, now it's like... It's per- it's great. Like, you could confuse it for an actual My Hero Academia fucking sketch from, like, the artist sometimes. Like, that's how it was. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so these people blackmailed you using Rome as a hostage? WTF? Yeah. That's- Yeah. I didn't mention it because the Skype logs are gone. That's the only reason why I didn't mention it. But even then, she deleted the phone number as soon as she showed me it. I, I, I'll tell you, like, because she showed me it and then deleted it just to intimidate me. She's like, I promise that we won't, you know, show this to anyone else as long as you comply. And I was like, you know, as long as you do this. And it's like, oh, my fucking God. That's why, if you notice, at, I want you to watch that video. And I want you to look at the sections before that and then that section and notice the vast difference in tone. Because people always ask, why is this part of the video sound so different from the rest of it? That's why. That was me subtly trying to, you know, kind of do like an SOS to everyone that something's not right with the video. I've been leaving hits in the comment section for years about it too. I'm not even kidding you. Long before the six hour long video, I've been leaving hints in the comments that, um, like that, that video was a comprom, like that the group made me do, like I've left hints in the comments for years because I didn't know what else, but I was scared of them watching me. So I try to make it as covert as I can. But if you look at the comments, you look at some of the replies, read my replies when it comes to that, you'll notice it's off. It doesn't sound right. And I did that on purpose because I wanted people to start asking more questions. But no one ever did. And I was just in a state of like, oh, fuck. No, no, oh, fuck. That's why it happened. Again, you guys are three minutes behind me, so I'm just seeing that now. But, yeah, that's... That, that's the reason why I wasn't included in the video because I knew I couldn't talk about it without the evidence. But now, like, you've all seen what kind of, you know, what these people have done. Like, I, I think I could talk about it more so now. Because, like, I'm not... Like, I do think that's necessary to talk about the extent of what they did. Because, like, there's more people that want to come out but they just don't have the courage to yet, like I mentioned before. So I'm hoping, like, maybe that can give them a little push to show their evidence and come out as well. I don't know if that will happen. 
Speaking of which, I forgot to talk about the Jaltoid and Doobie Doo over situation. It's it's about time. I forgot. It's about time. Because uh, the next section is actually going to address a bit of that. So um, keep me reminded when we get to that section. Because um, the, the one that says nine slash question mark is the one where I'm going to talk about that. Because Levi references um, our uh, one of our conversations. And it was us, me confronting them directly about the fucked up shit they did in the Jaltoid situation. Um, them cataloging Jaltoid for years in efforts to harass them. And try to ruin their careers. So, we'll get to it. So, let's see. Let's see. I was a truly a dumbass at the time. I still am. I'm glad you admit that. I don't have to say anything. Those videos should have never been made in the first place. My videos? I agree with the, the journal one because Rosemary told me to do that one. She still doesn't take responsibility for that. I, I still I do agree that one shouldn't have been made because that journal was in response to you assholes harassing Kiana about her um, shipping and we didn't know the context of it so with that context there it was actually pretty reasonable to ask like hey like you know kind of reserve your judgments this is kind of my own little private thing that I'm enjoying can you please let me enjoy my private thing I kind of have like I I'm very peculiar with it which she has every right to do it's her fucking art it's her fucking page she had the right to tell like if she wanted to draw smurf screen she had the right to fucking do so it's her art she has the right to do what she wants who fucking cares Those videos shouldn't... I was too naive to separate jokes from proof. Naive. No, 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 no. Change the word to stupid. <laughs> naive implies ignorance. Stupid flat out tells you what you are. Because naive implies like, I had some hand in that. Motherfucker, you made the woo me video all on your own. You even admitted that. Don't, don't you fucking try to pin that shit on me. No, no, no. Especially since with what you people had a hand in the fuck that other video. Which again, watch that last section and compare it to the rest of the video. You'll notice the tone is way different like someone else wrote it because someone else did. Someone else fucking did. I'm not sure how to transition in the next topic, but Locke goes on an event that happened that when his wrist got smashed by his mother. Here we go! Time to relive trauma! Wee! <laughs> Sorry. Along with other physical abuse they suffered from his mother. When Locke goes over experience, he states that someone contacted his mother via phone call. And says that Locke is distributing drugs and porn. Leading to smash his wrists out of anger after hearing that. I like the fact you um, um, downplayed what actually occurred. Because, you know... You purposely aggravated someone that you knew was very highly aggressive that had a disability after you assholes knew for years how volatile she was because you were in calls hearing how volatile she was. And then you purposely called her to aggravate her. And I love how you say someone. That implies you probably fucking know. I could tell by how that's written. You probably know who did. Because you're probably one of the people who did it. But... <laughs> Uh, I do know who did it, though. Like, I heard one voice loud and fucking clear, and I know who did it. Oh, believe me. I know the old bitch did it. I know... Th I'll just refer to her as old bitch, but... I know who... I know the old bitch who did it. I know... I know she made one of those calls. And that old bitch, um... Has a family now, and I hope to God that no one does that to her child. Because, my lord, how the fuck could you do that to me? Treat your child better than what you did to me, you fucking monster. Swear to God. If I find out you treat them anywhere what you did to me, I swear to God, I will call CPS. I will not fucking hesitate, you fucking fat cunt. I will not fucking hesitate. And I fucking mean that. And, yet, no, I'm not going to retract that statement either. Frankly, fuck you. I am crippled for life because of you. You're the call I remember. Like, all these assholes called multiple times. But that's the that's the moment my life changed for fucking ever. And I will never forgive you. Hmm. 
Let's keep it going. Woo! Getting this off my chest feels good. Probably gonna regret it, but fuck it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Therapist says I shouldn't hold it in. I'm not holding it in. Fuck y'all. I'm done. I have no recollection of who called his number or who, how it was obtained. You know how it was obtained, you fucking Skype fuck nuts. Levi, you told me that of the exploit that Skype has that someone can obtain their phone number. That's how I knew about it, because you told me about it. You want to know how I remember that? Because it was related to what happened. Because you, you told me to, quote unquote, watch my back one day. This was before what you guys did to me, like you were threatening Rosemary's phone number to me. So don't give me that shit. You knew fully goddamn well how you got that number. Because I had Skype and I had all you motherfuckers at it. So you know goddamn well how you got that number. Well, I didn't have all of you at it. I didn't have Heather at it because she was so fucking creepy. Like... Uh, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, here's something I've never told anyone because I couldn't. Pr I couldn't show this in the video because this happened in a call. So take this with a grain of salt. But the reason why I absolutely refused to talk to Heather was my first interaction with her, which a lot of people are asking. Like, life has asked me like, why was your first interaction like? Why do you refuse to talk to Heather? I'll tell you why. I was 17 when this happened. Like this is when, like before they made that hour long truth lady guy video. This was before the Wound Me video. This is when they, before they were, they actually made that video. So, my first interaction with Heather, um, Heather, I took a print screen of the call, like the showing the call log happened. Like I have that saved, and I also have a log of like a few bits of the chat saved but it doesn't show the creepy behavior but the reason why I call her creepy and the reason why I refused to talk to her was because in that call keep in mind this is a 34 year old woman who is married and she's talking to a 17 year old who's dating somebody who is um, who is just a couple months younger than them. we're both underage the first question that Heather ever asked me which is why I refused to talk to her and I was creeped out by her. Was because the first question she asked was, how's the mm, mm with you and Rosemary, you know? And I was like, I beg your pardon? You know, the mm hmm This grown-ass woman was asking a 17-year-old how sex was like. That was her first fucking question. No, hi. That was her first fucking words to me. And that was the first fucking word that told me, yeah, I should probably leave the call. <laughs> Keep in mind, I was in a call pretty much alone with her when that happened. And then other people joined in and I'm like, and they're like, oh, what's wrong? I'm like, ha, ha, uh, nothing, nothing. It, it, it's fine. It's fine. Because like, I didn't know how to react, which is why I told Rosemary, you know, uh, d d don't, don't join group chats with these people, especially Heather. And she's like, why? It's like, oh, uh, she, uh, she asked about if about uh, us having sex. Like I, I'm fairly certain if you ask Rosemary, she'll even confirm that. But because she was like ew, and I'm like yeah, like that's the reason. Like I refused to talk to Heather because the first words out of her mouth, this grown 34 year old fucking woman was asking about me having sex. No, get gross. No, 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 no. Fucking cr creepy, creepy motherfucker. Get out. This are repressed. I have to repress that fucking memory. <laughs> I have to repress that memory so goddamn bad. It freaked me out so bad. It freaked me out so bad. I I never forgot it. And Rosemary was grossed out by it too when I told her, like, because like I was in a call without Rosemary, and I'm talking to Heather because it was it was in a group chat that they like added me to. They didn't ask me to add me to it. They just added me in it. And then they just started to call, and Heather started to call. I was like, oh, cool, this looks like fun. Again, I was a child. I was a fucking child! And it, I, ugh. Ugh. That's, that's why I never talked to Heather again. 
Like, yeah, yeah, Levi, I'm just going to tell you this. If I'm just going to tell you, if I said your conversation was boring, be glad it was boring because I remember, remember Heather's conversation. I, I, I want to forget it. I want to forget it. She was memorable. I'll say that, but I, I want to forget it. I want the brain bleach. I want, I have, I've lived with that. And I re- live with that voice of hers asking me that question, repeating in my head for over five years. I, I, I want it. I want my brain bleached. I want it gone. I want it gone so bad. I want it erased so bad. Uh, I can't do it. Like, it's so gross. It's so fucking gross. I've never forgotten it. It's why, like, if I had to talk to them, the people I talked to were, like, it was Yuki. Yuki was the one I mainly talked to because Yuki was the only one that didn't creep me, the, like, wasn't weird about me and Rosemary. Because, like, another one asked me a question. I think it was Hannah. No, it was you. It was actually you, Levi. I actually remember this. Asking if me and Rosemary were queer baiting. And I said, no, we're, we're actually gay. And they're like, oh, me, me and the others always pretend to be gay all the time. It, re- it helps to get views. And I'm just like, oh, okay, well, n- me, me and my girlfriend, Rosemary, are, we're, we're actually gay. Like, we, we, we love each other. We, we're, we're, um, we're, we, we, we want to wait until marriage and all that. So, yeah. Because that was me trying to answer like um, Heather's question, so she, she, she stopped. Like, like Heather was kind of acting a little weird after the question. She was just like, and they were like, "What's wrong?" And she's like, "Nothing." And I'm just like, I answer that, and then she stopped like doing the heavy breathing. Like I remember that conversation now. Like that, that I I remember the first part vividly, vividly, because it was just like, "Ew, ew, ew, get away from me, get away from me, get away from me." And then the next part was like, like it was so weird. I've keep him. That was the first time I ever heard the word queer baited. By the way, like <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know people pretend to be gay for views. I thought that was fucking weird. It turns out, yeah, it is fucking weird. You're not supposed to do that. So they admitted to me they fucking queer baited too, and I was just a Jesus Christ. Oh, gross. Oh god. So much repression. I love repressing memories. Jesus Christ. Time to keep going. I'd never sleep. Okay. Yay. I severely apologize for causing you grief and all the nonsense you I contributed. No, you're not. If you were, you wouldn't have apologized through here. You would have apologized directly, you bitch. <laughs> I am going insane. Just kidding. I was always insane. I never was sane. Fuck you all. I was already crazy batshit. G- g- fucking goaded with sauce. I I don't know what goaded with sauce means. Is it a porn term or something? I, I just... I don't know why Americans say that. It's fucking weird. I heard, like, Tail said, like, is he a quirked up white bite go to with the sauce? And I just sat there and I'm like, is he, is he speak, he's speaking the language of the gods? What, what the fuck is, is this, is this English? What, the greased up, quirked up, are, are you gonna eat the white boy? What, why is he greased up? I don't understand. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see, what's what else can I say? Besides I can't read. <laughs> Nor was I given any personal information about lockup, but yet you knew I had cancer. So obviously you were given personal information about me, otherwise you wouldn't have heard the rumor of me having cancer, right? Whoops! Freudian slip. Oh no. Yeah, your, your titties flat. Your titty fell out of your fucking fat folds. Oh no, we see the titty. Oh no, quick, quickly get the net to hide them before before the bees come and nest underneath the fucking skin flap you call a boob. 
I have zero memory of anyone telling me this. Fucking liar. I was made aware at the time Laka's mother wasn't the best person and didn't even know it went this morbid. But yet, you knew I had cancer, so I do not believe you. <laughs> With that being said, th they wrote it in caps, so you know they're cereal. <laughs> not serious, cereal. <laughs> like fucking Alcorn in South Park. <laughs> I'm totally cereal. <laughs> God damn it. I am not denying his experience. It sure sounds like you are by implying I didn't have cancer earlier. <laughs> Whatever he went through with his mother, I'm not going to comment on since this is very personal. It's not my place to judge anyone's experience with their family members. Then why did you judge Kiana and, and fucking everyone else's abuse? Why the sudden change of heart, Levi? What's the matter? You know, if you comment on that, you know you're going to get crucified. Like, you know, I did to fucking Yuki when she applied that she had nothing to do with that shit. Is that why? Because you know I'm coming for that ass. Is that why? Because I'm coming for that ass either way, sweetheart. <laughs> I'd rather you be honest than lie because it's honestly, it's just because I'm just going to hurt. I'm just going to fucking beat your ass more if you lie. <laughs> lie. Uh, just think of it like a bull seeing red. The red makes me angrier. <laughs> if you were just throwing around a tarp, I wouldn't be as angry, but uh, now it's red. I I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'm coming for that ass. I'm going to stab you in the ass with my horn as hard as humanly possible now because you you raved the red flag instead of the white one. I, fu don't, I fucking warned you. Don't lie. I fucking warned you. I'm, I'm warning you now. Don't fucking lie. I know your ass. I'm going to get it. I'm getting that ass. Straight up. I'm not dealing with you. Whatever you went through his mother, I'm... Blah, 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 blah. But I'm not denying what I, he went through. There's another claim that Laka was given fake rape stories to scare him to coming back to the internet. No, it was to scare me off the internet. You fucking idiot. I, I I know I made that clear. I may not speak English very well, but I know for a fact I made that clear. Well, see, what they would do was they would make alt accounts or have friends who would send me um, a fake... It was a real rape story because it was my rape story that they had altered and made it into their own version. And always their version would have either both of them were girls, both of them were in school together, and both of them would be sitting on a bench somewhere and it, and it would touch the hand on the leg now why the hand on the leg one upsets me so much because that's what happened right before my the guy who did this to uh, like assaulted me and fucking attacked me he was a he was a friend of mine that I went trick-or-treating on Halloween with like hold on it's been nearly 10 years since it happened and I'm still recovering from it like this is actually the second year I've been able to be online on October and not have to go offline because I, I risk having a PTSD episode. Like, this is the second year I've been able to do that. Which is why I haven't left like I normally do for October for my mental health. Because this is like, I'm finally able to, you know, not ha like to have a PTSD episode f just from seeing like Halloween stuff. Because I was assaulted on Halloween. Because he purposely um, convinced my parents to go trick-or-treating with him. And this was the last time I was ever going to go trick-or-treating. Because I was 16. But I never had, like, I haven't trick-or-treated with somebody since I was, like, 9. So I was like, oh, yay, I can have a friend. And not fear, like, being fucking brutally hurt or something. And then that happened. Because... Uh, why I, they mentioned the bench was because there was a bench in the park that we walked to to sort out the candy. And he sat down. And this was a bench that was really hard to get out of. Because so, it was like, it was a shitty wooden bench with metal on it. And it was like very small. So, like, it was, it was 
it was not good. It. I don't. I don't want to remember. I don't want to remember. Come on. It. It's basically a lot of parts of the story was basically re reimaginings of what fucking happened to me. They basically did a fucking Disney live action remake on my fucking assault. That that's what it seriously felt like. Like, I it's it's not something I want to fucking deal with. Like I I finally just started to properly heal from that because I I haven't gotten proper help in a long time. So, like I want to move on, but a lot of the story was them basically altering details to make it, you know. So they come to me and they'd be like a person asking for advice because I love helping people. If someone comes to me asking for help, I will try to help them. That's what I do. It's it's not a smart thing I do, but it's because that's gotten me in trouble a lot of times. But it's what I do. And unfortunately, um that's they took advantage of that because um, they would have their friends or they use an alt and they send me this. And in fact, um, one of the users did it was like a user on Skype named Homestuck and Co. Like, I don't, like, I, I don't remember whose alt they were, but they were, they started the trend. They were the first one. And I'll never forget the phrase. They literally said, like, when I, I didn't want to keep talking about it, because this was the first time they sent me this, and I was like, hey, I, I, I don't really know how to help you out here. I would recommend you going to the police, because this sounds really serious. If your friend's trying to assault you, you should really do it. And they're like, oh, so, yes, yeah, sorry. I thought you were the rape expert, so I thought you could help me out. They... They actually called me the rape expert. And in fact, it's not the first time they said that. It's, they've said that in like a few of them to me. And I knew that was their way of trying to get to me. So I I figured out quite quickly it was them. Because I noticed around this time. Like these people have public social media profiles. And they made it very apparent. Like they were doing some fuck shit. Because around this time. I, I like I noticed like. Um, I think it was Heather tweeting something weird involving assault just around the same time that happened. And I was able to put two and two together even at that age that they were involved because the tweets, like when they would do that, would or the posts or DeviantArt, wherever they posted, would always correspond to that because they had, they, basically they had a tell. So when I saw the tell, I would try to keep calm as long as possible, but at a certain point, I would leave the conversation and I would just start crying. Or in some one case got so bad I had a PTSD episode during it and I just, I stopped typing altogether and that that was not a fun night. That, that was a really bad night. Oh my lord. So... I don't I don't want to remember that trauma I, I don't I, I want to move on I'm go, I'm, I'm, it's years ago breathe it's okay breathe you're safe you're safe it's alright breathe <sighs> alright what's the next part Basically mirroring what he went through. I don't have any memory of sending Lanka any kind of content that would like to mess with him. I don't know who did this and it's obviously fucked up and I don't condone it one bit. I know for a fact you did. I know for a fact. Because you were you normally make alt accounts. And you were the one that they went to to actually go and make alt accounts to harass people. So I know you did one of them. I don't know if you were Homestuck and Co. I don't know which one you were. But I do know you did one of them. I know, because you are the one that makes alts all the fucking time. So I know you were involved in one of them, if not all of them. My bet is I do think you were involved in one of them. Not all of them, because I could tell some of the other people were real genuine people that they just, 
you guys coerced into doing it. Which, by the way, if your friend is coercing you to send a fucking fake rape story to a fucking rape victim, maybe don't be friends with that person. Just a thought. Maybe you're a terrible person if you're engaging with that. Just an additional thought. Maybe you both need more therapy than I do because holy fucking shit, how deranged do you need to be to do that? Just an additional thought. Okay, here we go. I lost it, I'm stupid. Oh, there it is. Another claim Locker goes over is his former partner, Rosemary. I only spoke to them once. Pretty sure this was on Skype. Yeah, because I made sure you only talked to them once, you fucking psychopath. But never again after that. Because you're fucking psycho. Yep, see, see, they admitted it. They admitted that I, this, only talked to them once on Skype and never again. Yep, this is when I told Rosemary to get the fuck away from them. So they're even admitting, like, I, Rosemary got out of the picture because I told her to get the fuck away from them. Thanks for verifying my story, Levi, you fucking idiot. But, but uh, I don't know why I called you a fucking idiot. It's a force of habit. But thank you for verifying my story of telling Rosemary to get fuck out of Dodge with you fucking crazy weirdos. Lockett claims that his former partner spread misinformation about sexually assaulting Rosemary and general abuse in their relationship. Even the group and other people found out and ran with it. So they admit it. So they knew. So it is confirmed. So it is confirmed. So they did know. So they did know about that rumor. They did run with it. They were aware of it. So they were the ones that did it. So we have confirmation right here. Levi's admitting that, yeah, they did that. R fucking Yuki denied that. So we have Levi's admission right here that they actually did do that. While Yuki denied it ever happened. So someone is lying. And honestly, in this situation, the fact that he's willing to throw someone else under the bus tells me he's more likely telling the truth here. Well, she. I know they go by any pronouns, but they are... They identify more as a woman, so it's, it's only proper. But... But yeah, it's very, very, very obvious that um, Levi is trying to throw them under the bus right now. Saying like, oh, the group's at fault, but I was a good little, good little two shoes. I did nothing wrong. P like I said, there's a reason why I don't give out always too much info and this is exactly why. Because people expose themselves more. It's basically, it's basically me, you know, giving a little, little bait. And to see how much they take. And Levi took the full fucking hook. He basically admitted, yeah. Yeah, they did spread the fake rape allegation. Yeah, they did. They they found out Rosemary lied about it. So proving as well, like, Rosemary can't deny it at all anymore. Like, she admitted she did do it in our DMs directly to me. But if she ever tries to back down on it, like, Levi's admission right here, like, yeah, Rosemary did push those allegations too. Like, did make up those fucking allegations of abuse and rape. So we got confirmation. You fucking exposed yourself, you dumbass. Like, uh, Levi, yet again, shows their intelligence to be that of ham sandwich. 10 out of 10 ham sandwich. Clap for the ham sandwich. Clap for the ham sandwich. The stream is delayed, so the clap's gonna be like three minutes down the road. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Okay, so besides incriminating yourself more, not just on charity fraud, but um, purposeful slander, what else are you going to incriminate yourself on now, you dumbass? I was never made aware of any allegations all these years until Locke's video came out. Then, then th that's eventually the group and other people found out and ran with it. Then why are you saying that you found out at the video? Which one is it? Did you find out prior or during the video? Because if you found out during the video, that doesn't make sense. Because then you would have seen that behavior, right? So, do you have... Just, just a fair question. Do you have logs around this time? 
Because I want to see your chat logs around this time, buddy. Old buddy, old chum, old friend. Come on, show me the chat logs. Come on. I know you have them. You've been on Discord since well into 2018. Hell, the reason why I'm on Discord is because Yuki told me to get an account to continue talking to her. Um, during her little false allegations towards junkie shit that I showed in the video. So I know for a fact you are on Discord. And you were most likely on Discord around that time, so your logs are still there. Show the fucking chat log, Levi. Show the chat logs. Of all the group chats you have with them. And I do mean all of them. Show them. You're innocent, right? You had no idea about these allegations. Prove it. Show the chat logs. I want to see the chat logs. And in fact, I want you to live stream and show everyone the chat logs. And not in the fucking desktop window HTML one. No, I want to see the app Discord. Because I know you can edit the HTML of a fucking desktop uh, Discord. Because of a fucking exploit they have. I want to see you scroll down and show me the entire fucking chat log from beginning to end as slowly as you fucking can. Because I want to know how bad you're lying right now. Because I know you're lying, but I know it's worse than this, isn't it? Because you still haven't even acknowledged um, the other people you've done this to. But yet they're still there. In the Encyclopedia of Dramatical articles that Yuki wrote, Fluttershy Rules 5, um, Cool Rose 1, 2, th 2, 3, 1, 3, and multiple others. So tell me, how deep is this rabbit hole before I go down it? Because I don't think you realize this, but I like to dig. And I like to dig a lot. I may not be intimidating, but I find everything. You think you you deleted everything in time? Think again. I got web archives of everything you've ever done publicly, ever said publicly, etc. And all it takes is for me to pull on the string and ask certain people around that time what you were doing and to look at your chat logs, and I'll find it one way or another. So this is me basically saying, you can come peacefully. You can show me your chat logs and take your lumps and be done with it. But if you don't, I will find that string. I will pull that string. And I will make sure you never forget that I pulled the string. Understood? It's me giving you a shot of mercy. Because I give this to everyone that lies to me. If you tell me the truth, I will be merciful. If you don't, I will rain down so much shit. You do not understand. I don't take vengeance as in, I'm going to ruin your reputation. No. I'll show everyone exactly what you are and the exact position you are as you stand. And I'll let the world, and I'll let you figure out if you're the good guy or not. Because I don't need to say it. Because you already figured out you're not. So, my advice, um, tell the truth or suffer the consequences of when eventually I'm going to pull on that string, um, find out someone you were associated with, and then they tell me about the accusation. Because uh, here's the thing. I already have done that. Remember in the video, I was talking to people like, um, someone, these are, um, that go by the handle DJ Beef. That, this was a group chat that was talking to former friends of mine. They were in group chats with all of you. Did you forget I showed the screenshots of them directly saying it was you guys? Or did you just skip over that part of the video? Now, I did that little, little vague little threat thing because, uh, I was told that you told more people. So, um, unless you want me to make a compilation of people, which I will do, if you don't admit to this, um, um, I'm gonna make sure everyone knows what kind of people you are, that you're willing to lie about a fucking rape victim because of fucking dumb internet drama that happened years ago over them disagreeing with someone not like, 
um, someone disagreeing with another person online. Seriously, you, you did all this to me because I disagreed with one person saying like, hey, um, Gaia has the right to not like Teen Titans. Like, it, and you did all this. So, I mean, if if you want me to be a dick, I can. I, I don't need to yell at you to fuck you. I really don't. That sounds wrong out of context, but I don't need to yell at you to fuck you over. I really don't. I show people for what they are. And I know that's why a lot of fucking people are... A lot of people like you assholes are scared of me. Because I don't need to intimidate you. I just show... I just roll up with the fucking screenshots and you're fucked. Why do you... Like, you all know... The second shit goes down, you're fucked. So, keep that in mind. I'm giving you a mercy right now. Come clean. Come clean. Or I can do the compilation. I can I can pull that string. I can find out how bad you guys were doing this. I can, I can pull that fucking string. I'll f- I, I, let me tell you something. You're all fucking throwing each other under the bus. Any one of you knows that if you take that plea deal, it's going to be a lot better for you. And I know for a fact you'll throw the other one under the bus too because you already got you guys have all fucking done that. You've all eaten each other, at some point or another. That's how I found out about a lot of this stuff. So I'm I'm just going to tell you this shit. If you're not honest, there's going to be a part two to that video, and it's going to include the stuff I didn't say. There is more evidence. Remember, I have over like three gigabytes of evidence. And that's not the stuff I put in the video. There's more. And that's the stuff, some of it, even after the video got posted. So, if if you want to keep continuing this hell cycle, I can. I have no qualms in doing that. You put me in a hellish state for over, what, five years? So... I'm giving you more mercy than you've ever given me. So just come clean. Just be honest with your feelings. Just come clean. Just admit this shit. Just flat out honest. All of you. And I'll stop. And I'll leave you. I won't say shit anymore. Because the reaction you guys will get from doing that openly and honestly is going to be far less than me telling possibly tens of thousands of people online and just demonstrating to them the fucking depravity you have that didn't watch the six hour long video. And by the way, that video may be shorter, which means more people will more likely watch it. Because it doesn't have the Muse video I'm commentating on in it. So if I have to make a second video, most likely I'll get more views. Which could mean hundreds of thousands. Just food for thought. You want to fu- you want to play stupid games? You're gonna win stupid prizes. I'm just being upfront with you. I'm trying to be nice to you. I'm trying to give you a fucking out, because I don't want to make another fucking video. You fucking kidding? I want to move past this drama. I want the fucking shit I'm making on Junkie to be the last one. If I have to come back here and do this shit again, I swear to fucking God, I'm hooking your nipples up to fucking car batteries and putting that shit on high. I will make salsa from your nipples. Don't make me do that. I will do it. I am crazy. Don't fucking test me. I'm done. The fucking salsa dimples. <laughs> That's not a threat of physical violence. I'm seriously saying, like, I'm going to make sure you're going to regret that decision. It's going to be the equivalent of hooking your nipples up to car batteries and making it into salsa nipples. Again, I, I, I'm trying to realize what words sound like. I realize what it sounded like out loud. So I reworded it because that's what I actually meant. So I'm just going to be flat out honest. The stock is bad. So reword it. Be honest. Say you're a fuck nut. 
um, show evidence of your claims and uh, fuck off. If you don't, I will find evidence of anything I may have forgotten or may have overlooked. Most likely overlooked, not forgotten, overlooked. I'm dumb. I'll pull on those strings and I'll find more. And I'll keep finding more. Because I'm a, I'm a persisting motherfucker. And if I want to find something, I'll find it. And you know I will. Because you guys seriously didn't think I would find out about that all that ED stuff. And most of that I didn't even post in the video the extent of how much you guys did. Do you really think I can't find more? Everyone has a digital footprint. All it takes is one little string out of place and it doesn't matter how much you've deleted there will always be a remnant always so keep that in mind please because if you're gonna fuck with me you better do it hard because if you go soft I'm gonna fuck you and I'm gonna fuck you hard have fun I don't care how that sounds in context. Fuck off. <laughs> do, 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 do. Where's the place? I never once weaponized Laka's relationship to get back at him. I don't believe you. Actually, you did. I could actually about like I remember actually commenting on a grinding gears video you Icy Hazard and a bunch of other people actually ganged up on me and Rosemary and started insulting her to her face because I asked like you know if Saki's trying to get attention isn't it a bad idea to make videos trying to get her attention and you all ganged up on me and you weaponized um and you did go after my relationship well, I didn't weaponize your, like, your interpersonal stuff. You literally said, like, you insulted Rosemary to her face saying, like, like, she was an ugly bitch and I was stupid for dating her, so, like, the last part's true, I am stupid for dating her, but you actually did, and I think this was on a Sir Palo video, like, Sir Paleo, not, 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 not the animator, like, there was this, like, fucking commentator guy that well, it's a, had a white character that wore a beanie. And had, like, a bunch of commentators, like, flipping them off. Like, flipping off Saki and the thumbnail. Oh, is it Angel... And, and, um, Sir pa Angelo Pelo? I don't remember his username. But I know you, some of you deleted those comments after they were left. But I remember that. And actually, that's the reason why my friendship was like, Icy just got destroyed because she joined in on that. And I was, I felt betrayed. I'm like, Icy, I've been friends with you for years. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? Why are you joining them? And she's like, yeah, your girlfriend's ugly. I'm like, you've never even seen her face. What the fuck's wrong with you? Because, you know, Icy go along with the flow. People do that. You know, you just, I don't like the fact she did, but. You know, it happened, it happened. Move past it. I can see she's trying to grow from it. I just hope she can make the steps to try to mend that shit. Because I, I do want to see her change. I really do. She She's not an evil person. She's just very misguided. Well, again, she's a pawn in all of this. I see was pawn. I see was prawn. <laughs> I am going to call Icy Prawn now. Icy Prawn. <laughs> Icy Prawns. Yay. Sorry. Sorry. ADHD kicking in again. Dear Lord. Something's wrong. Alright. So keep going. Keep going. Mm. 
never once received any personal information about him or any other shenanigans. You, you, you knew about my cancer, so bullshit. Once again, I did not know who did this in the group. Yes, you do. It's very obvious because you're not name dropping them. You're not name dropping anyone else but Yuki and Ama. So it's very obvious you, you probably do. It's Heather and Hannah. It's Heather and Hannah. I know it is. It's Heather and Hannah. You can't. Heather, Hannah, and Dan. My bad. I forgot to add his ass in here too. But uh, but all this behavior up until now has left me extremely nauseous. Then, then vomit, bitch. Like, what do you want me to do? Get you a fucking baby bib? It left you nauseous? Okay, get get a Tums. The fuck you want me to do about it? I'm not gonna cry for you. Fuck you. Oh, in fact, I shouldn't wish fucking on you. That's a good thing. Um, never fornicate. N never touch boob. I wish you... I wish you an empty desert of dick. There we go. I wish you no dickies. No bitches. No dicks. Nothing. And a fucking desert of pure sexlessness. I wish you to be in voluntary fem cell. There you go. I wish fence I wish you to become a fem cell for the rest of your life. And not even allowed to own a cat. Because I don't trust you around one because you are a crazy bitch. Cats are for good people, not for people like you. Holy shit. I do apologize if I lift anything out. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry, you left out a lot. You left out a lot, don't you worry. I'm going to point it out because this is the section I want to talk about with uh, Doopy Doo over in Jaltoid. Because people don't know about this part of the situation and... I'll mention it here because we're about to go over it. I've been doing my best to leave no stone um, turned when it comes to this. Yeah, that's why you haven't released any findings, shown, shown any evidence, not added anyone, not talked to anyone. Yeah, you really, you're really leaving stones unturned. Mm -hmm. I literally became the real life fucking, you know, that eye roll fucking emoji. Jesus Christ, I literally, ugh, my eyes, they hurt. Some of this stuff I have no memory ever happening, nor was I a part of, but all the ripple effects to what happened on the internet and IRL led my actions with my actions have taken a toll on everyone that's been harassed, including Laka himself, has been more than I can imagine. Yeah. More than I can imagine. You knew what I was going through, you fucking bitch. <laughs> you knew! Don't you fucking lie to me, bro! You lying skank! God damn it! Is this how you're gonna lie to your husband when you cheat on him too? Ah, oh, yes, I'll do my due diligence not to fuck other dudes in the future. I couldn't help it. I was just a demon for dicks. You're not of good moral character. You're really not. I know I'm being a little shit right now, but this is just me trying to calm my nerves. I do apologize. Even though I know I have the right not to apologize, I'm still going to because it's still not my character. I'm still- I'm trying to make people laugh at the same time. I'm still kind of little freaky. Little freaky out. Because people watch me. Okay, so here we go. I cannot imagine how sorry I am, really. I don't think there's enough apologies in my lifetime that can do the undamaged that's done. Okay, then don't apologize. Work with me to fix the damage you've done. This this is why, again, I say I don't believe your apology. If you're really genuinely nauseous and you want to fix the damage done, talk to me. You didn't talk to Talk to us. If you want to fix the damage you've done with me, what you need to do is raise money to fix the risks so I can live a normal life and pay for my pay for additional surgeries for any damage done because like my wrists are a physical injury but I live with a lot of repercussions of the other injuries as a result I was nearly beaten to death because of you guys calling my house and lying to my parents like and to purposely cause my mom to you know turn like you know her diso like her issues lose control of herself and led to her nearly beating me to death on multiple occasions. If you want to undo the damage done then help me be able to walk forward. You're not helping me walk forward by 
giving me an apology you can't even send to me directly. You need to fix what you did to me. If no apology in the world's going to fix it, then your actions need to be the start. But you're not going to do that because you don't care. You don't care that there's a reason why I harbor so much resentment. Because you've taken away my life. Like, the life I have wouldn't be nearly as much of a struggle. struggle. I had to work three jobs while I was making that six hour long video. Do you know how hard and painful that is? Especially with someone in my condition. My wrists are broken. Do you know how hard it is for me to lift things? How many times I've been threatened with losing my, losing my job because I couldn't lift things when I needed to? I got a write-up because of that. Like, I, I literally, I got a write-up because of my, like, of this issue. And even though they said I was a good employee, the fact that I was, like, you know, I'm lacking, which I was lacking because I couldn't lift up that thing, like, that hurt a lot. Like, I have a stain, clean record in my jobs, but... My wrists, especially in winter, hurt a lot more. Because, like, the cold fucks up my joints. It hurts to move. My fingers kind of fucking, like, turn to, like, crabs. Like, crab claws. If you want to fix the damage you did, we don't have to forgive you, but a start to mending it and you growing as a person is to work with us. And try to help fix us. And in return you are able to fix yourself. Now, I can't tell you to make the right decision. You're an adult. You should know the answer by now of what you did was wrong. I shouldn't have had to tell you or morally guide you, but that's your decision. If you want to make the right choice, I'm telling you what to do. People always ask, oh, I don't know what to do, I apologize. There's always so much more you can do. And if you need help, I'm literally giving you the answer. Well, you want money? Well, how am I going to get fix get surgery if I don't have money? I you want to know like the my dog got hit by like my the family dog got hit by a car recently. I posted on Twitter. All of my money from my wrist surgery that I've been saving up for years went to go saving our life. That was well over $11,000. My family also contributed to that as well, but all that money's gone. They called me up asking for help because, like, the pet hospital they went to wanted to deposit, like, they, you know, they wanted to deposit up front before they did anything. And I was the only one with that kind of money. And I did. And they saved our life. But in return, like, I'm back to square one. I'm, I'm suffering and I'm living a life of pure pain and anguish. I'm losing job opportunities left and right because as soon as they see my wrists, no one wants to hire a disabled person. It's horrible, but that's the reality of the working class world. They're not going to hire someone who's disabled, especially someone that can be accident prone because if I lift something too heavy, I had this happen at work, my wrist broke and I had to go back to the hospital. Like, there are consequences for these actions, but if you really cared and you really wanted to fix it, you would. You would try, but you're not. You're hiding behind a fucking computer screen in an alt account, but you're too scared to face what you've genuinely done. Hell, you didn't even let people reply to this. Like, I make fun of you, but that's because I need you, because you need to get that ego out of your head. I talk to people who act like this because when you're so egotistical that you only think of me, 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 you forget that there's another person in the room that you're also affecting. And the only way your ego seems to even acknowledge someone's existence is quite literally to be challenged like as if you're stupid, which I hate doing, but it's the only way you're going to listen to me. And I want you to listen to me. Though I know it's going to be on deaf ears because you're just going to find a way to justify it. Just like I already know. It's the same fucking thing with Junkie and everyone else I have to talk about. You don't actually listen to the words being said. You do what is easiest to get you out of trouble. You're not actually trying to fix the damage done. 
You're trying to save your own ass. And that's not growth. And that's not becoming a better person. That's just you being a that's just you being a child. Like this is coming from somebody who's mentally unable to grow because you've damaged my brain so much, my brain's regressed and stagnated to a point it can't. How do you fix that? Cognitive behavioral therapy. Help me pay for that. There's other therapies too that can really help me as well excel. But I can't get those opportunities because my money's, I don't have any money. I can't do that. And because you guys fucked my career, both on YouTube and in art, I can't get commissions. I'd barely make anything from YouTube. Hell, I get demonetized all the time. That's why I don't give a fuck about swearing. But if you really cared, you would make up that difference. You would try. You would find a way. Donations, whatever it took, you would try. But you're not trying. And then you want people to give you mercy when you wouldn't even give them a single ounce. What are we supposed to say? Like, you want me to... to why would I forgive you in this situation? You've done nothing to show me you've changed and you wouldn't genuinely hurt another person. Like, I'm very forgiving when it comes to people. It's why, unfortunately, I stuck around so many terrible people for so long because I always thought, like, maybe they're going through something. Maybe they just need someone to talk to. But in the end, it's because they genuinely never wanted to change. And you can't fix somebody who doesn't want to change. It's why I prefer you just being honest. Because why do I want to talk to somebody who's not even honest with themselves of what's actually happening or going on? How do you help or fix somebody or communicate to somebody that's not even being honest with themselves? You can't. And I don't know why you're expecting me to. I'm just being upfront. Like, I may not be smart, but I'm trying to be genuinely honest as I can be here. You you got problems and you need to fix them so um let's keep going okay some stuff i have no memory of ever happening nor was i a part of but all the ripple effects blah 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 I'm, I cannot tell you how sorry I am, really. There is not enough apologies in my lifetime. After playing catch-up in the last months of 2022, I see no point in you forgiving me, Laka. Well, you don't need to state that. If you see no point, then why not make the effort to show that despite that, you still care about the issue and want to make things better? Yes, we both know we're not- I'm not going to forgive you. You've damaged me beyond any reasonable doubt. I'm not okay. You've hurt Jar beyond a reasonable doubt. You've hurt Kiana. You've hurt a lot of these people beyond a reasonable doubt. Why not still make the effort to be better? It's not about being appreciated. Because we shouldn't have- it's about- Fixing the damage you've done. If you burnt down someone's house, you should get them a new house or pay for the damages. That's how the world works. That's why you're not an adult in my eyes. Despite me having a childlike demeanor, even I realized you haven't grown up. You're not an adult. You're not taking accountability. You're think All I hear is me, 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 me. I, 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 I. That's all I'm hearing. I'm not hearing they need help. They, they deserve better. All I'm hearing is I see no point in you forgiving me. Who cares? Who cares about that? Work with me. Fix things. Make up any money you've caused Jar to lose. Kiana to lose. Me to lose. Everybody. Fix that. Fix their careers. Make them better. Make them want to make them feel like the trust they can trust people again 
get that fear and paranoia out of them and fix the damage you've done. You may not be able to fully repair it, but you can start the healing process so they can become happier and healthier people. But if you're not going to make that effort, then why the fuck should we even try listening to you at all? If you're not going to change, then what's the point of even listening? Oh my goodness gracious. Alright. All right, that's me with the... Me dropping the mask there. I, I know it's not the fun little dorky asshole, but that that's me mask off. That's That's the real genuine me underneath the mask. That's how I feel when it comes to this. Like, yes, I'm angry. Yes, I'm bitter. But I have the right to be. No change was ever given to me. No mercy. No nothing. My life was destroyed. My art was fucked up. My animation career is f fuck fucking... I'm trying to adapt, but it's frankly not really that good. I'm trying to become better, but you guys destroyed a lot of my dreams for me. I was going to be an anesthesiologist. I was going to be an animator. I didn't care if it fucking worked. I would find a way. Even if they were two separate professions, I would find a way to make it work. But now that's gone. No one wants a doctor who's looks like... Like, would you trust a doctor like me to handle an incredibly invasive surgery that's precise? Would you trust an animator whose wrists ca can't draw for more than five hours when you need at least a day's worth of work done? Like, you're not going to hire me. My dreams died the second you guys did that to me. And it sucks. But that's reality. Yes, I can animate, but... I can't do it in a professional setting. I have to do it in a time limit. I have to do all this and that. And if I can't do it, then I'm going to get fired. This is the reality that you've put me in. You've made a hellish nightmare of a situation and then you expect me to smile. You called me a rapist and ruined my life. Show me that you deserve the forgiveness. Show me, show Jar, show everyone. Otherwise, what's the point of even doing this? You're only just trying to give lip service to yourself. And frankly, it's, if you're just doing that, just jerk off in front of a mirror. It's the same fucking thing. But at least I don't have to see it. All right, so let's go. Okay. You can hate my gruts for the rest of my life, and I completely understand. Good, because I do. I should do, I should have done my due diligence. Due diligence, is that how you spell due diligence? I don't care. A long time ago to expose these people, but I was too much of a coward to do anything. And you still are, because you still haven't called them out, despite, like, Hannah obviously threatening Muse's life. What are you doing? Everything you have stated, I do not take lightly. You seem to, because you're not naming anybody and holding them actually accountable. Everything that myself and others have done was beyond irresponsible, but yet you do nothing to fix it. I put too much blind faith in people that weren't true friends to begin with and have learned the hard way and hope that the road for better days to come and I'm extremely sorry for all the nonsense I directly and indirectly played a part in. So, let's, let's address the Deltoid and Doopy Doo over situation. Because this is them addressing almost everyone except for the anonymous person that was done in the video. And the anonymous person slide 10. Now, let, let, let me address, like, this is how I know they're also not genuine. Because, um, 